Welcome back, sir. Right here I lay. Don't call me surely TRM dead love. Good afternoon TRM dead love. Hello everybody, I hope you're all good. Thanks for coming in. Hello, ahoy hoy, good morning, afternoon and evening. Keep on running, less uh, than three. Who's XQC? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I hear he's day one's biggest fan. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> Johnny Roger, Ads, thank you very much. Style shit, Jay, Edster, Marky Mark, Lorenzo, Catania, Hoyds, thank you for the support, guys. Hope you're good. Cheers for the resubs, everyone. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Right. Time for a uh, time for a swig of the tea. Good afternoon, Mr. TRMZ and Mr. Chat. Who's ready for top tier PvP? Nobody. Nobody's ready for that shit. Hi, Molly. You're right, dude. Yes, lovely at the moment. I, I walked around my mum's this morning and uh, had a cup Ahoy. of tea in the back garden. Lovely. I went out wearing a rather fetching combination of shorts, t-shirt with a raincoat. And then halfway round, had to take the raincoat off because it was fucking boiling. It was—it's really nice though. It's only like I don't know, 15, 16, maybe 16, Happy 17, Monday. perhaps Celsius, but it felt properly hot. In fact, my phone says it's 14, but it feels way hotter than that. <laughs> Can't believe the tie yesterday. Hello, yeah. <laughs> T R M Z L U V. Basically, Mohamed Salah needs to start playing like he was before Christmas or Liverpool are finishing third. That's that's my view on the matter. <laughs> uh, it's not all his fault, but he's just not sharp at the moment. You can see the difference. It's such a big Evening, one. Evening, TRMZ. Right. Love being able to catch your streams when I can TRMZ G heart. There we go. Ozzy, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Thanks for catching the stream. Very kind. Uh, where are we? Jasper. We are here. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Well, near. Okay, let's go. Let's go uh, this way. Uh, Hazza, thank you very much. Aussie, thank you. What happened to Liverpool? Uh, they seem to have forgotten how to take chances, is what's happened to Liverpool. Played played well yesterday, you know. Going to United and, and bossing the game is quite hard to do. You know, I know they're not as good as they have been, but nonetheless, at Old Trafford, to, to play like that and not win you is kind of a signal. But there right. you go. Uh, they don't deserve the win. They didn't score enough, you know, which is happening every week at the moment. It's it, like it last weekend at Brighton. They I went one, sorry okay, against Brighton. Lovely they went one 0 down, one two cry. two one. But they not finish. They're not killing games off. They aren't playing great great at the moment. But they're not. They're, they're still trying to score, but they don't look like scoring. Uh, like even when they're one one up, with not long to go, or whatever the situation, they don't. They don't look clinical. Like, not long ago, if they looked like they were going to score three or four, they did. Now they look like they're never going to score. I, I agree the pen was a bit soft, Sir Jimmy, but it, it was a pen. Like, a lot of United fans on Twitter yesterday were like, it's amazing how football fans are. Everyone's like it. I guess I am to some extent. But the United fans were like picking the first image before the contact and, and sharing running. that going how is this a penalty it's a the p p football fans are so fucking blatantly polarized it's untrue like of course if you show a frame before the contact and say how is this a penalty it looks dodgy <laughs> it was a soft penalty but if you go in for a sliding tackle and you don't get the ball expect the player to put their foot on you and fall over you know it's shit it's shit it wasn't an out and out dive there was contact right it wasn't blatant 
Fernandez went down earlier in the game when there was not really contact and, and won a free kick in a dangerous area, you know. Happy it just happens, you know. Again today. If you don't get the ball and you're, and you're on the ground, expect the player to go down and that's the defender's fault. It's one of those that's frustrating when it's your team that gives it away, Can't but with it's, the defender, you know? it's the defender's fault for missing the ball when it's sliding tackle, you know, it's just what happens. I saw that Madison punch, he gave him a nice little, uh, like a rabbit punch almost, like a little, like un under the, like, woo, <laughs> got away with it, that's stupid. Uh, eight none. Thank you very much, Chrissy, Madzak, Mike, uh, Eganator, Tweedy, Hazardur, Shibby. Thank you very much, Flax as well. Pax, no, I just watched the stream if I were you, dude. It's all good. We missed Paul Shoutcast in the event this month. The events are on the last Sunday of every month, dude. So the event's not going to be for several weeks yet. Uh, the next one I'm hoping to be in, not shoutcasting, so I'm hoping to be in it. Alright, Muller, we need to arrange a, a, a run, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you want to post something in the, the group, but I'm free next Monday. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I lied, actually. I'm kind of free next Monday, but not, from, not until about 4pm, so next Monday's no good. But anyway, we need to try and sort something out. I, my uh, my mum's got a hospital appointment I've got to take it to, which I'd forgotten about. Oh, fucking hell, this is going well. I should probably stop reading the chat just for a minute and try and kill the Zed, shouldn't I? It would probably be easier to go in the house, but... Yeah, we we have to sort it out. I, I was uh, separately from that. I was meant to be playing with John, doing a uh, one of the team ups from the charity stream today, but we've had to reschedule that. Uh, he he couldn't make it today, unfortunately. He's got some stuff going on. So yeah, the the stream that was meant to be today will now be a couple of weeks time, I think. It's kind of handy. The stab vest is no. Uh... Hi, Jan Bon. You're right, dude. Sorry, Paul, but knocked you out of the FA Cup. And no, well, Red Army, I would contest that Man United didn't have a whole lot to do with it, and that Liverpool have have uh, become fucking gun shy. <laughs> I think they knocked themselves off, and deservedly so. You know, if you don't score, you don't win. And they didn't look like scoring, did they? They all those chances. They I never really believed they were going to score. And I felt the same against Brighton the week before as well. They they just don't seem to have that cutting edge at the moment. You heard the news about zero servers. I saw that uh, winter has changed from winter, which I did predict. Uh, but I don't know if there's any other news. What is the news north there? You might shut them down. Blimey. That sucks. HP said they may have to close all the servers. Does anybody know the reason? That sucks. It is very, very tough to manage servers, so there could be lots of reasons. It has been one year. Keep running. Rack of funds. Oh, fuck me dead. Well, yeah, I'll I'll pick up with HB. It's separately. my 39th birthday this week. Sad to think I'll finally be older than <laughs> TR and Zed. I've offered in private to help HB fund the zero servers in the past, <laughs> but there we go. Well, we'll uh, we'll see. Ten months past. It's so much. It's not just. It's not just the uh, the cost, but the cost is obviously a significant thing. But the amount of time and the amount of effort it takes to to run servers like that it is 
it is thankless, you know, it's really not fun. Uh, I don't have. It's kind of cool, they don't take up as much space as what they used to. We can have a few of those. I don't have any means to uh, cut them up at the moment. I suppose uh, we can soon get them. I find it really frustrating that the image is of two pumpkins and then you get them and you get one pumpkin. making sure what shell was in it. Now I know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's horrible. I, that's why I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it at all. Have a great run. Love you, bye. Right, let's just cut the pumpkins. I might, I maybe should cook them. It's a bit dull, but cooking them would, would give me a lot more opportunity to... This makes no sense, does it? How many things do you cut up in half and then they take up more space when... <laughs> Can someone please explain that to me? How is it that when you cut up a chicken... Sorry, not a chicken. When you cut up a pumpkin, it takes up twice as much space. How does that work? <laughs> I don't understand. You're cutting it in half. You're not cutting it in double. <laughs> Uh, Vimir, thank you for the 18 What's months. The GBA Hacky, the thank you very much. And a Most men have no trouble finding a clitoris. <laughs> I have trouble finding both. Very much. I definitely never hear up a bit. <laughs> never, not once. Not once in my life have I heard up a bit again. <laughs> uh, how am I going to do this? I need to. Uh... Huzzah! I have unlocked a new achievement. Prime sub button found. Right, the well's there. I need to go to the well and then come back, I think. Lovely to have you back with us. It's lovely to be back. I ain't gonna lie. It, it's oh god, I could have took another one. It's felt like a while, you know. I could have started back yesterday, if I'm honest. I, I, that was my intention originally, but I had slept like an absolute. Well, I didn't. Keep on running. I didn't really sleep basically on uh, Sunday night, Saturday night, for whatever reason. I just couldn't sleep, couldn't settle, and. Uh, I got up feeling like I was hung over and I'd had no alcohol at all. I just felt rough, so I, I just decided not to bother. Uh, and also it meant that I could watch the football as well, which was no bad thing too. Three months of running, thank you. Right, I'm just going to go to the well, then I'm going to come back and get those. If I go to the well and drink enough, I can probably go a different route now. The pumpkins and the chicken will be enough. Probably do need to cook them though. I don't know. This isn't the safest place to be cooking if I'm honest, but we shall see. Uh, just need sticks actually, don't I? <laughs> Gonna take the shell. I can do huzzah, but how is my hoorah? <laughs> <laughs> what seems pretty good to me, hoorah. Okay, I might take that blue jacket as well, it is warmer. Which might be a decent thing. If we go up the hill towards the summer camp, I might be glad of that that extra warmth.
Uh, Serif, Sir Richardson, Garnet, thank you very, very much, guys. Cheers for the support. Really appreciate it. I think the well... It used to be here. I was going to say it used to be in here. It still is. The running guy is back. Pog and stuff. All right, dude. Thank you for the support. Very, very kind. Uh, Ghost uh, Hunter Halliday's. Thank you very much. Uh, Tom T. Vimeer. Cheers for the support. Who do I have for the Masters this week? Uh, I haven't really looked Redline, to be honest. And I'd like somebody like Rory to win it. Rory, Rory deserves a Masters at some point. He's been a, a great golfer, but he, he he kind of fucked up one of the early Masters, didn't he, ages ago now. But he should have won one and then kind of fluffed his lines. Uh, it would be cool to see him win one at some point. So, yeah, I'd, I'd probably be rooting for US 13, Jill, hello, TRMZG heart. Hello. Ugh. I, don't th I think he thought his arms were longer than they actually were. Your arms ain't that long, mate. Thanks for the bottle. Still the best thing on TV. That was it. Was a bit like the Indiana Jones scene, yeah. I ain't got time for this fight. Bosh! <laughs> oi, oi, the bottle delivery was kind of handy, actually. Yeah, Shame it was. about the Tractor Boys derby yesterday. Have a great run. Dave, yeah, they, they lost uh, they lost to Norwich. That sucks. I, I really hope Ipswich go up. I, not as much as I hope Liverpool win the Premier League, obviously, but we'll see. Long time no see, old friend. Hope you and fam are 100%. Yeah, it wasn't yesterday, but they did lose to they did lose to Norwich. Right, how am I going to do this? I think we have to drop that. Well, in fact, we just use that. Use that. So I could drink more, but there's a bottle. Sorry, I've got a bottle, and there's a uh, well the way I want to go. So I think I'll just take that bottle and and run with it. Need to make some more space. I've got to. I've got to cook the food I've got. I need to cook the chickens and the pumpkin and whatnot. Long it's going to give me no so tea. much more calories. <sighs> it's kind of a no-brainer, really. We're going to have to do it. Uh, a Wimbleway, thank you for the 17 months. Easy target, Dave the Rave, Sir Stas. Thank you very much. Bones for fishing. I've got two. I think that'll do. I could get more, but I think we'll be all right for now. I should have cut him up. It probably would have made sense, but I can't be fucked to go back now. I've got to be honest, I'm staggered at myself that I'm even bothering to come back for these uh, pumpkins, but a little bit of extra energy is uh, probably good, so might as well do it. There was one I hadn't cut up. I sleepless. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, it was more of a break when the kids went home. <laughs> and I love spending time with the kids. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's uh, it's less of a break if that makes sense. Anyone with kids knows that. Doesn't mean you're not having fun, but it's uh, it's not a break. <laughs> But yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, we went and watched the new Ghostbusters film. It was okay. I, I didn't dislike it. It, was, it wasn't it was the best film ever or anything, but it was all right. I quite liked it. Uh, I don't think I want to dry these, do I? Let's put the chickens on there. I don't want dried pumpkin. I just want to bake them if I can. But yeah, it was all right. We had a pretty decent week. Maggie, uh, well, both of them were ill the whole time they were here. Only with, like, coughs, but it was constant. And Maggie's asthmatic, so... Uh, we didn't do a great deal. Uh, we went to the cinema and then we kind of had easy days because if she uh, 
if she does much, it kind of messes her up a bit. You know, when, when you're asthmatic and you get a cold or a coughing, it, it can fuck you up. So we had a fairly lazy few days, to be honest. Like, on the Wednesday, we went to watch Ghostbusters. And then on, like, Wednesday evening, Thursday, we, me and Maggie just sat and watched the whole Maze Runner series. I'd never seen them. She wanted to see them. So we watched those, like, just, like, lazing about because she wasn't great, you know. Just got back from Lanzarote with the kids. Very nice. I quite like the Maze Runner films. They were okay. A lot of Brandy. Thank you for the 58. Sleepless. Thank you. Easy Target. Wimbleway. Dave. Sir Stairs. Thank you very much. Vodka, vodka, vodka. Waiting for a path of totally at 2 p.m. Path of totally? Uh, I think that means waiting for it to be 2 p.m. before you can drink it, I think. But thank you for the support, dude. Right, should we just try a couple? Because I ain't going to have the patience for this. Let's try some. Vodka, 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 waiting for the path of totally at 2 p.m. Uh, it does. It does, Marky. Oak, thank you very much for the chat, uh, for the super chat, dude. Thank you. Vogel, you only get the sub emotes whilst you're, whilst you're sub, so the, the emotes only last while you sub, dude. I think I'm just going to favour speed over, over meat quantity and just, uh, just dry as many as I can, just get them done. Path of totality. Ah, to that, that's what it is. Yeah, it's the eclipse. I understand now. What time is the eclipse meant to be? I don't. I haven't really looked. I've had my head in the head in the ground, pretty much sky, whatever. Yeah, I, I understand that red line. I went for where I live. Suffler, look. It's 7.52 UK time, is it? Well, I won't be seeing it, I suppose. It's almost dark by then. I'll be stuck in here. Oh, I'm Thanks do for this. the incredibly entertaining content, Paul. Wisp, thank you. Cheers for tuning in. Appreciate it. I need to get away from here really quite quickly. Obviously, I'm red, Four red temperature, but I'm, I'm not particularly Thanks, worried about mate. that. It's fine. I, I, I just need to get away. We've still got three more, for fuck's sake. <sighs> what a finish to the league. Exciting time. It is exciting, Wooster. It is. It, uh, it's uh, annoying that Liverpool dropped the two points they gained from the week before. Away to United was going to be tricky. There's there's lots of away, there's lots of games that are going to be tricky through to the end of the season. Liverpool have got to play Everton away. Uh, like Arsenal have got to go away to Spurs. They've got to, they've got to go away to United. They've, they've they've got there's lots of tricky games for all teams coming up. There's going to be twists and turns in it. Yet I, I suspect Man City will end up winning it, which will suck. But I bet they do. Uh, but yeah, yesterday's game, Liverpool have got to start finishing chances. They can't. You can't be having nearly 30 chances at goal and not winning. Like, like they were so much the better team across the whole game, but they seem incapable of being clinical in front of goal at the moment. You know, Nunes has gone a bit quiet again. Salah is completely off the ball. He's just not. He's not sharp at the moment, Salah. It was definitely a pen, Sergeant Zeal. Uh, it was soft. It's one of those that you're annoyed about when your own team get, gives it away. But he went down like he, he went down for a sliding tackle, didn't get the ball, so Elliot did the right thing, you know. It wasn't really a dive, he just he just let there become contact. That's what strikers do, that's what attackers do. He 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 got make made sure he planted his leg and then there was contact, you know. That that's not even a dive. He's not diving, he's not simulating contact. There was contact. Uh, like Fernandez did a very similar thing, I think, to McAllister for a free kick much earlier in the game. Like, there was no contact and he went down like, like it, well, there, there was the, the, the slightest, if, if, if there was, but that's what happened. 104 months, Walkers. <laughs> I 
there's a huge difference between putting your leg in and falling over and simulating contact when there isn't any, you know. He made sure it happened like like any player would do. You've got Tottenham coming up and you never beat them. How it's, you will see. I, there's lots of tricky games to come for, for all teams, but uh, I think there'll be a lot of twists. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down to the last game of the season. I really wouldn't be surprised. It looks like it might, you know. Could we get some Gamma? Yeah, I guess so. Cheers, Jonky. Hope you're good. Oak, uh... Autocorrect is a bitch, telling me. Thank you very much, Oak. Cheers for the sport on black. Remetius only me. 104 Sorry, months, dude. Holy shit. Is a batch winking face. Twisted Technician, uh, Wooster, Dalek. Thank you. Goal difference, obviously, for Arsenal is massively in their favour at the moment, you know, without a doubt. But I don't know. I, I think there'll be teams slipping up on points, you know. I, I'm sure Arsenal won't win every game from now until the end of the season. But the way Liverpool are playing, I don't think they will either. You know, I, I think it's going to be really interesting to see. How do I have so much stamina? Because I've only just sort of started, dude. I've, I've not really got anything other than a shotgun. Hey Paul, I really enjoyed the New York video. Have a great stream. Much uh, love. Sick one, thank you. Yeah, that video's gone well. It's the best video I've had in terms of views for the first week uh, since I started streaming. Uh, so oh. my views dick, my views tanked quite badly when I started streaming, and uh, that's the first one that's got views a bit more like the old videos used to, which is really good to see. You know, that's very very cool. So hopefully it was the right call to carry on streaming. Got my PC and playing DayZ got it hard. City, is, City have got the easiest running by far. I don't think there's a great deal in it between City and Liverpool's running. Everyone's got to play Tottenham yet. I, 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 I haven't looked at it since yesterday. But United away was the hardest game for Liverpool Welcome in their back, running. They, like, I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't think there's a great deal in it between City and Liverpool's running. And they have got to play Everton away. And you never know with derbies. But... Uh, Everton I'm not exactly on it, you know, we'll see. Doesn't normally matter though, does it, like in a derby? Everton could be like bottom and they could still get points from Liverpool. Ebo, they were new at the time, the gold deagle back then. They were new and they were quite rare, so it, that's why. Aldo, thank you for the five months, dude. Cheers for the support. Dirty Dan, thank you for the two months. Spanner, Master Noob, cheers for the resub. really been looking at the map. Maybe I should have been. Yeah, I need to go a bit more to the left. So Jimmy, it is good. Yeah, it's good. It's nice that it's still running. Oak, dude, thank you for the gifted membership bomb. That's very kind, man. Thank you. I managed to eyeball my glasses somehow, so I need to uh, have a look at that. Uh, Aldo, thank you again, and Oak, thank you very, very much. Diesel, yeah, it seems to have gone very quiet with Twitch with regards to the... Like, in January, in fact, it might have been December, there was, there was talk of the trial where they were going to make the quality better and allow streamers to get better quality on Twitch, and here we are now, coming up to mid-April, and uh, it seems to have gone very, very, very fucking, fu fucking quiet on that. Guys, give me one second. Uh, Been a while. I'm glad you're still running strong. Just need to uh, 
This is my missus about some something. Uh, hi Jambo, no, no, no lunch for me yet today. I think I'm having sandwiches when the missus gets home, probably. But no, nothing really much. I had a, I had a banana and a oat bar for breakfast, and I've had just tea since. But yeah, lunch will be, uh, lunch will be in a bit. I kind of need to go over that hill there, and we'll see it. That reminds me, actually. I, I went to a... I, I'm learning from HB. I went to a butcher's on Saturday. We walked the dog on Saturday. I went to a butcher's and I bought some nice streaky bacon. And I haven't fucking had it yet. I need to do that. That wasn't Toby in the pick. Which pick? Oh, I see. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I see. <laughs> no. TRMZ worth it, man. Zigzag, Militia, thank you very much for the support guys, thank you. Ollie Wally as well. Full English at Weymouth Footy Ground. Here Lovely. to enjoy all the pomp and ceremony of a Monday TRMZ stream. Hope you had a lovely time off with the kids call. TRMZ love. Cheers Tragic, thank you very much for the support. Uh, hope to enjoy all the pomp and ceremony of a Monday stream, eh? Blimey. All the respawns and misery. <laughs> Uh, I, I was looking forward to coming back, to be honest. Time to get running. It was pretty good. I, I do feel a bit bad that we didn't get to do so much, but one of the things that you have to try and balance with the whole part-time dad thing is that you can you can end up feeling like you're constantly like like when your kids come to see you, it's more like you're on holiday, like all the time. You know, every time you come, you, you turn into entertainment mode rather than just chilling out. You know, like because I don't see them so much. And so they come here and it's more like they're on holiday rather than they live here, you know, which is kind of true to some extent, but it doesn't do them any harm to have a few days of just chilling out, really. News in. Man's got gout still. Lol. Man's got gout still. Funny enough, I, uh, I wore my walking boots on Saturday and I got a very, very, very slight blister on that same toe from the walk. And my missus was like, "Don't fucking tell it. Tell the stream that you had a slight blister on your toe. They'll be telling me you're telling you got fucking gout again for two months." <laughs> but yeah, the, the gout is fine, thank you, Pat. Yeah. So you let them watch the stream to be entertained? No, they're not interested in this shit, Preston. RJ Nick, thank you for the two years, by the way. Stumpy, cheers for the bits. Oh, it really has changed quite a lot weather-wise in the last week or so. It's lovely now. Like, I'm really liking it at the moment. Just like, well, I'm walking in shorts and a t-shirt quite a bit. And it, it's just nice. It's quite windy. It's not that hot, but it's sunny. It's great. I'm really liking it at the moment. Bye, Mir. Yeah, I think that makes sense. The problem, I, the one problem I have, like you're saying, they she 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 enjoyed just hanging at, like chilling out as much as going places. One of my kids is absolutely like that. The other one is just a nightmare it's for not settling. Today, but you know, at least like, I can like, sit here for eleven hours. Like one of them really enjoys films and just vegging out and like sitting in, like cuddling up on the sofa and watching a film or whatever. The younger one, she's a lot like I was when I was younger. She'll sit and watch a film and then want to watch another film or whatever. You know, she can chill really easily. The other one just cannot. She can't. She can't. I think it's possibly a slight bit of first and second childitis. The first. Ch this might not be the case for all families, but for mine, the first kid needs to be permanently entertained. She can't do anything on her own. She can't just sit and chill. 
the second kid, because another one was along, is much more able to just, I'm bored, I'll go to my room and go and get something to do. Whereas the bigger one, the older one, has to have someone fucking help her to find something to do almost, you know, she's not so good at it. She, she's used to having undivided attention. I don't have gout rebalanced. <laughs> I've never had gout in my life. I had a pain in my toe for about five seconds one night and then the stream decided for two months that I had gout. What would you say is my biggest weakness in Daisy? Aim or patience? I don't really know. I don't think patience is a problem. I just take risks and know it. I don't, I don't really want to change my playstyle. I can be patient when it matters. I can be patient in events and things. Like, uh, and aim doesn't matter so much sometimes. It's it's really hard. I'd, I'd say my biggest weakness is over-reading the chat in dangerous places, if I'm honest. I don't focus on the game. I, I'm not I'm not the best PvPer, but Not I don't focus on the game enough. I focus on the stream a lot more. Birthday. Patient Wolf, thank you for the super chat. Uh, get thee to bed, dude. <laughs> cool hand JT, come in Amoya. Thank you very much for the resubs. Pat Meister, thank you. I can be in a firefight and still be reading the chat. You know, I just can't help it. It's just I focus on the stream more. She's only 20 minutes younger, though. <laughs> Interesting, dude. Camacho. <laughs> ISK line. I'm doing all right, dude. Hope you're good. Very nice. Packs with putter. Lovely. Very, very, very cool indeed. Thank you for the super chat as well, by the way. I think... Burgundy is kind of a better colour than... Are they still got some heat in them? That's weird, isn't it? Burgundy is a bit of a better colour than very dark blue. Sorry, very bright blue. Yeah, cheers for the support packs. En enjoy, enjoy that. Enjoy, enjoy the Seiko when it arrives, dude. If, if you're a watch nerd, then today is like Christmas Eve. If you're a watch nerd. Because tomorrow is when they announce all the new stuff, you know, like... When they announce all the new stuff that you can't buy. Uh, watch nerds will have had April the 9th penciled into their watch nerd diary for about six months. Paper. Probably someone's been here fairly recently. It's more space. I, I, it really isn't smart, is it? But I think we ought to take it. Is my one pristine? Yeah, thank God. A steak pun is a rare medium. Well done. White death. Mm, I see what you did there. I, uh, I, we had steak on Saturday. Well, I had steak. My missus had some kind of pork thing because she's not a massive fan of steak. It was sirloin from Aldi, and it was fucking great. I cooked it was about, about the best I've ever cooked it. I was brave. I was brave and undercooked it slightly and left it to rest, and then it was perfect. It was amazing. Thanks to you, Paul the First, have asked my wife to get me a Seiko watch for my B-Day this year. I didn't use the barbecue red line. It's not quite that weather yet. With the turquoise face. BFG, uh, I'd probably just go to, I'd go to the hunting stands above Sinistock. There's, there's, the, well, I'd go to the top of the ski resort, check the hunting stands and the feed shacks around there. Oh, wrong way. Then I'd go down the hill and check the feed shack near the greenhouse, and then I'd probably loot all of Sinistock. Uh, I'd probably check Sinistock, I'd probably check it thoroughly, like, check all the sheds, check all the, like, they don't just spawn in hunting areas, you can get cleaning kits in, like, industrial outhousey kind of buildings and stuff, I think, but uh, you're unlucky not to have found one, to be honest. Right, let's have a drink of that. I, I don't think I ought to take this white jacket. I think it's a mistake. I'm going to swap to that. Because I'd got the bag. I'd forgotten I'd picked the bag up. I think it makes more sense to not have it. 
Can I please get my wife to give me... Yeah, she, she can do it with your own money, Aunt Man, I'm sure. <laughs> Good luck with that. Get my wife to give me a Patek Philippe. Fuck me dead. Can you even buy one? Neil, as in, can you go... It depends, you go to a shop, you're probably struggling to buy one other than the one they can't sell. Uh, Neil, thank you for the resub packs. Thank you again. Patient Wolf. Uh, cheers for the support. Once again, uh, White Death coming to Moya. Cool Hand Luke JT. Thank you. At the top of the ski resort, there's a there's a hunting stand just to the left of the saloon. There's a feed shack on the opposite of the saloon, a fairway in the trees. There's off. They often rarely get looted. There's sometimes good stuff in there. Down the hill, uh, you've got a convoy spawn. And, and a little shed, and then to the left of that, further down the hill, there is a... Uh, do I want a sporter? I don't think I do. Uh, there's some more hunting stuff by the road. Like the end of the road, right near the edge of the map. But yeah, I, I the, the, pet, the, the steak was good. It was aged 30 days, only from Aldi, right? But 27 months. the thing that was One annoying, it, it looked I'll quite nice and marbly. But it had a great big fucking vein of fat running all the way through it in three places, which was like, it was like gristle. It was So it, it was slightly spoiled by that, but never mind, can't have it all. We didn't get any of that waggy stuff flown over from Japan like Redline has. Fur winning, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Hope you are well. No, it was sirloin, inf infinite. It was sirloin, but uh, a little bit grisly. <laughs> because of the gout and all. <laughs> Ten four oak. <laughs> Aldi stuff can be pretty decent, like the, the fruit and veg and, and the meat from Aldi can be really good, but it can be a bit hit and miss. A little bit like uh, Liverpool's forward line at the moment. Not so much hit, but mostly miss. Are you sure it wasn't a Scotch fillet? I'm Robot definitely sure it said here. sirloin Don't on the packet, on account of the fact that it said sirloin on the packet. Thanks for the 24 months burritos. Much appreciated. I like a lot of the watches you said you don't like, such as Fossil and Belova. Pax, well, there's no, there's nothing wrong with, with them. If you like them, you like them. But the reality is Fossil don't really make watches, you know. And that doesn't make them bad. If you like one, you like one. But you can get significantly more for the same money from other brands, like, say, Hamilton or uh, Citizen or Seiko or whoever, you know, Tissot. Those companies are like long-standing watch companies that actually make them. I used to do ketosis three months a year until the gout got me bad. Oh dear. I've talked with the other trees and bushes. The next time you break your leg, we time you should just nick it off instead of fixing it. BC, the gout and all. <laughs> Thank you very much, Oak. Cheers for the super chat, dude. You mean Polo doesn't make watches? <laughs> What is my take on tartar steaks? I ain't never had one. Do you think buying a rather random mo Rolex? Budge, I, I don't know what you mean by rather random. You can walk on a broken leg again with morphine. I don't understand Bowie Maker. Uh, Budge, I, I think it really depends what you're looking at. I, I, if you get uh, if you get a, any Rolex at a, a price that's the right price, so if you don't overpay, then in the long term it won't lose a great deal of value, you know. But that doesn't make it an investment, right? So it might store the value, but it won't necessarily be an investment. Yeah, I've never had steak tartare, if that's what you meant. Never really gone for raw. Uh, coffin, cheers for the two year inning, dude. Thank you. Right, servers down won't be long.
looking for a royal oak with Tiffany blue face. I, I can probably find you a Cassie oak with a Tiffany blue face. <laughs> Hal, you've had a full hip replacement. Dude, uh, I hope you're on the mend. Bowie, I think somebody was saying that a morphine will heal your leg like a splint does, but it doesn't, right? Uh, I'll try it next time. What are you saying it does? I, my understanding is a morphine will just stop you going unconscious for about 40 seconds. That's it. But you don't move any quicker. You can still walk on a broken leg anyway. A morphine doesn't heal legs, right? It, it, just, it might stop you going unconscious for the briefest time, but you can walk on a broken leg anyway. I'm not understanding what the benefit is. Uh, Borf, thank you for the 18 months. Pascal, thank you for the prime coffin. Thank you for the two years. Thank you very much, guys. I don't know if it's back up or not yet. Just kind of click play. Currently locked. I've just finished my tea. I kind of fancy another one. Easy target. Uh, I, I never really look. I ought to give Underground another go. But like, if I just look now, for example... servers have got the name underground in the title. Fuck me, that's annoying. There's I, there, there's, a, oh, there's a mod for underground bases. That's why. Daisy Underground, so that's the proper one. This is the reason why I don't good normally to gravitate towards Daisy Underground. Hope you had a good break. Like now, it's there's nine people in the server, you know, like it, that's not to say it's bad. It will be really busy later, you know, it's just not busy right now. And because I tend to start at 1 or 2 p.m. roughly, <laughs> Normally I'm starting between now and what about an hour from now, you know, and it's never man. high pop. It's never high pop when I'm going to play, which is why I haven't been on underground for ages. Sometimes maybe like if I'm looking for a map to switch to in five or six hours time, maybe I, I should be looking at it then. I know you're not a basketball then. fan, but I'm from Indiana. If you know, you know. Can you say boiler up, please? Thanks. Go Purdue. Boiler up. Boiler up. <laughs> uh, Days, thank you. I am. I'm surprised I said that. To be honest, I ain't no performing monkey. Okay. <laughs> uh, cheers, dude. Uh, Peg leg Paul. My dad used to be quite keen on doing a rendition of Jake the Peg when I was a kid. Hope you enjoyed your time off with the family. Welcome back. Oh, I'm glad we came to this. It was definitely worth it. Oh yeah, gamma. I'll put the gamma back. What's your opinion on Submariners? I think they're like uh, they're a bit like the Chanel or the the classic black dress or whatever. They they're all right. I I think they're exciting. Well, I think they're nice watches, but they they're pretty common. But they are very very nice watches. <clears throat> I I'm not massively keen on black dial kind of monotone watches on the whole. So if I got one, I'd probably want Well, let me put it this way. In 2018, once upon a time, uh, while streaming, somebody asked me if I was on a waiting list for a watch, and then I was on the waiting list for a Hulk. And I said as much on stream back then. So that was then. <laughs> uh, so that would have been the way I would go. Uh, Skippy Owl, thank you for the 27 months. Dazed and Hayes, thank you very much. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thoughts on Brightling Avenger 2? They, they're quite big, some of the Avengers. I, I, a lot of them are like 43 and, and up. I quite There's one they do with a yellow dial that's kind of nice. Uh, if I were going to get a Brightling, I'd probably stick to the Chrome Grass, personally, and go for a Navitimer or maybe a uh, one of the Premier ones that they do. I like I like quite a lot of the Brightlings, but I'd stick to the proper chronographs. That's, the Brightling chronograph movement's the best movement they make. Just get a tube yeah. and said, same company, half the price. Not the same at all, duck peeking. 
that's like saying a Toyota is the same as a Lexus. They're just not. Doesn't mean Toyotas are bad. Toyotas are amazing, just like Tudor are. But they're not the same. Uh, Skippy Al, thank you again. Right, where's this little walkway thing? Yeah, the Avengers are big. I think they're kind of cool. I like the brushed steel bezels as well. I think they're kind of nice, but... If I I'd, I'd stick to the premier or the or the Navitana personally with Brian. Do you know Nico has his own watch made for him? Well, he, he yeah, <laughs> he he has. the The thing that seems interesting with that is that it seems to be spun as the the watch that started it all for him. But he recently started working with Ulysses Nardan, right? They. They actually approached him for, like, he'd said some things were a bit critical about the brand on his YouTube channel. And they'd approached him with regards to, like, what he felt they could do. So he's now kind of fairly affiliated with Ulysses Nardan. But I'm not convinced that really was the brand that started it all for him, if I'm honest. But um, who am I to say, really? But I think he said other things on his videos in the past. Yeah, the chronomat's kind of nice. I, I think that's, again, it's a chronograph, but same movement, B01. T-R-M-Z-L-U-V. But Toyota is the same as Lexus. It's not, Eric. It's just not. You go and sit in a Lexus NX and then you go and sit in the RAV4 equivalent. It's not the same. It's like 70 or 80% different. They're so not the same. That's like saying that uh, Seat is the same as Skoda, is the same as VW, is the same as uh, Audi, is the same as Lamborghini. Anyway. That's just not true. That's not how it works. You know, they're very, very different. And that, and that that's not even a fair comparison because Lexus to Toyota, they'll share some similar parts. There's no sharing of parts between Tudor and Rolex at all. Uh, Tudor use a Kinesi movement. Uh, Rolex make their own movements. Although Tudor own Kinesi, but nonetheless, they're nothing like the same at all. There's nothing the same as... Uh, there's nothing similar between a Lexus NX and a RAV4. They are so different. I've test-driven both of them. They are very, very different. When was my last time on Takistan? Uh, I haven't played Takistan in a good while. I'm not a huge fan of Takistan. I like the way it looks, but I just don't like the way it plays for uh, Daisy, more vanilla Daisy. What do I think of the boxing match between Trax and Nico? I think I would do worse than both of them. But they gassed after about three punches each. They are very good drunk, Uncle, yeah. Uh, junk stuff and uh, GWL, cheers for the support, guys. Thank you very much. Right, I think we're going to go up to the military base on the hill over that way. Yeah, 9mm. I, I, first thing I did when I opened up before I started the stream was have a look at Player Pop on Banov Official. There was two players on it. I, I still think I might do Banov Official at some point in, the, in this week, but my first stream back, I really don't want to be just going out, all out of, my, out of my way to advertise what server I'm on. And I don't, Banov is such a big map. Like, even if I say what server I'm on, it might only go up to 20 players or 30. I've got to play Banov for a week, and, and then I'm just basically inviting stream sniping. Uh, cheers for the support, junk stuff, dude. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's just whether there's somebody that's going to host it, Nine, but, like, we'll see. Are the chances of getting a Rolex higher if the AD is also your wife's boyfriend? <laughs> Uh, 
No, but she might get a pearl necklace. I enjoyed that cup of tea. I want another one. I really want another one. I wonder if maybe we should go up to the, the houses. Where are we here? Up there, maybe. I think I looted that before. I think I'm going to go to the town before the Millie base. I, th I feel like uh, the possibility of a, uh, a Mosin or something would probably be uh, a good decision. You know, try and get something that's a bit better than the, the single barrel shotgun I'm rocking right now. Tudor are very good just coming back to the watch boring stuff, but pretending it's the same company and that it's half the price and just as good is is exactly what people that don't know what they're talking about say, I'm afraid to say. They are very good watches, Tudor, but they're, they're just not... They're not a Rolex, and buying one because you want it to be a Rolex is a stupid thing to do. Jambon. Yeah, I don't know. I have sugar with tea, so I, I, I try to only have like one slash two per stream nowadays, so I have half a teaspoon of sugar, so I'm, I'm trying to drink more water on the whole. I just fancy another one. Right, so I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or not. I know I've got to cross the road. And it's up the hill, but I'm not sure. I'll, I'm not sure on the angle. Some TMZ thermoses. Ooh. If I couldn't afford a Rolex, what would I recommend? I, I, I wouldn't judge what I'm looking for based on Rolex anyway. They're, they're good, but they're not all that, you know. They're very good, but there are loads of great watches out there. Tudor are, are, are very good. I like the red standard Black Bay, the new one. They'll be announcing probably a blue, blue variant or a black version of it tomorrow, no doubt, probably. But uh, I don't know. It depends on the budget. It depends, like, if you can't afford... Like, a, a Rolex sub is something crazy like £9,000 now, you know? My dude, TRMZ uh, like love. A Seamaster is about more like five-ish, I think. Like, Omega Seamasters are great. They're about five. I quite like the Planet Ocean as well. They're great too, but they're a lot of money, you know? Depends on the budget, you know? Tudor are very, very good. But don't buy one because you want a Rolex. If I could create a watch, what would I do? I don't fucking know. Do a knockoff of the Nautilus, probably, like everybody else. Amiga are great, duck. Amiga are great. Thanks for being awesome, oh, TRMZ. Years ago, before like before I got divorced, I had an Amiga Speedmaster and an Amiga Two Tone Constellation Manhattan. And uh, I really loved them. They were my two watches. Both Amigas really, really liked them. Omega, I could probably say. Uh, I really liked them, but I got into debt, had to sell them both. Uh, and then when I got myself back on my feet, I started collecting watches again. I can hell gab. That's a tricky one. 10,000, what watch would you buy? Uh... I might try and get a, a Blanc Pan Bathyscaphe, probably, in ceramic or similar. It's a very, very weird choice, but I think you could get that easily for that money nowadays.
Right, so we just heard some shots up here. Blancpain, Jambon. Blancpain. Uh, B L A N C P A N P A I N, I think. Blancpain. Okay, we're, we're kind of on the right track. The shots we heard were this way. Crispy, I bought my dad one for when I got married. I bought my mum and dad both one. They're, they're okay. There's nothing wrong with them. They're quite nice. How many much watches do I own? Shitloads, but they're not all expensive. <laughs> That's actually really kind of good. I haven't got a proper knife. I think I can drop those. Russell, Hobnob, Aman, thank you very much for the support. Ooh, oh, my, what is that? That's a... What does that fire? Oh, 300. That sucks. It's it's meant to be weak as shit, that. Is that the NTC Immortal? That's the same. It's got two, two bullets, though, so I guess it's better than nothing. I think this is slightly better, but they are... The 300 Blackout Rounds, I think, are a bit weak. They're not... They're not as strong as you might expect. if I'm going the right way here or not. No, I'm not. It's this way. Uh, the goat. Goat. Well, thank you. Uh, ooh, thank you for the member in him. Russell Chocolate Obnob, thank you as well. 23 months, dude. Thank you. Didn't think we'd be going down the hill. That's kind of what threw me a bit. No, nah, Pax, just just skip it, dude. There's no need to watch the whole advert. If if you're watching in an ad play, skip it as soon as you can. It's that's fine. It, I'm grateful if you do that. That's fine. If I could choose any watch, what would you choose? And only on the looks, depending on the. Uh, it would be one of the incredibly high-end application Patex, dude. I don't know the model numbers because I don't swim in those ponds. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it will be one of the high-end Pateks. There's one that they announced last year, which has got a blue opaque dial. And it's fucking amazing. But it's like see-through-ish dial, but slightly blue. But I, I don't even know the price, but it's somewhere close to a million pounds. So I'd pick that. And I'd be more than happy to keep it forever and not sell it. Obviously, I'd like to sell it and take the money, don't get me wrong. But if I had to keep it, that would I'd go with that. Phonics, thank you for the 18 months. Cheers for the support, dude. I don't know the model number, but it's a uh, minute repeater perpetual Is calendar. Gift or gift? Which watch would a witch watch if a witch would watch watches? One of my kids have said that to me. <laughs> uh, Uber, thank you. Toilet water. I say gif. As always, it is a pleasure to spend my day watching you keep up the great work. Three hundred win mag, but Jonathan Eddie, I'm only talking about the game, dude. I'm not talking about real life, right? In game, I believe these are quite weak. So, uh, like. Ish. I've not used them very much, but I've been shot by it, and I didn't lose any health. There was no, I lose net, lost next to no health, and I didn't go unconscious. Right, so I've not used them a great deal. But in the in the game, I think they're pretty uh, pretty weak. Uh, Dalai, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Tag Hoyers, if you if you buy them brand new at full retail, you're going to lose twenty or thirty percent in the first. 
well, when you walk out of it. Uh, it's not going to retain its value for about a decade, I would suspect. But they are really good. Their their new chronographs are very very good. But they're they're, they're not. It's not going to retain it all of its value. If you're going to buy something like a Tag Heuer, try to buy a six month old one that's got most of the warranty, and somebody else has let the depreciation happen. They're very good though. The new chronographs are good. I don't know why I keep looting these buildings. Sooner or later, I'm going to stumble on something good, but. For the most part, when I check these, I don't find shit. The woodsman is quite good. Interesting. What is that? Ten shells for a Genesis. What? That's a shotgun then, is it? Interesting. Jambon, a lot of the time, most, most places offering interest-free will be the watch retailer. Sorry, the, the retailer itself, but it's quite rare for brands to offer interest Asking free. Asking for a friend. What are cows going for these days? He needs to make at least 300 bucks net profit. <laughs> I think they're going for about 1,200 on the second second time round, dude. It depends on the brand. It, like A lot of boutiques might offer interest free and stuff, but if you're going to some fancy watch brand boutique, they will never do discount, and if, even if they can't sell them. So... Like if you like that, I just mentioned Blancpain before. If you wanted to buy one from the Blancpain store in London, they would never sell you one with any discount. Never, even though you could go into another place like Watches of Switzerland or something, Goldsmith, whoever I don't know, whoever sells them, you could probably negotiate a fair discount. But you don't get that from the boutiques, so they will then sometimes do things like interest-free and other means to try and try and Have sell you a watch a that doesn't Tag devalue Carrera the brand. You know? 60th anniversary edition. How do you rate them in terms of value retention, etc? Am I going the right way here? This, this, I'm struggling a bit to get my bearings. Is buying in a watch from an airport easier than a high street AD? No, not really. I've never bought a watch from an airport, but they don't have much stock. Like, last time I flew out from uh, Heathrow, I had a look. They don't keep... Like, they, they don't have the hype watches in stock, just the same. So let's say you wanted to... Like, they might sell Rolex in Heathrow. None of them will be in stock. They'll have preferential customers just the same. Like, you can't just go in and buy something that's rare. You just won't get it. Same as everywhere else. Tobrek, I'm your biggest fan. You clearly are. <laughs> you clearly are catching Earth. Just for the super chat. I think that was in a video fairly recently. You might be referencing that, but thank you. <laughs> Isn't Bitterroot like super open with limited buildings? I'd say that's more Alteria. Could be wrong, though. I wouldn't buy off eBay, Alf, personally. It's, it's a lot safer now than it was. I personally wouldn't buy off eBay. The savings are not great enough to, to make it worth the risk, personally. I picked up a custom Alex in Times Square. <laughs> sure it's legit. I, it certainly sounds it. Rulex. Say, so she sounded like she was aggro. Oh, she's stuck on the spot. Fuck her, let's go. I wouldn't buy. It. It's just too much money for for the risk of uh, like eBay. have got a new thing where that like if the seller's using it, they will they will authenticate the watch before you get it. So have a great run today, It is a lot safer. Thanks for the top tier content. As always, TRMZ love. It is a lot safer, right? Because uh, you you can buy it from a seller and then they send it to an eBay authenticator and then they will confirm that the watch is legit. It's not a fake. It's got the right movement and whatnot. So you can be sure you're buying an authentic watch. But if you buy from a dealer, you invariably get one or two years warranty. You're buying from a person. You can go back to the store. Like I, I, On something that's a high-end purchase, I wouldn't buy from eBay. Who do you go back to if there's a problem two months down the line? You know, Let's say you just you start winding it and then something's wrong. You know, like, like, like If you buy from a dealer, like even like a second-hand dealer, if you... Uh, 
if you have a problem, like for example, you go to set the timer, you go to wind it, and the crown's broken or something, you, you get a lot more backup if you buy from physical stores or physical dealers, known companies. Four hundred and fourteen hundred and seventeen viewers, only eight likes. Oh dear, Is that right? That seems low. I've seen a few of those videos, Sand Rover. Yeah, the revival videos. They're kind of cool. They're quite good. Like if you use them, like kind of ASMR, which I think a lot of people do. You know, the only gun that seems to be in the server pretty much is the BK12. Seems to be the case. Did I miss a can of peaches? Today? Oh, well. No, Mandelbutt, watchwinders are kind of stupid. I wouldn't use one myself. Two hundred and eighty nine likes on YouTube. That sounds more more accurate. Where's these peaches I missed? There they are. You were right. Might as well eat them as well. I used to have a Citizen Diamond Accent Black Ion Plated Stainless Steel Bracelet I wore to funerals. It was so heavy but looked great. Nice. Cheers for the super chat, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the support, Oak, dude. I'm going to turn the uh, Happy anniversary, thing off. babe. Uh, Pax, take it easy. Have a good rest of the day. Halo Master Chief. I'm alright, dude. Yeah, doing okay. Hope you're good. Nathan, crowd control, catching air. Cheers for the support, guys. Dalai Lager, thank you as well. Dalai Lager is quite a good name, right? Someone's been here, I think, based on how the doors are and the, the way Ads things are. Up time for Bezos Buck. Oh, for fuck's sake. Surely sooner or later we're going to get ourselves the uh, the double barrel, right? Like, I can't even find a double barrel shotgun at the moment. It's fucking crazy. I'm pretty sure the shots we heard were in this town. How do you find the playtest of Bitterroot? Well, you just search for the word Bitterroot in the launcher. Any plans today? No no plans, dude. I'm going to do Bitterroot at first, see how we go. Might do some other map, survival, might do some Battle Royale later. I actually wanted to play a bit of Battle Royale, like, off-stream in the last week, just to, like, have a few games, but I didn't. I've not had any time for that. Uh, I didn't. Are ghost shots still a thing with the 12 gauge? I don't know. I watched Wobo's video about ghost bullets yesterday. You get them very, very rarely, but uh, you do seem to get them. I've definitely had what he described, though, where your gun is jammed, but it's not jammed on your screen. I've had that a few times, so that's what he believes causes a lot of the ghost bullets. So if it's something that can't jam, it's not it's not so likely to get ghost bullets, right? Because if it can't jam, that there's no decent... So, uh, Wobo's video, basically, the, the TLDR was that often what happens is that uh, on your client side, your gun is not jammed and you're firing, but on the server side it is jammed and so you're not firing at all, you know, like, uh, that's not a good thing, is it? Donnie, yeah, that's, that's a fair assessment. It's a lot of fun. Firing blanks for, is a common issue for you, is it? Blimey. Oh dear. No, no back wheels. Ugh. Get out of the swamp. Thanks for all of the entertainment. Ed, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Any other way. T -R -M -Z love. 
Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Right, best check with top. Sometimes there's guns. Sometimes there's guns like tundras. I suppose that'll go on there, will it? Still going. Oh, it will. Keep up the running, TRMZ love. Oh, bye, 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 three hundred savage dealing. Hello, tundra with lots of bullets. Sometimes there's guns, he says, as he finds a tundra. I can't be fucked to hide that properly. Let's just do that. Right, I've done that. Let's get this thing loaded. I'm fucking starving. Uh, Duffster, Ed Lovers, Crawler King, thank you very much. Uh, Dings, thank you as well. Lofty, Oak, thank you. Fucking hell, that that I'm still. This is really sad, but that question about ten thousand, uh, ten thousand. What watch doing? would you pick? I'm hey, still. Gordon there's so Pat. many choices. Have a great run, you fucking weapon. I I might be inclined to have a look at a Polaris in green as well, which you could definitely get for that if you didn't buy it brand new. Polaris uh, JLC. Eight flaming years. If one needed proof that I'm a glutton for punishment. I think they're still in there. There's two fires in that house. He's making, or they're making the fire on the right hand side by the look of it. For all your great content, TRMZ love. Forty nine months of sex, drugs, and wild parties. Well, forty nine months at least. Kim, thank you. I don't know if this is smart. I don't know if they're still there or not. But I, I don't... Maybe they shut the door on the way out. Maybe they didn't. Uh, Kim, thank you. Brock, Brockles, uh, Brockles at Sydney. Metric, Mr. Frosty, thank you very much. Brawler King, Duffster, thank you very much too. God almighty. Right, I need to, I need to actually look at the windows for a sec. I'd say I'm about expend, expended on my patience. What I don't understand is why make the fire at the ship fire on the right when there's a much better fire on the left? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Doesn't actually have that much. Came out with no gun in in their hand. I heard them switch their weapon, I think, which was kind of kind of cool, all things considered. Where did they go? They, did they stop? Did they not? I don't understand where they've gone. Oh, there he is. <gasps> oh, shit. How did that shot miss? Holy shit. Oh, what well, good shot. Fair play to him. That's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. I think I've just been done by one of those uh, guns as well. Uh, that's so fucking unlucky. That 
the chance of movement right there and then. Dark blue. To do with the heat pack. So I'm dark blue and losing more health, which is excellent news. I'm going to need to get in a house, basically, but I'm going to have to swing around and pick somewhere else. I can't believe the first shot missed. It was like bob on and then obviously just as I fire, he moves. How often that happens? Yeah, my jacket's ruined. I actually minced me. I don't know what gun it was, but probably one of the new sniper rifles. But whatever, whichever one it was, it was... Uh, Probably one of the 300 blackouts. It could, based on the health, it could be one of those ones that takes the Creedmoor rounds, maybe. Yeah, I've just watched him come from the house where the fire is, Stir. I, I know that, but I can't really go there. That The player I'm shooting at just came from there. When I used to play COD a lot, that was called COD timing. Yeah. It's annoying when you, you really take a deliberate shot and it's nailed on and you're expecting to see the, the the sort of red mist and then what you actually get is the red mist. That's so fucking annoying. Shot from behind. Fair play to him on his movement then. I had to try and get back to the town, but it didn't work. Might have been a different player, but I doubt it. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm going to carry on. Oh, so frustrating. Gringo, thank you for the raid. Uh, GG, dude. Thank you very much. Kim, thank you again. It's completely my own fault, though. I didn't need to shoot him. You know, he's standing there with no gun in his hand, and now I'm dead. You know, that's that's my own fault. But doesn't mean I won't try and do it again. I think we're on the right side somewhere. Yeah. Oh well, different spawn at least. At least we're on the other side so we can do a different route. That's karma, yeah. <laughs> I am so hungry. Is this a newish map? Bitterroot's been around for a while, but it keeps coming up and going down for tests, so it's 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 newly back up, but it's we've been playing it for a while. Uh, it's being made by a dude called Matty Ice. Uh, this is not the first time it's been up. Of pure entertainment. But it comes up with like new bits added and whatnot. Obviously there's somebody down there shooting. Where else could I go? I could go to Derby, I guess. Keep we might as well do cold. that. I'll stay away from the shots. We'll go to the other town. Kind of annoying, but if you uh, if you take shots and miss them, that's what happens. Just like Liverpool yesterday. <laughs> if you miss your shots, you, you're going to die or you're going to not win. Mayno's goal was great. That was a really good finish. Very, very good. He uh, he had a bit of a weird game. It's a funny, actually. Both goal scorers, well, United fans might not like this, I suppose, but Mayno and Fernandez both had weird games, but both scored great goals. You know, Fernandez was pretty decent in the second half, but he was shocking in the first half. He, he, his passing was awful. He was all over the place. Salah had a terrible game, by the way, as well. Like Liverpool players had bad games, but uh, nonetheless, Mayno was like he looked like a lost sheep in the first half, like. Not really sure what he was meant to be doing, who he was meant to be marking, and all sorts. You know, it was very strange. But that goal was great, and he, he does genuinely look like he could be an amazing player. For, quite exciting for England, for sure. You know, Kurt, thank you very much for the support, dude. Very kind. 
Uh, I didn't think we'd miss. I didn't think Liverpool would miss Jota as much as they have, but they clearly are missing Jota. But I think the reason is that Salah's just. I know he scored a penalty yesterday, and he has scored. He scored quite a few goals in the last few weeks, but he, he doesn't look sharp. He, he's missing a lot of chances. A lot of his chances never look like going in. He's kind of he's taking five chances to score one if he's lucky, you know. And he just Ch Salah since coming back from the injury has not looked sharp. He doesn't look. He looks a shadow of the player he was before he went away. And maybe it's a combination of the injury and the amount of games and whatever else. But uh, he, um, I re he really needs to find his feet. I've been having a really turgid conversation on Twitter with somebody that, like, like, it's just such a weird thing. But my my basic my basic take on the game yesterday is that Liverpool threw it away. You know. They had loads of chances. They didn't score. They didn't deserve to win because they didn't score their chances, right? Uh, but I had someone on Twitter trying to suggest to me that Liverpool... That's not the case, you know? <laughs> Look, the bare stats of yesterday's game are just... like it, it, Liverpool are not finishing their chances. They're just not. The fact that it was 1-0 at half-time is exactly what problem Liverpool have got at the moment. They're just not clinical enough. They're just not scoring... They can be absolutely bossing the game and they should be 2 or 3 nil up and they're not. That happens every game at the moment. What's my predictions for the Champions League games? I, I haven't got a clue really. I hope Arsenal get through. Uh, I'd like Arsenal and City to get through. For, for, for I always kind of want the English teams to do okay, to be honest. But it would be very much better for Liverpool in the title race if both Arsenal and City get through. Who do I think will win the Premier League? Well, my thought probably hasn't changed on that, in that City are the favourites. I genuinely think they're still the favourites. I think Liverpool and Arsenal, they're, they're fairly close. All three have got a chance. Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I think it will probably be City. I obviously hope it will be Liverpool, and if it can't be Liverpool, I hope it will be Arsenal. Tell me why. I don't like Mondays. I want to shoot the whole day down. That was one of my dad's favourite songs, that. Uh, Zagorki, thank you very much for the support. Dude, Matt, uh, Kurt, thank you again. Stabbed, uh, Bouts, cheers for the support. I I, uh, I really am... I, I don't, sorry for opening this can of worms, but I am still staggered at how many people want Ten Hag to stay. I am staggered by it. Like, the loss against Chelsea, the, the gutless way they seem to be playing... There's no United got a draw yesterday and they deserved it because they got two great goals and Liverpool were terrible in front of goal. But United, they were at Old Trafford, at Old Trafford, and they were a shambles. They are they are shocking. Like people don't know who they should be picking up from corners when they're defending. The players are just letting people run past. You know they they are shocking at the moment. And and I can't believe that that like. like a negative goal difference with most of the season over and nearly a record number of defeats in the Premier League for a season for him. And people still think Ten Hag is going to do it. I, I'm baffled. It's crazy. Ralph, a lot of Man U fans want, want Ten Hag to say. that A lot of them do. They genuinely do. I, I, I'm, but yeah... I think a lot of that is because they've seen a succession of managers and sooner or later they believe someone's going to have to stick. But it ain't Ten Ark. He is fucking useless. Thanks, buddy. You're a great streamer. It would be I the really alternative. Do appreciate all the content. I don't know. I, I was thinking Wishes that this morning. For continued success. I quite like the idea of Unai Emery at Liverpool, to be honest, but I think he would do a better job than Ten Hag at Man United, for example. Why wouldn't he? Hello. I think there are many managers out there who will at least get the players to understand what they're meant to be doing when you don't have the ball. We finally found a double barrel when we've only got one shotgun shell. <laughs> What's that one? Woodmaster. Fucking hell. 300 Savage. And that... So this is that. That's the one. The Savage rounds are more powerful. That's the thing I wasn't getting. That... 
this is more powerful. The Woodmaster is more powerful than the Bushmaster. It's the Bushmaster I was confusing things about, the, the 300 round. These ones are much better, the Savage round, so we'll go with that. Even though it doesn't have a scope. I just don't, I don't agree. I, I don't understand. Like, you can say injuries. Everybody has had injuries this season. United haven't had more injuries than Liverpool, you know. Have a look at the squad that played in the fucking League Cup final, you know. Like, it, I just don't buy it. I, I, I'm staggered. Like, the, the signings that United have, have made, like, you brought three on from the bench because they're not good enough to start, you know. Mason Mount and Anthony and fucking Aaron Bratt, or however, I can't, however I'm meant to say his name, I always fucking... Aaron Bratt, Aaron Bat, I, Amrabat, Amrabat, that's it, I think, isn't it? You just signed them. They don't even start. You know, that's not injuries. They're shit. <laughs> that's the manager's fault, surely. I quite like Emery. I, I quite like Emery as Liverpool manager. I, I don't know a lot about the uh, the dude from Sporting Lisbon. Uh, he seems quite exciting and a good prospect, but I don't know. You've had more injuries than you, though. That's a fact. Have you? I haven't tallied it up, but Liverpool have had seriously large amounts of injuries, right? They've had, they've had uh, Alcantara injured the whole season. They've had Salah injured away. They've they've had Trent injured lots. They've had Sabozlay injured lots. The goalkeeper's been out. You know, like they've had lots and lots of injuries. Everyone's had lots of injuries. Everton have been ducked another two points, have they? Today. Good job they won at the weekend, I guess. Jambon, I said he's a signing. He's still a signing, right? You understand that, right? You chose to sign him. You signed him on loan, but you still signed him. What, what, what are you arguing about? <laughs> like, the, the manager got the player in, just like he got Mountain and all the others. Ten Hag is a fucking charlatan. He's, I can't believe there are people out there backing him. United yesterday were shocking when without the ball and the fact that you can defend that and think that the manager is going to turn it around is maybe he will but my my guess is he'll be sacked within 6 months I'm signing for you as a biographer. Somebody actually once messaged me about wanting to write a biography. From rags to rags. <laughs> Gringo, yeah, I, I definitely... I, 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 as an outsider, I know I, maybe I'm slightly biased, but as a Liverpool fan, I should be... Like, when Ollie was there, I, people were defending him. I was like, the longer he stays, the better. It's just funny to see, but I can't believe he, people are overlooking it. Thank you. Teapot, maybe. I, I understand that sentiment, but I just don't understand how Ten Hag is the one to do that with. I, I do get that. The constant change in the manager might not be the answer, but... Just, <laughs> they are shambles. You have a negative goal difference and you're nearly at your all-time worst season for losses in the Premier League. And it's not his first season where he's trying to bed in. He's had plenty of time and he's they're, they're shocking. They're, they're, United are shocking. Good stuff. Egg mayo sangers. Egg mayo sangers is the uh, the order of the day with a little bit of tomato. 
making sure there's no... Uh... Hey, thanks for the entertainment. I can always rely on you to pick me up when going through hard times. Keep doing what you're doing. Gambon, I don't deny it. But <laughs> that's not the argument, is it? There's no Liverpool are better and all this. I'm not... I'm not... I... I, I just, I, I'm staggered that, that you can defend the way that they're playing. It's his second season and they've gone backwards to last season. And you said they, they could only get Amrabat because they, they didn't spend any money. They spent money elsewhere, dude. Hoyland looks like he might be pretty decent, but the signings haven't been good enough. He's not good. The longer you keep him, the, the more you're going to be really fucking sixth next season, if you like. Staggering. That is good. How do you explain how they're playing yesterday, though, Jambon? How do you explain? I don't know if you watched Match of the Day, but if you saw the analysis of how they're defending at the moment. How do you explain that? It doesn't matter if they were playing a youth team. The players should know what they're meant to be doing. It doesn't come down to not having the players available. The players that were available yesterday are capable of, of playing a lot better than they did, surely. Uh, anyway, yeah, I hope he carries on. Long, long may ten hard rain. <laughs> Something that happens at other clubs as well is that, like, I don't know, uh, Guardiola will sign a player. Ten Hart, sorry, uh, Klopp will sign a player. Other other players. You could say you could say uh, like Spurs. You might see that with them potentially, but they'll sign a player, and then you'll see them progress. You'll see them improve. You know, like I'm not seeing that with United very much. You know, like they sign players. They signed Chelsea's Player of the Season for two years running, and he looks fucking shocking. But who's improved of the signings that Ten Hag has made? Like Anthony from the or whatever it was. Of the signings you've signed, who's got better? Who's progressed? Who's worth more money now? Garnaccio looks pretty decent, but that's one. He's signed fucking loads of players. Right. I, I think we might do with that. We've got some food. We've got a bit of stuff. Can you dig up stashes with anything other than a shovel and a field shovel? A uh, hoe and a garden fork, for sure. loot that. It has been good to have a more open season, Halkizo. It's, uh, it's going to be incredibly frustrating if City win it, because it would be so cool to see City not win it, basically. But... It's been cool to have a, a, a run in that's Time competitive flying. still, you know, like seven games left and it could still be one of three teams. That That's good. It, it makes a change, doesn't it? I hope Spurs get some points off of uh, 
Shropshire, I do. <laughs> last thing, like, Kyle, but no, uh, last, last season I kind of always felt, last season I always felt City were going to win it. This season I still think City are going to win it, but I'm nowhere near as confident, you know. I genuinely think there's a chance one of any of the three can win it, and that's rare. A two-horse race is not the same as it being open between three as well, by the way. So good. Churches cold loot. Whenever I check the churches, I never get anything. The cult loot thing revolves it tends to equal no loot to me. I think it would be hilarious if Southgate got the job. That would be hilarious. I don't think Southgate should get the job. But it would be fucking hilarious if he did. <laughs> Ten hag yeah. or eleven hag, it don't matter how many of them you have not liked this. I quite like Southgate. I, I think I don't think he's been terrible for England, but I wouldn't be giving him a top tier, a top tier uh, manager's job in the Premier League. Ringo, thank you very much. Hello, dude. Thank you very much for the gifted sub innings. Very, very kind. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Hello. Thank you for the for the 20 gifted memberships. Hullhawk, Claren, uh, Kieran, uh, Essex, Hot Pocket, Cheekslow, uh, MMC, Acepo. Thank you. Another month of top tier entertainment. I uh, I think who else is there? There are there are plenty of managers that would sort sort out what's going on at United. Sam Allardyce could sort out United's defending. I'm not saying you should give him the job, but United wouldn't be playing the way they are under him. <laughs> That's true. They're shocking. Unai Emery is, is absolutely deserving of another crack at a club like uh, Liverpool or United. I wouldn't be disappointed if Liverpool gave Unai Emery the job, for example. Uh, hi Ian, I won't be watching the game, I'll be streaming, but I'll be hoping Arsenal get through.
this is the way we want to go. Oh, I was hungry. Do goldfish drink water? The goldfish drink water. Filter it. They filter it, don't they? They drink it through their eyeballs. Gammy, thank you for the 21 months. Uh, Mataf and Mr. Surti, thank you. Blow air out the corner of my eyes. Whoa. Club to United with Jordan Henderson as a sister. I don't think there's any premium when United try and buy a player over, say, City, uh, dude. I don't think that's the case. I don't. I don't agree that United are subject to different rules in the transfer market than City or Chelsea, for example. Uh, clubs, that, clubs that have got the money get rinsed. You know, I, I, I don't. I don't believe that's the case. Look at some of the prices City have paid for fullbacks over the years. It might be the case that uh, the position you're in, like you say there, Gringo, that, that might happen. You know, if you're not in the Champions League, then you may end up paying through the nose because it's a harder job to get the player in. It's a lot easier to sign a player if you're guaranteed Champions League football and whatnot. You know, that's something else like, uh, like if they don't finish Champions League, which they're not going to, you know, they're, then it makes it harder to attract the players. You have to spend more. That, but I don't think it's specifically because it's United. United... Uh, don't get rinsed because they're united. They might because of the circumstances they find themselves in. <laughs> what are my favourite guns? Close and long range. Uh... One of my favourite guns, without a doubt, is the is the Blaze. It's not the best gun in the game, but I really, really like it. Always have. Uh, the Blaze is my favourite gun in the game, full stop. But best guns, then, like, mid-range DMR and SVD are ob obviously killer. Absolutely the best. But I kind of like, as a balanced loadout, something like a Tundra and an AK-74 is a really good loadout and more achievable. And all, all clubs get rinsed. I, I don't. I just don't agree that United are a special case. Liverpool were going to pay a hundred and something million for Caicedo in a race with Chelsea. They were way paying over the odds. Chelsea paid fifty odd million for Lavia. You know, everyone's paying way over the odds. It's not just United. Look at what Chelsea played for Caicedo and, and Lavia, and then try to pretend that they're not overpaying too. Everyone is. It's not a United only phenomenon. That's just not true. BFG 9000. Does it shoot snozcumbers? <laughs> 44 months. Interesting fact. The liver is the only human internal organ capable of natural regeneration of lost tissue. 
The liver will return to a normal size in one to two weeks following the removal. Following the removal of greater than 50% of the liver by mass. Wow. That, that's what every alcoholic says to themselves, I believe. Doesn't mean you should ruin your liver, everyone, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> uh, it doesn't... It's not a good idea, but yeah, it, that is very, very true. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's the one that regenerates a little bit. Which is why they say that it's a good idea if you're an occasional drinker even, that you sometimes have like a month off, you know? Like, it's a good thing to do. Interesting. So there was a blue blue cylinder and a stove here. I don't normally find a great deal of loot here, but I think we've got to loot it. This location is fairly dangerous. Like, there's usually a player or two here. It's quite rare that there's not. That's a big bag. That's a big bag, is that, dear? A, a sailing bag, in fact, I might take that. A sailing bag or two could help me here. There are wells, but there's not one here. There's not one for a while. So, uh, a sailing bag could replace the blood I just took, but it would also give me some hydration too which would be no bad thing Putty, probably don't need that. Let's take it anyway. Baby Lovejoy came on Wednesday night. She's already watching with me. Oh. Does that count as an extra view? I think so. Maybe get her to hold a phone and watch on a different device or him. <laughs> oh, she, yeah. I, I was right, her. Yeah, uh, uh, holding it. Uh, don't, don't start them on a, a laptop or a night. Sorry, an iPad or a phone just yet. Far too early. They've got to be at least six months, right? <laughs> Congratulations, Lovejoy. Thank you for the resub. Very, very kind. I don't think I can be bothered with this. I'm just going to put that there and then drop it. I, I don't think I can be fucked carrying it. There is a gas zone on this server, but you don't really need to go to it to get good loot. I don't know, though. Maybe I should change my mind a bit. Maybe I could kill that zombie. Take, take the big bag. Yakety, yeah, I've not seen anything about it, but uh, it certainly, uh, certainly would make me more appealing to want to play Chernus on Zero, for sure. Cause, 
I, I played Winter a little while ago, but I, I've got no motivation to play Winter Cherneris now. It feels far too late for me. Like November till maybe February is kind of my Winter Cherneris window. After that, I I, I love Cherneris. It's one of my favourite maps. But Winter Cherneris, I, I just if it doesn't feel wintry for me, I can't really get into it. Jammed. The the they were at Comic Con, but that no, I wasn't there, dude. I. It's it's from around about the first or so of May that uh, ten of us are going uh, to the Czech Republic. So it's it's early May. Maybe we shouldn't be clearing this with a. Uh... Thirty-seven in a row. Keep running, homie. Here's the thing I'm not understanding. How has he managed to create a situation where he has total control but only a quarter of the ownership? Like, how is that going to work, right? How, how? How has he managed to swing that deal? It's a genuine question. I'm not, it's not me being pedantic, but, like, if he starts doing things that the Glazers don't agree with and they've got three quarters of the share, it won't stay like that, no matter what. Like, it can't possibly work in the long run that... The person that decides the outcome of the club is the one that owns a quarter of it, or whatever it is, you know. He's going to have to buy more at some point, or it'll... At some point, no matter what, there'll be fallings out. There's bound to be. Unless he gets everything right and they just go on this crazy run, of course, and then it won't... If everything goes well, that'll be a whole other matter. Too many 300 rounds. Well, there's the crazy thing. So, they've got a deal where they can buy the shares back in three years. They've given him... Basically, they've given him complete control for three years to see if he can fix it. As it were. But, I don't know. It's a weird, weird situation. I have no, I don't remember ever there being a, a time where it's been like that anywhere else. You know, like, a minority shareholder gets to call all the shots. Carte blanche. It's really strange. Like, it just wouldn't happen in any other type of business, would it? You know, like, you own three quarters of probably, or uh, uh, more than 50%, let's say. I don't know the exact, but it's more than 50, right? You own more than 50% of arguably the biggest or one of the very biggest football clubs on the planet. Uh, certainly in the top three, four, five, whatever, you know. like, And you're going to let somebody else make all the decisions that affect that. It doesn't I don't understand. I don't understand why anyone would do that. That's like anybody else going, well, well, I, I have this job and I need to do it to get money, but I'm going to let somebody else make all the decisions for me and I'm not going to have a say. doesn't make sense. If you're running your own business, why would you ever do that? Wiggles, thank you very much for the 37 months. Lovejoy, thanks again. Islisha, thank you very much too. I've got two weapon cleaning kits, dude. I don't need another one. Uh, and Mitchy, thanks again for the uh, liver update. Just for the support, dude. Clock. Uh, mm. I'm still kind of secretly hoping for a saline bag. Did I watch the old firm yesterday? No, dude. I think it finished a draw, didn't it? I, uh, I watched the Liverpool United game. Uh, or the United Liverpool game. I didn't, didn't watch anything else.
How do you fix United when the market is is dry like a desert? Well, it, it's the same as anything else, you know. Like the reality <laughs> is, it takes a spark from possibly the manager. Everyone's blaming the owners. United have spent plenty of money, maybe with debt, maybe not, but they've spent loads of money. They've, they've competed in the in the Premier League with everybody else. They spend as much money on wages as pretty much any other club. They have a platform to win from right now. Uh, but it, it takes the right person, like, it takes the right person to, to make it happen. That's the case, you know. Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool had a, a massive struggle for years and years and years. And all right, they've only won one title in, in the eight seasons Klopp's been in charge, but it took him. He was the difference. They got a few oh so nears, but they, they, he was the person that catalyzed it, that, that, that made it happen. Exactly, they need a Ted Lasso. They're already spending enough. They already have the budget. They already have the, the opportunities. But if they continue to keep finishing the, out of the Champions League, they may not forever. These shots are getting quite close. What does this fire? 380. I think we're just going to leave. 380 bullshit. It's just different now as well, isn't it? You know, like, it's so different winning the Premier League now in the City era. It's always been difficult. There's always been a couple of teams, but it's, th th before there wasn't financial fair play, whereas now there is. And the team that keeps winning anything have got the most money and they're probably breaking all the rules as well, you know? Like, <laughs> like just look at Newcastle. They're, they're trying not to break the rules. There's talk of them selling one of their best players so that they can balance the books and make sure they're not breaking it, right? Newcastle can't close the gap, back gap the same as Chelsea did under Abramovich or City did when the new owners came in. They could close the gap then in a way that they you can't do now. It's, it's not just Klopp, Pixel. There's a lot of structure behind, that's true. But I think Klopp was, was one of the major reasons. That, like, they had a lot of the structure in place for Brendan Rodgers, as far as I remember, and they never won it, did they, you know? What do I think of Sabozlai? He's been great. A little bit... I don't know. It, since the formation changed, and he's now playing, attacking with McAllister, he, d he doesn't seem quite so domineering as he was, but I think is a very, very good player. I think Klopp was the major factor, by the way. I, I really do think Klopp was the major factor in Liverpool's turn of form. The way he played and, and the way the team has played has been the major reason. That, oh, he's not the reason why the players necessarily sign, but the, the style of play and the way that he's got them playing is... is I think Klopp is the, the major reason for Liverpool's tinge of form. There's lots of other things that matter too, of course, that's true. But uh, I think he's been the, the catalyst without a shadow of a doubt. Cheers, beer mugs. I never went back and got the gas mask, did I? I ought to. I'll go back and get it. I picked up the bag and then I didn't get the gas mask, did I? I, don't, I can't really be fucked, to be honest. I, I, the, there's plenty on this server to go to without doing a gas only route, but that's the whole reason why I took the big bag, so I ought to do it, really. Somebody's been through here recently, I think. We're seeing lots of dropped stuff. It would last a while, but nonetheless, someone's been through.
G Dubs, thanks for the support. Dude. Thank you very much. Cat Hacker, thank you as well. Interesting pixel. We'll see, but I, I, I think, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't see any other. What the fuck were they doing there? I, I don't, I don't give a shit what the structure is above Ten Hag personally. There's the the way that they're playing at the moment, and the way that they 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 lost against Chelsea. The way that they're playing in general. That's on the manager. It's not on the structure. It's on the manager and the players. But he's got a lot to do with the players, as far as I know. I think he's involved with the signings, isn't he? I think he has a has like sign. He is allowed to sign off the signings. I don't think he get. He's not like Pochettino at Chelsea, where he's getting players forced upon him or anything. I don't believe. I think Ten Hag gets the final say. I'm pretty sure that's the case. And he's not doing enough. Strange that they get two and Forrest get four. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Thanks for all the awesome content. Kind of hard to work out what the fuck is going on with the whole. Hey Trinity, hope you're good. Points deduction decided by fair dice roll. Yeah, that seems to be about it. Yeah, I know it's another charge. They got they got charged the same day as Forrest, and Forrest got their four points before, but I just can't seem to work out how they decide what points go to who and for why, you know, like... Change my mind. guns do I have? Nothing great. I've got some kind of no scope, sorry, yeah, no scoped rifle that's fairly powerful but won't take a scope. And a double barrel shotgun but hardly any shells as far as I remember. I've got a few shells. I was really hoping for a, uh, a saline start kit, but sorry, a, a saline bag. I thought I left the, yeah, there it is. shots over that way quite a bit. I don't think I'm going to head towards them though. That's where we came from. I'm not going to, I think, kind of Derby way from memory. I'm not going to go that way. Don't think there'll be much here. There's a possibility there might be a little bit of loot on the roof. I think I've found a gun on the roof of this building in the past. Certainly is today, Logan. I That's hope for everyone's sure. day is great.
14 months I'm on a roll, keep up the great work. Let's try to bash this door down. Taking a while, isn't it? There we go. God. The first time I've aimed down sight, my god, that's horrible. You can't see the sight. It's like ob it's kind of a, like obscured by the uh that's horrible. The rear sight is kind of ugh. The rear sight is blurring the the end sight completely. Tab around the big camo military trucks. Yeah, I haven't been Here's doing that. Here's to many more. It's a Woodmaster which fires 300 Savage rounds. Which I believe are pretty powerful. You know you're in bother when you're relying on fucking tack back for uh, hydration. Yeah, I've got a good excuse. You're right, I can blame it on the gun. 10-4. I can and will. <laughs> Guess it's like an S... I think it's bolt action, I think. No, it's semi-auto. I didn't realise that. That's good. Yeah, semi-auto makes it kind of okay, doesn't it? So yeah, it, I need to think of it like an SKS. I was thinking it was bolt action. I'd not really read it, to be honest. Never used it before. Do I plan on doing any BR today? Maybe uh, near the end of the stream. Like about 11 hours today, so ideally, I'm in my head right now, seven-ish hours, maybe seven to eight hours of Bitterroot and maybe a different map. And then I might do three or four hours of uh, Battle Royale near the end. I haven't done Battle Royale since last Tuesday, but then I haven't streamed since last Tuesday either, you know, so... See them on the ground. Yeah, that you can't see though. That's interesting, isn't it? So I should definitely have tapped the others, like like you said. Holy fucking lag! Saw a Mini 14 earlier, I wish I took it. BDSM jacket. Oh, hi. Right. I want to go to the right, find this little walkway thing. According to that, I should be on the walkway. I can't see it. There it is. Well, that's it there. Right, we'll just follow this for now. Hopefully we'll find a bottle or something. I've got a few... Uh, Chlorine tabs. <coughs> we could well find a canteen at a, at a feed shack or something like that. Stephen, yeah, I'm going to miss the eclipse anyway, unless I pause the stream and go and have a look. go. Someone said, I really want to hear that gun. That's what it sounds like. Yep, 
Yeah, well, yeah, don't have a look at it. That's true. You can't look directly at it. <laughs> I've not got the relevant equipment to look directly at it, but I would quite like to go outside while it happened. I am a bit stupid, though. I could see me looking directly at it like a fucking prick anyway, so probably best I don't. Uh, Ghost Wilk. Thank you very much for the year inning, dude. Dollar Brandon, cheers for the gifted sub. Powder, uh, over 1,000 koalas. Thank you for the new sub, sub, dude. Good fella. Birdman and Rowdy, cheers for the support, guys. Twitch making it harder and harder to use the prime sub happy I found to support again. Interesting, from Is the shadows cast by leafy branches, eh? Why can't you look? Well, it's not a total eclipse, Jambon, so you're still effectively looking at the sun, right? Never look directly at the sun. A, a partial eclipse in the UK is still the sun. Not a good idea to look directly at it. It's not, it's not a good idea. Like, if you're going to watch, what, try to watch an eclipse, you're meant to wear, like, eclipse glasses, right? There's special glasses you can put on. They look a bit like the old 3D glasses from yesteryear. But if you're looking at Eclipse and then suddenly it's not an Eclipse anymore, you're also looking at the sun, right? <laughs> you just can't do it. When in the UK do we get the sun? It was lovely this morning. I had my sunglasses on and everything I did. Hard to find the sub. Uh, Irish guy, thank you very much for subscribing. And yeah, they've moved Prime. It's now in Elevate Your Subscription. They've hidden it away. It's almost like they want to make it harder for people to use it, isn't it? Has no one seen the Simpson episode when Marge burns her retinas off TRM bed face farm? <laughs> Shabadoo, I've not seen that one. If it's more recent, I've not I haven't seen any Simpsons forever in a day. Yeah, you could use your phone, I guess. Yeah, look like point your camera point your phone at it and then look at the screen. Will I ever move to kick? I'd say it's highly unlikely, Casper. I don't think Kick is really the uh, destination for Daisy streamers, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't think there's much of a viewer base on Kick for Daisy. So no, I, don't, I really don't see it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I, everyone knows this already, but I used to be an addicted gambler. So as much as other platforms like Twitch and YouTube have some gambling on it, Kick is funded by gambling. It's funded by Stake, is it? S T A K E. It's basically funded. All of the contracts, everything, the, the revenue shit split is all funded by gambling. It's, it it is uniquely uh, exists because of gambling in a way that YouTube and Twitch do not. And for me personally, that would be a bit of a red flag because I used to be an addicted gambler. It's not really for me. That said, though, uh, competition for Twitch is good. Twitch need competition for sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I, if you go to Kick right now and have a look at Daisy, how many people are playing? How many people are watching Daisy right now? I suspect it's not very many. Do we go to Rolling Hills? I think we'll just carry on to Rickins, even though I am dying of thirst. Seven K roughly. There's not seven thousand people watching Daisy on Kick. People are saying twelve. <laughs> Fuck it out. That's that's my point. Like if I went a to Kick, prime. like I'm not going to grow viewers on Kick. Like by streaming on YouTube right now, I am growing my audience base. I'm streaming on Twitch. I'm growing my audience. Right. If I went to Kick, where there are right now twelve people wanting to play Daisy, I'd be taking some of my audience with me, but I wouldn't be growing Eight new months, audience there so much. Content. You know. Please pet Toby for me. TRMZ Toby. And that's the thing, if it's 12, anybody that's not completely done will have 
at least one viewer, which is effectively themselves, you know, or a bot or something, you know. I've not had any offers from Kick Sugar, no. Once upon a time, I was approached. Uh, I did sign an NDA, but it was several years ago. I was approached and made some kind of vague offer by Facebook, but I turned it down. I did listen, but I, I didn't really want to go to Facebook, and uh, so I didn't. It wasn't directly from Facebook. It was via an audio, uh, via a uh, agency, of course. It wasn't them. Hope you had a good Easter break. I've missed your wee face. Thanks for all the content. I live for Monday Z T R M Z love T R M Z love T R M Z love. Uh, Roma, Puggle, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for coming in. I, uh, I, I, gambling is gambling. People can, people can do it. I'm not really judging. I'm not trying to ban gambling or anything, but I'd have a hard time. I, I'm not going to lie, though. The honest truth is this, you know, it, if Kit came along and said, we're going to give you a two-year contract and pay you $5 million for it, I'd probably take it. Like, of course I would, and I'd have to live with that, you know, like, but everyone's got a price, you know, my price isn't going to kick when there's no benefit. Uh, I, I'm not going to put, the reality is the idea that I could be financially secure for the rest of my life, put the kids through university and do everything that I need. Of course I would take that, you know, Ev everyone has, everyone has a, uh, a point, but that there isn't a, they, they're not going to offer me $5 million, you know, I'm not big enough, you know, like, that. that's the point, I any offer I could maybe squeeze out of them would not be enough to make me go because I'm Welcome not big back, enough. Paul. Heart. I'm not a big enough streamer to to get an offer that it would be enough for me to take it. What was that? It sounded a bit like a crossbow. I don't think it was a crossbow that was fired at me. I'm glad you streamed to YouTube now. Had a gambling addiction once too. Appreciate you talking openly about it. Uh, Verd Vern, dude, thank you very much for the super chat. I hope you're good. Taff, I played it on the first day. I've not felt any strong desire to go back and play Reforger since then. This is bad. The, the place we just heard shots is where I'm going to. And I need to go into the town because I've got to get a drink. I don't have any choice in that. Pixel Junkie, at your age wouldn't 50 quid make you secure for the rest of your life? Well, thank you very much. Uh, Sean, Roma, Puggle, thank you. Welsh Wolfman, uh, cheers for the support. Thank you. Why am I sick? I presume it's a cold. I don't know. Other than that, I've no idea. I am light blue quite a lot, so I presume it's a cold. How about a fucking canteen? MG Stallion, uh, you, you're misunderstanding, dude. If I went to kick, I would be a DayZ streamer. I wouldn't be doing any gambling. <laughs> like, not that I'm going, and that's the point. I'm not going to kick, but I wouldn't go to kick on a contract and stream gambling. I wouldn't do that anyway. I don't do gambling content. If I was to be signed on a contract, I would stream DayZ, right? Uh, that's the point. I, again, this is all fictitious. I'm just making the point I don't want to go to kick, right? But... I wouldn't be going there to do slots. I turn down everything now. I get offered poker tournaments and slots and all sorts. 
I've been offered the money to stream when when slot streaming was more common on Twitch. I got all those offers already. I don't do them. Hi, Hussein. Uh, Hussein, I think that is. Uh, Schrader. I hope you're good. Right. Maybe you'll drop me a can of food. <coughs> Caesar, I, it was a long time ago that I was offered slots, but you get offered a lot of money to stream all sorts. I, I just... I don't do them. I, I only do stuff I'm interested in. I don't even do games that I won't play, right? I don't do mobile phone games, I only do games that I would genuinely play. I, I turn down nearly all sponsors. I'm lucky to be in a position to do that, but I turn most of them down, dude. They're going to be overwatching the well. I think the things I just picked up were ruined. So what I was just checking there was the loot from the from this dead dude. <laughs> Didn't I pick up? No, I've only got one. I thought I picked up more. Fuck, that was so obviously likely to happen. I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm just going to respawn. That was because we weren't we were thirsty. Uh. I had to go into the town. It was dangerous, but I had to get a will. I had to go to the well. You know, shit happens. Great streaming, great content. Keep up the good work, dude. Stu, thank you for the twenty-five months. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. I am lucky in that regard, with regards to sponsorships. Like, like I've been. Don't assume that this is what other people are getting, because <laughs> it's not necessarily the case. But I've, in the last month, I've turned down HelloFresh to the tune of about about four and a half thousand guaranteed, and more than doubling that with not many signups. Right now, that's not what other people might get. It, it realistically eight eight to nine eight to ten thousand pounds or dollars, sorry. Uh, but I don't want to do a Hello HelloFresh sponsorship. There's nothing wrong with HelloFresh. I actually quite vaguely interested in the product, right? I, I think HelloFresh are fine. If you want it, get it, you know? I don't have a problem with that sponsorship at all. Aside from the fact that I don't have a webcam. And, like, doing two hours of a sponsored stream where I spend two hours looking at the HelloFresh website seems really dull. <laughs> I don't want to put my, my audience through two hours of me looking at the HelloFresh website. There's, obviously that's, maybe, like, like, some people may say it's cutting your nose off to spite your face, but if I'm going to do a sponsor stream, I need to genuinely feel like I can do it and it'll be interesting, because I'm expecting my audience to watch it, right? Uh, I, if I, if not, not, if you've got a webcam, you can make a HelloFresh stream a lot more interesting, you can show... You can show what you're doing, you can, you can show what you've cooked, or you can even do a cooking stream if you want, whatever, you know, but I don't want to do all of that. Do I think Everton will get relegated? I do not, no. They just got two points deducted today by all accounts, but they, they won at the weekend, right? So they're still net one point up than where they were. I don't think Everton will get relegated, no. Well, this sucks. Fuck me, dead. Not been great run so far, is it? It is what Bitterroot is like, though. You have to struggle a bit with loot in the early days. There is uh, there is value to, to to taking sponsors, and you can earn shitloads of money from sponsorships, right? Of course you can. But there is a long-term value to what you will make your audience watch as well, you know? Like, some people don't have... 
like I've been, I've been full time for eight years. That's quite rare, you know. May, maybe not shilling everything that I get op offered is one of the reasons why I haven't lost my audience, you know. Maybe because if you start favouring the dollar more than you favour your long term progression, maybe it, like the short termism of that can have an effect on you, you know. Uh, Stu, thank you very much. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Callum, no, I didn't. I, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I watched the Liverpool United game, but I didn't. I didn't get to watch. T like I was off yesterday, but I can't spend all day watching football. I end up single, right? So I watched the Liverpool game, uh, and that's the one I could watch basically. Can you build bases on this server? Uh, James, there are two different Bitterroot servers, as far as I know. One way you can build bases and one way you can't. It, it tells you in the title which one you join, so... Uh, have a look at the Bitterroot servers and pick the one that suits you. I could catch highlights, but I'm, I'm not that much of a fan of Scottish football that I'm bothered about watching the old firm anyway, you know? like. I saw a little bit of the highlights of on Match of the Day, but they didn't show the old firm, right? They, they showed, the, showed the Premier League, Match of the Day too. Liverpool game was so predictable. If you've been watching Liverpool lately, it absolutely was. They are exactly like that at the moment, just mostly bossing the game, but not finishing, not punishing teams. I was like a tiny runny Corbin. <laughs> Doinkle, well, that, I, I, I can see where you're coming from there. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, Jilay. Thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Doinkle, Stew, Jilay, thank you for the support, guys. Why is Robot Lady not reading that out? I'm sure she'll get to it, but if she doesn't, I'll read it out. Callum, well, Darwin's been pretty good for most of the season. And you say we're crying out for a striker. We've got Jota, who's injured, right? Uh, we, we've, we've got Jota, who was banging in goals for fun before he got injured. I think Liverpool's attack is fine. I don't think they could be... Side if, if they're guilty of anything, it's not having enough firepower. I don't think that's true. Uh, Darwin has, has gone a bit gun-shy again, unfortunately. But he, I, he, I'm quite OK about him, by and large. But lately, he seems to have gone a bit quiet again. But it, it's a bit harsh when Liverpool's most, like, poacher... He's, Jota is Liverpool's best poacher. And he's injured, you know? But I, I'm quite pleased with Darwin. It was a lot of money. Maybe it was too much. Do I think he's ever going to be, like, a 25 goals a season in the Premier League striker? Maybe not. But he's been decent. I don't think he's bad at all. I, I genuinely don't. Uh... I think the bigger problem is that Sal Salah is not in form at the moment. He's just not. He doesn't look like he's going to score. He's still scoring a few goals, but he needs like eight chances to score one. That's not how he normally is. Uh, parasocial relationships are weird, says Doinkle. Last night I had a dream with you and it. You were like a tiny Ronnie Corbett and I had a seizure and I helped you. And, and had a seizure. Sorry, you had a seizure. and So I, me, had a seizure. And I helped you. You were so grateful we became friends. I woke up cringing. <laughs> they are weird in a way, yeah. Well, he does quite often play on the wing, Jambon. He switches places quite a lot. He did yesterday. He wasn't always up front. Well, I think, I think uh, Alf, I think Darwin was signed to be that main man. Uh, he just wastes some chances, you know. But I quite like... It's hard not to like him when he's your player because he tries like fucking crazy. He gets in chances. He runs like a fucking train. He creates so many chances. He just doesn't quite score enough, you know. He, he, he scores the ones where he hasn't got time to think. Uh, and that's not uncommon, but 
it's easy to say teams need a Haaland or a Kane, but there aren't many Haalands and Canes, you know, like, you can't just go out and buy a Kane, you know, like, maybe they could have tried to get Kane, but it's not that simple, you know, like, Daniel Levy's not stupid, I think he intentionally made sure he got him Red to buy him, you know, like, that. I don't think Levy would have sold him quite so easily from Tottenham to Liverpool, you know. Luck. Well, I think Nunes is okay. I, I, I don't. I don't think personally. Uh, well, I think they're going to need a replacement for Salah, but I don't think they'll be looking for an out-and-out -out attacker. I, I, I genuinely think Gakpo was signed as the long-term replacement up front as well. I know he, I, people are going to be like, "Oh, he's fucking terrible." Gakpo's decent. He's young and he's decent, and he's he's meant to be a centre forward. But he he's not he's not the finished article. He may not work out to be, but Gakpo Gakpo's better than he's shown so far. These ones we heard shooting before, so I'm just going to go in with the axe and start swinging. Actually, knives are quite OP. Let's go with the knife. Oh. Okay. They already left. No flies, though. Yeah, in, in no way am I trying to say Gakpo is going to be the finished article and he's the answer to all things, but he's a young striker that has potential to be a very good striker. Ollie Watkins might be good, yeah, maybe. You can't just go out and buy Harry Kane slot racer. Like, City tried to sign him and they didn't get him, you know? Like, I think United were interested they didn't get him. Daniel Levy is a very, very smooth operator, you know? Like, he's, you can say a lot of things about him, but he isn't going to sell Harry Kane to one of his immediate rivals. He made sure he went to buy Munich. in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he SpongeBob SquarePants. Regan, you know, another sporting upset. <laughs> I didn't in see it. In an absolute it. shocker, Max Verstappen won in Suzuka despite having the best car and starting on pole. Wonder of wonders. Uh, I I didn't I need to go back to that body. I uh I got the rope. Sorry, I got the uh the hooks. There's there's ma there's nails right there, look. Regan, thank you. Nate, cheers for the support, dude. Very, very kind. Thank you. I need to get the gizzard to make rope and I need to go back to the well and wash my hands as well, I think. Uh, Sal Solo, Gal Negretta, cheers for the support as well, guys. Thank you very much. What's to be? Yeah, it's this one. Holy fuck. Sir, thank you very much for the gifted subs. You're very kind. Cheers for the, for gifting six subs, dude. Thank you. tie belt. This is the problem. This is the thing I find a bit of a struggle. We're here. Somebody's, like, a couple of new spawns have died here. There's somebody with a gun that's gone ahead. So there's a player in front of us that's got gear. Like, it's so hard on this particular map to get anywhere because everywhere you go is already looted and you're already foraging some, somebody else that's looted it every fucking time. More so than any other map I've played. It's so tricky in the beginning. It's really hard to get a start. Like on that last life, we were ratting around the military base, picking up shit that nobody else wanted because somebody else had been there dropping their crossbow stuff not long before. And it, it feels like that every life. And yes, you get, unless you gear up when the server's low pot, you're up against it, basically. Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. You alright, dude? Are you friendly? Yeah, I'm friendly. There's somebody that's been killing people oh, up ahead. Oh, but... oh. oh Whoa! God. Yeah, there's like four dead bodies. Around. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen a few. Hey, man, don't run. No, I really don't want to go back. It's another one. Kill me, please, my friend. I have food. I have food. Kill me, please. No worries. He does have food. I need food. Nope. Uh, who, just, who just said that? That dude said kill me please, so I killed him. Have I met you on this map before? On the old playtest? I don't think so. I don't know. I, I wouldn't remember if we did, to be honest. I, I don't remember who I, I met on the map last week. I'm just trying to find the well, dude. My hands are right dirty, they are. So my only kill today came in this building at this... W oh, no, it's not this one. I thought this is where the well was. Different town, isn't it? Puffers. <laughs> Here's food. Do it. Any bandages? There's another dead guy. I'm good. I've, well, I've got two. I'm running out of space. I've had to drop me uh, hatchet on the floor to drink. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh no, never mind. I found a hatchet in one of the rooms. Have you uh, seen this new map yet? Like what? the new areas? Oh uh, yeah, I've been to some of the places last week. Yeah, the big town and stuff. Yeah. I don't really want to team up. I should do. I don't want to. So I'm going to run ahead. Hot take, you need more than well water to clean bloodied hands. Uh, I can see the sense in that. I, I don't, I don't see it Arsenal myself. Fan, Bruno Fernandez is welcome in North London anytime he wants. You want him to sign for Spurs, do you, Wilkins? <laughs> I presume you want him to sign for Spurs. Uh, I wouldn't want him at Liverpool. I know, sorry, United fans. He, he, that was a great goal. But I, I don't like Fernandes very much. I know maybe that's harsh, but I, I'm, I wouldn't want him at Liverpool. I'm sure United fans will disagree, and that's fine. You know, I'm sure he's better than whoever, but I don't, I don't like him at all. I think his attitude stinks, and for most of yesterday's game he stank. But that's who you get with... He, he, he stunk the place out in the first half and then scored a wonder goal, you know. Uh, cheers for the support, Wilkings. Kodge, Song, thank you for the bits. Times two. Tonka, thank you as well. No, I don't think he's a stream sniper. He just recognised my voice is all. It's fine. The best players are petulant. I, I don't think he is a, one of the best players. But you're right. Sometimes players can be petulant. I just don't. I don't rate him very much. I, I, I've seen him quite a bit this season. I, I don't think he's all that. I think he crumbles in the bigger games. I think he was terrible yesterday and scored a great goal. And to be fair, second half he was decent enough. Not just the goal. He, he made he made some decent tackles. He was pretty decent. You know, he was. But the first half, I've seen enough of that to not think he, I'd want him personally. I don't think it's fair to say he's in Being the same breath as Ronaldo. Nobody is really, other than the odd one or two maybe. But I don't think the comparison works. 
He's petulant when he's not the best player on the pitch regularly. Ronaldo or Messi can be petulant because they're the best player on the pitch pretty much always. Internet donkey, I, I don't really mind, dude. I think he was okay. I, it was the other guy that was kind of annoying, the one that asked me to kill him. He was the one that was like, oh, oh, oh. It was the other guy that, that was a bit over the top. But I don't really have anything in mind so much. The reason I don't want to team up right now is because loot is sparse and I don't want to spare it, share it, you know? Like, I'm really struggling to get gear at the moment. And if I have somebody else with me, I'm going to have to split everything 50-50. I just don't want to do it, you know? I check cars when it makes sense, first. Or, uh, everywhere around here is looted. I'm just trying to get to the next place. Smiley, I'm a, I'm a Liverpool, I guess, follower. I've never seen him play live. I wish I had done. I had tickets once, but it, it didn't work out. They were a gift from my ex, and they were not legit tickets, unfortunately. Barbaric, you, you basically spawn along the same route, so... I don't really... Like, you always spawn mostly in this area. And it leaves you with this route, or that route, or that route, so... You can spawn in various different places, but there are mainly three lanes to choose, right? And so you're following the same route everyone else is. Like, if you spawn in Electro, there's more than three lanes to choose, just from one town. If you spawn in Berezino, there's multiple lanes to choose. If you spawn in Kamishovo or whatever, you know, the, the problem here is that whatever spawn you get, there's the same three lanes. Regan, that sucks, dude. I think this map is great. It's just getting over the hump in the spawn, by the way. I like Bitterroot. There's some really cool areas. but And it's still a work in progress, by the way. This is a test. It's still a work in progress. There's still other development happening on the map. But the, the thing I find most difficult about Bitterroot is the start. You know? Oak, thank you very much for the support, dude. The trees are watching, are they? I feel like I'm in the happening. Watchful, no, we're good. Hope you're good. Hope, hello. Can I play on South Africa servers? I guess I could. Probably not much reason for me to do so. Might be a, a very another big day, ping. Another dollar. Uh, trade-off without any benefit. Very nice, merry boy. Nate, yeah, of course it's it's a work in progress, you know. I, I definitely will uh, hopefully change over time, but it, it's my... I don't think it's fair to say gripe, but it's the one thing that's definitely still there right now. You know? It's not gone away yet. It's a really tricky thing though, I was talking about this last week when we played Bitterroot, but it would be really dull if everybody had to try and make a map that was a bit like Chernerus, where, uh, or Livonia, where you have to start, like, if every map only worked, if you spawn along an entire run, like everyone spawns along the whole of the north, or everyone spawns on the whole of the west, east, south, whatever, that's the only way sometimes these maps work. And, and that would be a shame if the only way to make them work was to basically cut and paste it. Like, like, Chernerus works so well because you can spawn in so much of the map and then have so many choices on where to go. Like, you could have ten lives on Chernerus and go a different route every time. You definitely can't do that here right now, you know. But it would be really dull if every map had to be a cut and paste of that kind I of formula. Oak, the trees are watching. Deer Isle is pretty good for choices now, but it didn't used to be. It's really improved loads, and that's the point about 
about map uh, development. You know, Deer Isle had some real problems with the spawn uh, a, a while ago. But opening it up so that you could make it viable to go to Alcatraz or you could go to Beringer or you could go you can go straight over that same bridge and go the, the standard route near Eagle, Eagle Mountain and whatnot, you know. There were so many more choices now that weren't there some time before. I really need some food. I don't know why I looted this. I never find anything in these. <laughs> that dude's just not giving up, is he? Anything I can make a hook with? I'm dying of hunger. Uh. Good. <laughs> I do have something to make a hook with, but I ain't giving it to you. Jambon, yeah, I don't even know how to set up a crypto wallet for, for taking donations, dude. I, I don't know. I... You're probably right. If I had a crypto wallet donation, maybe some crypto gazillionaire would send me I some bum coin or something. Line. But I, uh, I don't know. I think uh, I think it's something that it would still be niche. If I if I set up a crypto wallet, I think it would be much more niche than bits or tips or super chats. If I'm completely honest, but it would be a revenue. It would be a way for people to do it. It's another option for sure. I'm just completely not... I, I've no idea about crypto, and to be honest, I, I'm not really... I think I've completely missed the boat on being bothered about it. That's the truth. Like, I, I just don't... I don't really want to start getting into crypto wallets and then trying to work out how to get it to my business account and whatnot. I missed your resub, did I, Willsoft? Sorry, dude. Thank you. I'm going to go straight to the town for now. I need, I need to get some food. Uh, what's my opinion on Salah's performance? I think Salah has not been the same player since he came back from, uh, from injury. Since he went away with Egypt and he came back, he's not been sharp. He hasn't been sharp. I've seen Liverpool quite a lot lately. I, I've seen them uh, a fair few times, like on the TV but I've seen the whole game Salah's not right he, he's not the same player as he was not so long ago I, I don't think he's far away but he just doesn't look sharp he, his finishing is just not sharp it's like he's not it's almost like he's not as alert as he was you know he just doesn't he's not at it the same as he was I think I don't think Salah staying will have anything to do with Klopp Sharky I think he was going to go anyway I think he probably will go I think it will be the right choice as well. I think selling him would be the right choice. I'm glad they kept him. I think selling him in the summer, if, if the same kind of money's on offer, would be right. Uh, semi Rutter, if it, honestly, the best thing you can do to, to set up your stream is to watch Nerd or Die on YouTube and follow the tutorial. That's what everybody does. Still have a bar on me. No, I ate it. It did fuck all. Personally, I think they should have kept Mane and cashed in on Salo. Well, the money wasn't on offer then, dude. And I think based on how Mane did since, I don't think that's true. I think, <laughs> I think, I think selling Mane at the time, people felt it was wrong at the time. I personally didn't. And said as much on the stream and I think based on how he then did at Bayern and now I don't think it was a bad choice favorite car I don't really have one dude I'm not really a car guy uh, I'd quite I'd, I wouldn't mind I'd love actually that's not true I 
I'd quite like a 911. Right? It's a very cliched common car, but I would like a 911 one day. Like a, uh, I don't know. A, I'd, I'd love a GT3 Touring or whatever they are. You know, that'd be great. One of the fancy ones, but I'm not. I'm never going to buy one. It's just not not something I would get enough joy out of, even if I could afford it. I think it's probably an age thing. It's the sort of thing that Clarkson used to look down on. But time flies. I, I don't Thank have time to be a car guy. You know? <laughs> like, for me, a car is the thing I need to go and get the kids with, or the thing I need to go and watch the film with, or go to the cinema, or, sorry, or go to for a meal, or whatever. The car just enables me to go to places. I don't drive it for the love of driving. <laughs> it, it's the thing that gets me where I need to go, you know? like. When I was much younger, I used to be much more into cars, and I used to desire cars for the way they drove. I, I don't anymore. I, I don't. I don't have time for that shit. I have, I don't have time to go out on a drive for the love of driving. Oops, fuck that up. Bushmaster. They call me the Bushmaster. MMC, not really, no. All of them, please. I'd like all of them. Gravy, yeah, it's fine if you want to do that. I, uh, I need to pick up with Happy Bombs separately, but yeah, it's fine. I'd kind of like to know a bit. I know I've heard a little bit in chat that the Zero servers are not 100% secure. But I've heard that from chat, not from HB, you know. I'd quite like to pick up with him separately. Doesn't mean you can't share the link, though, dude. I'm fine with that. We talked about it briefly earlier, but I, I'm sure HP won't mind me saying this, but I don't know when, but it was sometime in 2023. I've, I've offered to give HP some money in the in the background and not anonymously to help support the Zero servers, and at that time it wasn't required. Uh, that's not me being all generous and like, but that that I more than happily would try to help keep those servers going. I have tipped HP a few times in the past, specifically because of the servers as well, so not for a while. Eh? Blackout rounds, aren't they the ones that go in this? This gun is dog shit, but should still definitely use it. Single barrel. Right, let's just check these. I, I need. I, I've been kind of coming this way because it's where the well is, but I don't really need the well, do I? I need. Uh, I need food. Are you the same? Oh my god. I ain't gonna get any food if, he, if he's around here, am I? 
Let's go and loot the other bit of town then, because that fucker's... I, I can't not keep bumping into that guy, it seems. I can't really afford to be taking hits at the moment. I missed sardines at the yeah. cart, did I? Oh well. I'm not going to go back looking for sardines that I don't know which car they were at. I'll find better food any second, I'm sure. Sardines are like the worst food. Of course I missed it, so I, sh I should go back. But I'd rather go and look at the cars to my right and hopefully find beans or something, you know. I think we're better off just checking here. And there is kind of proof of what I was saying. Cat food. It might have been cat food before, you know. Loot seems to be clumping at the moment, but... a bit low on him. I wasn't hitting him in the head perhaps, but... Uh, yeah, it's not, not food. You can't eat the tomato timer. hate looting cars. The loot is good, but they're invariably really open and really dangerous to be checking. You're so open to a to a shot. Oh fuck me, that was slow. I'm actually full. I'm sure I can get away with that a little bit. Soda on the green ardor, eh? I'll have a look. That's green. That's green. I don't know. Oh, it's Creedmoor rounds. It looked like soda, but yeah, it's bullets. I spotted though. I always forget, still now, it was so long that the Derringer took 45 ACP. I near permanently think that the that it will go in there. And it's not, it's 357. You know, I can't, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get that into my head that it changed. Starting to get to a little spot where we're finding some stuff now. Look, some rice as well. Lots of rice. Very good. Yeah, I have got an FNX mag. We need to sort that out. get a box of ACP or was it on the last life? Box of ACP might have been on the last life, I think it was.
I'm going to keep having a little look for now. How have I not found a different jacket? I'm kind of surprised about that, but... Is this vanilla, Mary? It can't be vanilla as such, dude, because it's a modded map. Like, the loot routes are all modded. The loot is effectively modded. Like, you can't get vanilla as such when you're playing, say, Namalsk, or in this case, Bitterroot, you know? But this is quite a hard server to get loot on. Like, just being vanilla doesn't make it harder than modded, necessarily, you know? It can be tricky to get loot on, on this map, for sure. Can you use the saw on the Bushmaster? I'd be absolutely staggered if you could. I already dropped it, but no, I'd be surprised if you could. Saw a dude. must have gone in here. Apparently not. I don't know. Oh, there he is. <coughs> it's him. On running my favorite day Z streamer. You're the one that got me addicted to day Z. Oh, he's going to say fucking me. <laughs> Stop running backwards. I'm just going to run past him. A bit worried he's got shotgun shells because if he has, I'll be dead in a minute. There's a summer camp this way that I would quite like to go to before he does. This dude has been permanently fucking on the same route as me. Not his fault. It's the this is just exemplifies what I've been saying about the map at the moment. You tend to have to do the same routes, but I don't want him to go in front of me. Let's do it. We're either going to fight now or fight at the base. Go the other way. Okay, okay, okay. There's only one military. Go the other way. <gasps> he didn't go the other way. <laughs> that, is, that gun was really tricky. He's actually got shotgun shells. Three of them. PU scope. It's got some, got some. He did offer me bandages before, didn't he, poor guy? I'll take your stinking bandages. Red shells. Yep, very good. My shoes are better than his shoes. He had a belt, did he? Oh well. I haven't got a knife sheath or a canteen, so strictly speaking, what I've got right now is probably worth keeping. So toxic. Not really, Mercury Hot. It was him or me. Did you not see the threatening way he was running away with no gun in his hands? <coughs> Clearly it was him or me. It's just, it's so hard to get loot on this human, server. Like he said, he knows running. exactly the score. The dude knows the same as I do. We're going to end up running to the same place and we're going to struggle to get loot because we're both going the same way. And I don't want to team up because the loot is so fucking hard to get. I just, I want to... You fuck him. He was asking for it. Asking for it, yeah. Ed Lover, yeah, I, I can't help but feel at least partially responsible for the dude not, not, not being around anymore, you know. I am partially responsible for that dude being unalive. Why didn't he kill me when he had the chance? Um, good question. 
possibly the buckshot is not the best with regards to range, so felt that the range wasn't right for the buckshot. Uh, possibly thought I wasn't actually a threat and maybe didn't have bullets for the gun. Right, so then this, this is the problem though. We were both going the same way. I've, we've got the summer camp here and then we've got Glasgow Air Force Base. And we're, the, the loot there is not crazy good. It's quite hard to get decent loot. So, yeah, shit happens. I wonder if maybe we could do some fishing before we go. Or maybe it would be wise to do so. Uh, Craigster, cheers for coming in. Thanks for finding me on YouTube and now on Twitch as well. <coughs> found any decent loot at this summer camp yet. I don't think he was stream sniping Trinity. There's absolutely no evidence that dude was stream sniping. He may have recognised my voice, but that doesn't mean he was stream sniping. I don't buy that he was. That we're on a little corridor where we can only loot this way. That's it. Like, if we're on the same loot route and we're, we're started at the same time, it's highly likely that we're going to bump into each other a bit, you know? that bottle looks outside. Found stashes on the top of the hill behind, did you? Mm. Saw some loose bullets just then. Where are they? More savage rounds. We'd certainly... Oh, it's a shotgun. It was certainly done okay in uh, collecting up new loots. Like new food and whatnot, things have gotten a little bit easier, but I'm still not kind of completely out of the woods. <coughs> I don't really want to fish anymore, though. I think we'll, we'll not bother with the fishing. Deeswole, I, I, I have a hard time, I, I kind of agree with what you're saying, Liverpool are missing Jota, but I have a hard time thinking that there's any to blame, anything to blame by the missing players, you know? Like, yes, they're missing some players. Trent has been really good for Liverpool this season, for example, you know? I know he's had his issues, but he's still, he's been very good for Liverpool, and there was a lot of free kicks, a lot of corners, a uh, lot of things that he really brings a lot to the table for as well, you know, in yesterday's game. But... I have a hard time accepting that any player that's out is to blame. Liverpool should have scored plenty yesterday. They just... They didn't take their opportunities. They, they, they're really not... They've been doing it so much lately. And I think that the forward line they had yesterday, Diaz, Nunes and Salah, should be capable of putting United to bed the way they played, and they didn't. And, and I, I don't think that's because of any player injured. I think there's something just not right at the moment. It's weird. Like Salah just looks a shadow of his, of his former year. self at the moment. No regretty TRMZ potato shaker. Of course, Jota would be a big addition, but I ain't buying. I ain't. I ain't wanting to start, start sounding like I'm blaming injuries for that that draw, because they should have won the game. Why the armband? Hello. Hello. You all right, dude. Yeah, how's it going, mate? Yeah, not what's too. Fuck, not what's too fucking cracking. 
What's cracking? Don't fucking kill me. Yeah, there's no loot, dude. I don't have anything either. There's no loot. Gotta at go all. fish. Oh, do you want a present? Yeah, yeah I have this. You can have this if you want. There you go. I'm starving, mate. Oh no, I already got one, mate. Okay, oh, cool. All right. Well, uh, good luck. Stay, mate. You ever been in the cave? Fucking cave over here. I think they took it away. I think the cave was here, but I don't think it's here on this patch. Could be wrong. Be a cop, mate. Anyway, uh, good day, Cobber. Need this? You need this? Hey, that. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Didn't fucking kill me. So Cheers, dude. Yeah, hey, have a thank you. On, Love you, Let's bye. <laughs> Not my Aussie brother. Eating in front of him. Yeah, he's starving and I'm eating honey. I feel like that's friendly. I don't want to give him the food because then he'll end up at the base with me. I don't want to be at the base with him. Good to see you, Paul. <laughs> Angry chair. Well, I hope, hope your mum's mom okay. Surgery. She's on the mend. It's been a minute since I've shared my very fine dad joke. Uh, angry chair, thank you very much. I, I can't say I missed the, the, the jokes, to be honest. <laughs> I hope you're all good. I'm glad to hear your mum's doing okay. Someone said the scope... I think it does, you're right. I think the scope does go on the Bushmaster, yeah. I didn't kill the first guy for a glass of honey. He didn't have the honey on him. I looted that myself. I killed him for whatever I find at the Air Force Base that he would have been splitting with me. That's why I killed him. <coughs> Jota coming back would be a really big thing for Liverpool, though, to be fair. It could be could be crucial to the running. It really could make a difference. It, it, he could make a difference. But Liverpool should have won yesterday, and they didn't. Uh... Did I choose the specs in my PC? I did, Mary, yeah. When I bought the uh, rig I've got now, there wasn't a great deal of options. Like, for example, the graphics card, it was more like just as the 4090 came out, so you kind of got what you got. But the specs in the PC I chose, yeah. You've got to bear in mind as well that I've, I've had it now for the best part of a year and a half, so things change quite quickly, you know. I'm very pleased with it. I don't intend to be upgrading for a good while yet, but, like, even six months later, I might have chose different things by then than I would have chose now, you know. Liverpool weren't at it yesterday. Well, that's the thing, Guna. They were. Liverpool were playing exactly like Arsenal did in the FA Cup. Sub, I think I will use They're playing exactly like to that. Li Arsenal were the better team. Decomposing. Decomposing. Oh, my God. Arsenal against Liverpool in the FA Cup had more of the possession, created more of the chances, but they never really looked like they were going to score. And they've, si they've fixed that since. They're scoring for fun, right? But... Uh, Liverpool are playing a bit like Arsenal did that day. They are they are bossing the game and not ever looking like they're going to finish the game off. <coughs> oh, the 4090 is still the best card, but like there probably would have been other choices than a pallet one now, you know, like <coughs> It wasn't a soft penalty, Scatman. It was an annoying penalty. Uh, it was it was absolutely a penalty. Of course I'm a Liverpool fan. But <laughs> he goes to ground. He leaves it. He leaves the attacker with the opportunity to put his standing leg down and fall over, and that's what happened. There are always penalties. It's not soft. If you go in with a sliding tackle and you don't connect with the ball, fucking stupid, you know. It it was a penalty. It it was soft, but it was a penalty. There's no denying it. It's one of those that, uh, when they're given against you, it's really annoying. But if you go to ground and don't get the ball, that's on you. I've seen Das Boot. Yeah, it's great. It's a it's an incredibly good film, Das Boot. I've seen the, the joined together film version, not the series version, if that makes sense. I think I'm getting that right. But yeah, Das Boot's great. <laughs> I really, I really struggle with the. You were lucky. You were lucky to get a to get a draw because of a soft penalty. 
Like, Arsenal, you can't Arsenal, look at football Arsenal, in that Arsenal, way. Arsenal, <laughs> it just doesn't work Arsenal, that way. Arsenal, love you, bye. Of course you were 2-1 up and you'll be annoyed about the penalty, but over the whole game, there's no way any sensible person can really say that United deserve to win that game. There's, there's just no way. Like, on the balance of the entire game, a draw, I would say, was a fair result. Liverpool created way more chances, but they just didn't look like they were going to score, you know. Liverpool played better. They had 62% possession. They created three times as many chances. They had way more of the ball, way more of the corners, way more of everything that matters. They never looked like they were likely to score, you know. Even though, even when they pulled it back, it was from a penalty, you know. Like, they just don't look very free-scoring at the moment. They really don't. They've lost their spark. But I, only United fans really are, are out there trying to say it was an unlucky penalty because they're kind of, you're kind of butthurt about losing the lead, obviously. Like, that's how football <laughs> fans are. But in the cold light of day, if you go in with that challenge, you leave the tri striker the opportunity to do what he did. That's what United would have done in the same scenario. Fuck me dead. Shot from behind. I think I was shot from in front, actually. It wasn't a harsh penalty, Jambon. I, I just don't agree. There was contact. Don't go down like that. That's three lives now. Three lives the same. Like, it's the same every fucking life. Get to somewhere where the loot might be half decent and then you die. Every fucking life is the same. If I had something worth like playing slow with, maybe I could play slow with it, but I haven't. I always watch the tree line from well there's not really any way to overwatch that base 10 keys it's so spread out it, the military base is massive you, and there's not really a, an overwatch hill or anything I, I don't really think what I did was bad there's just somebody there I got shot I, it's not very easy to overwatch really like you are overwatching there you could what you could overwatch for five minutes and not see the person that kills you anyway That's, that's true, but I think it's dumb. It's a contact sport. Yeah, but he didn't touch the ball, Jim, right? <laughs> it may well be a contact sport, but if you're going to slide and tackle, you have to get the ball. If you miss the ball, that's it. Like, of course, that's that's the way it is. It wasn't a bad tackle or anything. It was just a stupid tackle. I don't understand. Like, it's because it's your own player, maybe. I'd be a bit annoyed if it was Liverpool, I guess, but he went in on... He went to ground inside the box and got nowhere near the ball that's what happens it, it's a foul whatever team did that all the way through my girlfriend thinks the tampon is the best invention ever i said i'm not so sure but they're definitely up there <laughs> get out i saw one of your lives where you discussed being mega bugged and needing a friend to tie you up to fix it. Unrelated, I appear to be mega bugged IRL. Want to tie me up to help out? Is that a derring? Is that a derringer in your pocket? I'm not pleased to see anyone on this map. The tackle was far too late. It was a definite penalty. Now that's it. Let's play Day Z. D Camp Bjorn, thank you very much. Jellex, thank you very much for the support. Uh, never wear Ukrainian trousers. It's Chernobyl fallout. Chernobyl fallout. <laughs> Uh, this is your fault, uh, Angry Chair. Thank you very much, Angry Chair, Jalex, uh, Bjorn, Decamp, Hillian Oasis, Rock Bottom. Thank you very much, too. If it wasn't a contact sport, Jim, Casimiro would have been sent off, by the way, <laughs> and not yellowed for that fucking challenge near the end like and i'm not trying to say it should have been a red it, there is still some contact goes on and th i think the ref let a lot go yesterday there was a lot of things i felt were free kicks that weren't given through the whole game i thought he let quite a lot go 
I thought he was fairly even with it as well. I think he let a lot go. Full stop. Could do with some food, so I'm a Rangers fan, you should have seen the penalty they got. Holy shit! <laughs> the goblin jacket, eh? I thought it was a Green Day jacket. Thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Andor, it, it has been a rough run. It's it's really hard, this map, sometimes. Like, this is the second life route that we had now. Eagle Mountain and then this way, when I ultimately died at Rickens. But there are people with kind of average gear where you go when you've got not even average gear all the time. It's really tricky. I've had one death today that was completely my own fault, though. I had a Tundra and a Scope, and I had an easy opportunity. I was my scope was aimed on someone's head and I fired and as I fired they fucking moved and then they killed me you know so I've had I think I've had four deaths today one of them the first one was completely my fault uh, beyond that it's just the the, the tail of the map like I have to, I had to go to that Glasgow Air Force base and then it's whether I get any half decent loot or not before I start feeling like it's worth slow playing it and looking around you know. It's always in the title of the stream, Rune. Always in the title of the stream. Uh, so, a uh, bit of Rune. Yeah, probably a little bit later. I'm rich. I'll probably do BR a bit later. I'm not ready yet. I've only been on three and a half hours. I don't feel like I've had a good run yet for various reasons, but we'll see. We may end up switching to, like, Chernorus or some other map for a while. Another two points deduction for Everton is still nothing for City. Well, we shouldn't be surprised about that, Scatman, really. Everton and Forest admitted their charges and worked with the Premier League. City are not doing that. <laughs> so they can't just get they can't just go yeah we did it because if they go yeah we did it they'll get fucking relegated. So they're not working with the Premier League, they're working against, right? player I think it was a zombie oh my god this sucks
I've started playing some of my old games again. What's your favourite older game? Have a good one. Oh, God knows. Uh, I'd quite like to play. Uh, I'd quite like to play the old Premier Manager again. I used to like that. Really old game. I don't know. I did I kill that something? I killed that one, didn't I? Uh, I don't know. My, my my fondest memories from back in the day are probably on like multiplayer original Mario Kart. Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat, that kind of time, probably. My favourite old game is DayZ. That's not fair. That's not far from the truth, really, is it? You know, like. I quite like sensible soccer. I, I'm, I've never been much of a fan of football games, but I did like that. Cannon fodder was good as well. I probably preferred cannon fodder to be honest, but. It was a dive, therefore no penalty. It wasn't a dive, John. There was contact. There was contact. I don't... It wasn't a dive. A dive is when you simulate. A dive is when you simulate contact that doesn't happen. You go down pretending like that. He, he just made there be contact. That's what happens in all football. When United do it, you'll, you'll take the penalty. But there was contact. He left his, he left his leg and, and he, he, his standing right leg makes contact with his thigh. And that's it. There, it's not... He, it, it's uh, it's played for, but that's not the same as diving. If you get tackled and you're at the last line, you're 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 in the box, and you have the opportunity to do that, every player does it. It's not the same as simulating. And, and the reason, the only way to avoid that is to not go down making stupid, reckless challenges where you don't win win the ball. That's not the same as diving. Diving is when there's no contact and they go over like a sack of shit. It happens across like like that that free kick, sorry, that penalty would have been the same anywhere. Like that happens like you it's just, just if it's seen, it's given. Always. Yes, a bogus fet. Foot soccer it is. Hey, uh, uh, Black Ice, how you doing? Oh, dude, the, delu the delusion of Man U fans. Not all are deluded. Plenty are sensible. But the, I had I've one on Twitter earlier. I, I did... Oh, my God, what's going on here? I had a Twitter conversation last night and this morning with someone. My take on the game is that Liverpool were the better team, but they didn't score the goals and so didn't deserve to win. I think that's fairly true. I don't think that's a really blasé, biased take. They clearly had the better of the game, but they didn't take their chances. Didn't deserve to win, right? <laughs> Someone's really taken umbrage with that. Like, I don't understand what metric you can say that they weren't the better team. The metric where they weren't the better team was the one that really matters. Goals scored. Of course. But across the balance of the game, if that if that if they played that game ten times like it was yesterday, Liverpool would probably win it eight times. They didn't though, because they fucked up their chances, right? Right. Uh no. I really don't want to do that Eagle Mountain. The loot is dog shit. I, th I think this is something that happens as well. Like, maybe it's just distribution of loot, but that summer camp, what did we actually get? We did get a PU scope, to be fair. Maybe we'll get scoped. Nep, I, I, I think a hell of a lot of supporters can't see the wood from the trees on their own. I, I think I'm pretty good at it, you know. When Liverpool got, got through against Arsenal, the next day I was on stream saying... Arsenal were the better team, but you have to score your chances. They looked they looked goal shy. Liverpool scored their chances. They went through, you know. I, and the flip side happened when United beat Liverpool in the, the FA Cup. I think I can fairly well. I'm not perfect, but I'm pretty good at being balanced, you know, with my own team or anybody else's for that matter. But some people are so blind.
the cooking pot is decent loot. Eh. Not when you arrive in the uh, well. Let's say you arrive. I'll arrive in Riv Riggins with a with a BK or something. That's exactly right, Englishman. Yeah, every every team does. I agree. But that's sport in general. There's so much tribalism. Nobody wants to accept that their team played badly and maybe didn't deserve one. You always hold out for the things. Like, England fans, I've been like it. England have been hard done by so many places, you know? Like, the Lampard goal that never was against Germany, it might have made a difference, but Germany were way better across the whole game, you know? Let's go and do the summer camp area again, I suppose. It's taking me a bit nearer to the wolves, though, but... I watched this streaming over the weekend. Sure, I heard him mention that Winter Churner is coming to console. Any idea if I heard that right? You didn't hear that right. Another month Dude, in no. supporting my favourite streamer. Singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. The devs have done a, little, it's a, soap opera. a few teasers that involve snow. And we know that there's a big announcement coming that may be a new map. But none of us know what it is yet, dude. So we don't know what it is. I, I really would be disappointed if the big announcement was Winter Churnerus. I hope it's more than that. He, he may have said it, by the way. I'm not saying he's wrong. you're wrong in what he said. But none of us know that Winter Churnerus is coming. That's, that's guesswork, right? None of us know. The devs have done a little video on the 16th of December that showed some snowflakes, but it wasn't on Churnerus. It was on a new map, as far as we know. And they've also released a tape, little teaser, like that they've sent to some stream people and whatnot. That uh, Marks has put that on his channel. A few people have got it out in the domain, in light, so you can hear it. But and that kind of teasers uh, traveling from Chernerus and potentially winter and whatnot. So something winterified is coming. But if it's just winter Chernerus, I'll be staggered. I don't think the mouse will see the light day, light of day on console, dude. I'd, I'd be very surprised if the mouse came to console because it's got too many things that are ripped from other games that Bohemia won't be able to just release. What was the most fun you had in the uh, as an Arsenal fan? Uh, I'm going to say it's that time that Michael Owen scored two and they won the FA Cup. Dietmar Hamann, not D not After was it Dietmar Hamann? No, Gary McAllister. Stealing some yardage for the free kick as far as I remember. That might have been a different game actually, the McAllister thing. Same year though. Well, I'm hoping that we might find some information out, DJ Dave, next month. I really am hoping that I might find some stuff out, but I don't know. Spooky, uh, I think Harvey Elliott is a very good player. I'm not sure yet that he will end up staying at Liverpool forever. Right now, I'd say the chances are better that he will be a, a Liverpool starter. But I'm still not convinced yet. I think he is very good, though. If I'm this, this is hard. A lot of people are going to disagree with me here. I can, t I know this already. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit bad for Sterling. If I'm honest, Sterling's gone to Chelsea, who are fucking shocking. Sterling for England has been an amazing player, and he's st he stuck with people. Uh, like Calvin Phillips for so long and Maguire when he wasn't playing yet ditch Sterling and I think Sterling for England has been their best player for most of the last five or six years I don't think he's another Shelby 
I, I haven't seen Chelsea very much this year, so that I'm not judging that on my own eyes. Aside from being in an England shirt, but Chelsea are shocking, right? They're, they've had a terrible season, so there shouldn't be a great deal of surprise that Sterling's not had the best year. Why is this so hard for you? Well done. No food. <laughs> yeah, uh, Cole Palmer looks pretty good. The thing that worries me most about, about England, we're definitely not talking about football all day today, by the way. I, I know that's definitely not happened. What worries me more than anything else is that Southgate is not going to play Foden and Bellingham at the same time. I don't care how he does it, but if he can't get Foden and Bellingham in the team, there's problems. I just locked the food in. I'm not killing wolves with uh, I'm not killing wolves with a uh, knife. Not, not worth it. Brutal Cannibal, I didn't see your message, but the reason why I don't think it'll ever go to console is that it's literally inspired by slash using so much of other games' content, which you can get away with if you're modding it, you know, you're allowed, but if Bohemia started selling it, even if Bohemia started giving it away, Sweet. that would be very, very different because giving away Namalsk, but Bohemia are doing it, would also increase their sales of DayZ, you know, like, Namalsk, Namalsk has literal cut and paste items in it from other games, like, it's inspired by Stalker in a huge way. Like, there's no way Bohemia would be able to get away with just releasing that. Modding is a whole other thing. Sumrak did it in his spare time and isn't selling it. So there's nothing you can do about it. It's like a cover version, but no profit is being made. Like, if we use music as an example, like, Sumrak making the mouse for free and giving it away for free is like a band doing a cover version in a pub. But if another band that's famous covers your song and then just releases it, you have to pay. You have to pay the band, right? You have to pay the people that created the music. Same same with Namask. If Bohemia want to release it, they're going to have to pay the piper. They can't just release it. I just don't see it. I've been listening to the wolf. There is another wolf here. That's not the one I trapped in. It's a different one. Those are my boots from before. Oh, fucking hell. This sucks. So, Jimmy, uh, the mouse wasn't made for Armour 1. It was a mod for Armour 2. But that was again made by Sumrak, right? It wasn't made by DayZ. So Sumrak made the Armour 2 mod for Namask and then he carried it over to Standalone. Well, any any map that Bohemia tried to release as an official map, they would uh, they would have to pay the creator of the map for it. But that's not the bigger issue, really. You know, like if you take Banov, for example, the Singularity Cannon or whatever it's called in that is ripped straight from Destiny, is it? I forget what game it is, but like there are things in Banov that are literally copies of another game. Bohemia couldn't sell that. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to just leave that and, and put it out. You know, Cabello can because he's made it himself for free that's me talking to the whiskey very nice 
A year already. Patrick, thank you for that one. That one's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Cheers for the super chat. Little Orphan, thank you very much too. My wife and I were having a whiskey on the back porch last night. I said, I love you. She said, is that you or the whiskey talking? I said, that's me talking to the whiskey. There was a blue container here before as well, blue gas canister. We may well get one of those as well. Then we can cook the wolves. Patrick, thank you very much. Little Orphan Beard, uh, Beard Ski for sure. Thank you very much too. Cheers for the support. Magma not here. Thank you as well. Another PU scope. No need that. Could actually use that. Maybe I should have took it. There we go. We don't need it now. How was the weekend with the family? Not too bad. It was all right. Maggie was a bit sickly, so... She had a cough that like just wouldn't go away. So we, we were we had kind of a lazy couple of days, Thursday and Friday. P fucking U scopes everywhere. Seems to be a lot of repeats. Like the same stuff. If you find a PU scope, you find another three. Find a lock pick, find another two. Right? That that's a Daisy problem more so, I think, than anything else, but it's very common. Reptilian, I've got a PU scope. That's why I've not took another. See what I mean? Another lockpick. This is not something that happens on this map. It's something that happens in the game. Is this a gunless map? Mm, might as well be. Doesn't really matter. I'll get shot in the back soon enough, anyway. No, it's it's not. You can get loot. I'm just not having a great run of it really at the moment. At least we're not going to be starving when we get to Riggins. Last time I was thirsty. And it could, another lock pick. It's all repeats. Repeat. 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 Kai Sharpless, I, I'm no, not really the person to ask that, but I believe you can input the loot, the loot table from other servers. So the only reason I believe it's possible to do that is that when uh, Alteria was a little bit younger, Happy Bombs tested the loot. He basically used the loot parameters for Chernerus on Alteria and then tried, uh, like I think he tried Livonia before that as well. So they were playing around with it. So you can effectively do that. Yeah, I've never really hosted a server in my life, so I'm not the one to know that, but... I know they were trying that, so it must be possible, yeah. Alf, I don't know. I, I think Cole Palmer's looked very good so far for Chelsea. I hope he goes. But it's going to be tricky. It depends on how the games go, right? If you're chasing the game, maybe somebody like Cole Palmer can come on. But there's going to be other options too, you know. Somebody like Grealish is not going to be starting, you know. Like, City sold Cole Palmer and kept Grealish, you know. Like, is Pep Guardiola wrong? Maybe, maybe not, you know. I, I think Grealish might go at some point. I don't think he's flavour up like, like, he's not necessarily... Uh, the most popular player at City right now, but I don't know. I, I I do think Cole Palmer should go, but I think that about a lot of players. I think attacking midfielders is going to be uh, not so, or at attacking players in general, is not going to be somewhere li that England struggle. It's going to be uh, defending. I should think it's going to be like fucking hell. We're one all, and we need we need to draw to qualify. Bring Henderson on. I think that's probably going to be the sort of thing that fucking happens. If I'm honest, <laughs> I think it's more likely.
but yeah, I, I think uh, I think Cole Palmer should definitely be going for sure. The, the problem is, I think James Madison is massively underrated still, and like you can't bring them all on, you know. If he brought on James Madison instead of Cole Palmer, I don't think that would necessarily be a bad choice, you know. That's the problem. It's it's going to be really hard to know who fits on and who he gets on as a sub and who he doesn't. TRMZ love TRMZG heart. Right, let's. Uh, so I picked up this spare blue one just to use it for cooking. Oh, wrong one. Just to use it for cooking these only. Yeah, I think Jared Bowen looks good as well. This is the that's the problem, you know. Jared Bowen has been really, really good for for West Ham all season. Like it's it's hard. I, I think well, whoever he takes, we're going to have good choices. Uh, I I think Jared Bowen did okay the other week when he was playing for England as well. But I, I don't know. I, I I'm just wondering how how uh, Southgate's going to conspire to fuck it up. It doesn't kill you, Pascara, but it, it knocks you unconscious, potentially. Our heat packs for TMZ, what batteries are for sour? They're not, Tiny Cat, no, but as you come up this way, it gets colder, and I was cold earlier, and it was a pain in the bum, so I've just picked them up. Part of the reason why I picked so many up is because there were so many there, at least now, like, if I die and loot it again in half an hour... There might be different things than fucking six heat packs there as well. If the, if somebody shoots the uh, gas canister on the ground next to you, it doesn't even knock you unconscious. Kale, thank you very much for the four months. Psychonomic, thank you for the 59. Gumsmacks, thank you very much too. Pascarable, it takes a tiny bit of health off, but it doesn't do a lot anymore. Benjamin, we've covered it exclusively for about four hours too. Uh, it was frustrating, that's what I think. And red, thanks for coming in. Hope you're good. Maybe Paul will sing happy birthday. There's no chance of that happening. But happy birthday. Uh, Dex, is it? Happy birthday. There's no singing going on. I can't sing for shit. We've only gone and found one of those mythical things they call fucking guns. It's an awful gun to use. It's cool, though. I like it. I like this gun, but... Uh, with no sight, no ability to take a sight, it's a bit tricksy. Those sights are shocking, right? But Arsenal will win the league. I don't know. I've obviously got chip chips in that game or stake in that game because I'm a I'm a Liverpool fan. But I, if I had to pick one, I think City will win the league. I think Arsenal look away to Tottenham, home to Chelsea, as bad as they may be. And away to United, uh, three of, uh, of Arsenal's seven fixtures. I I think there's points to be dropped there. I think City are the most likely one to win every game to the end of the season. I think the, the one problem, Alf, is if, if you, they play like that, if they play as you just described... Foden has to go on the left of the front three, and I'm not convinced that's where he should be. 
I don't know. I I, I almost kind of want Bellingham and Rice to play as sorry Bellingham and uh, Foden to play as a, like almost like both attacking midfielders, but I don't know if that would work really. I don't think Foden is as effective on the left. And I don't think Maino will play either. I, I'm not sure he should either. Maino scored a wonder goal yesterday, but he was really not like knowing what to do defensively for all of the first half. Uh, Maino could be one of the best midfielders. We could, it could be really exciting, Maino with Bellingham for the next decade, you know. But I don't think he should start games just yet. It's far too early. I kind of like the idea of trying to play Rice, Betting and Foden as midfielders, but I just don't know. Up your bum. I don't think Maino should start just yet, Jambon. Why, hello there, good sir. How is Bitterroot treating you? But that you? happens all the time, you know, like, whether it's right or it's wrong. There's been times where people were crying for... Michael Owen and he wasn't quite playing even uh, who's the Arsenal fella that never quite made it but he was really pacey I forget he was on commentary the other day people were crying out for him one one year and so people are crying out for these players and then people were crying out for Grealish sees like all the time Theo Walcott yeah there's always somebody that's that's upcoming that looks like a star but the manager sees them and knows and, and maybe maybe they play and maybe they have a great tournament or maybe they don't get as much game as people want, you know, but I think it's a bit too early for Maino to be starting right now, personally. Good to catch you for a bit this morning. Moved my grandma to hospice as her dementia is getting to be too much for her assisted living situation. Vertigo, that sucks, dude. I hope it uh, goes as well as it possibly can. Unfortunately, it's it's not an easy thing. It's not likely to go very well in the long run, dude. I'm sorry to hear it. Uh, hopefully, she's happy where she is, though. You know, Vertigo, thank you for the resub. Jack, Matt, Jamesy, Ellie, uh, Squirrel, Kale, thank you. I, uh, I call this bias, but I, I, I'd like to see more of Trent playing not as a right back for England. Because at international level, I, <laughs> I do think there is mileage in his uh, crossing and set pieces. There's some use there, but I'm not saying he should definitely start or anything. But I think there's mileage in... I, I don't know if he's had enough of a trial there for it to work. Right side of midfield rather than right back. Well, uh, I'm sorry to say it, Jambon, but yesterday, for the most of the game, Maino looked like defensively a flop. You know? <laughs> like, I think it's very hard to say Maino has proven at anything with less than half a season playing football at first team level. You know, like I, you're just far too carried away. I think I genuinely hope he turns into a superstar, not for Man U but for England. But you can't really say that Maino is this, that, or the other when he's played so few games. You just can't. I'm not judging Maino one game, one game. I'm just saying he's far too early for him to be starting for England in a tournament. I hope he turns out to be one of the best, but it's too early for him to start. What's confusing about that? Why would you hold him back? Because he's 18 and he's played about fucking 15 times. That's why. Because, like, Bellingham at 18 was was not starting for England. Bellingham at Bayern Munich was playing better. <laughs> playing better than Maino is right now. And he wasn't starting, you know. They, they have to bed in. They have to prove they can do it. That's how it works. You throw him in now and he has a clangor. He may never recover. He's still young, you know, like... Like, he's not fucking... He's not the second coming of Brian Robson just yet.
Yeah, Dortmund, sorry. Robert Knight, thank you for the for the support. Oh, that's very kind. Cheers for the super chat. Thank you. Right, how are we doing? Are we anywhere near Rickens yet? Yeah, I don't think that's entirely to do with to do with uh, Sancho not being the player, though, Spudder. And I, I think I saw you say Bellingham was playing well at Dortmund. It's a farmers league. You don't you do understand how Dortmund? Sorry, how Bellingham's done, right? Like you're talking down Bellingham's form at Bayern Munich. At, I nearly said it again at Borussia Dortmund. He's been at, at Real Madrid's best player this season. You know, like. All I'm saying is, starting him in the tournament right now, after a handful of games, is a bit premature. <sighs> 26 games. Not all of them are starters, though, right? A lot of them will be subs. It's too early for him to be starting for England, in my view. I hope he goes, and I hope he's really important. I hope he plays his way into the team. I hope he comes on and is England's most important player and he plays in the final. But he shouldn't start in the first game, that's all. Very straightforward. So I think I got shot from this tree line. If he plays in the final and is man of the match, that means England likely win, right? I don't care. So I was killed earlier in that one, from probably around here somewhere. Let's go back in that one. I just, I, I, I don't know Jambon, if, if you want to big him up to be like one of the best three English midfielders straight away right now, fair enough. I think he has the potential to be, but I don't think he's proved it yet. Right, that's, that's kind of good. This is my old shotgun. They're my old boots as well. Worn, pristine. All, all, the, all the knives. Back, baby. Keep on running, man. that go so this has been dropped by somebody else
surprised we still got more use out of that bolt, to be honest. Using main... Oh, sorry, sorry for the football talk, uh, guys. It's Alf Solomon's and Jambon's fault, and only theirs. <laughs> Using, uh, not a Man United fan, but using Mayno as an example, if you're good enough to start against the best of the Premier League for United, then why wouldn't you be good enough to start for England? Well, he's only really getting the run because of the injuries that have had, right? Like, if they if they were fully fit, like, he's doing well, he may well play forever for United, right? But he will probably end up coming out of the team and getting a few rests here and there because he's 18, yeah. right? That's why. Like, like... That happens all the time. He's just a young player. He's a young player still finding his feet. He's never played in the Champions League. He's played a handful of games for United. A hell of a lot of those games they've lost, by the way. You know, like, if United were pulling up trees, he may well be playing really well. But United aren't, you know. I think it's a little too early to be getting carried away. Sometimes you get streaks as well. He might be the best second coming of everything ever. But what if he has an absolutely terrible season next season? You know, What then? Building him up oh, now too much is a really Love bad you, thing. I think it's better to introduce him to England gradually rather than stick him straight in straight away and then it could all go wrong and effectively ruin his career, you know? That's, that's what all of the managers do, you know? Like... It's taken Guardiola quite a long time to really get the best out of Foden. Foden always had the ability. He's an older player, but they all do that, you know? Like, Not a young player, but Klopp took his time. He always takes his time introducing new players, new players to the team. And like, they sign, they sign players, like somebody like Endo. He didn't just stick him straight in, let him have three bad games, then drop him forever, you know? He brought him in slowly, and I think when you're talking about international football and someone like Mayno, May you do the same thing. Robert, thank you very much. Uh, love you, bye. Dude, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm kind of bored of the, the menu talk. Like, it's, it, I'm bored of the football talk, to be honest. That Liverpool are going to come up a lot, but I, I don't believe that you start at full international level, 18-year-olds, after 15 to 20 games. Starts, let's say. It's too, too soon. I'd rather have somebody that has done it at higher levels for more long, more prolonged period for now. Jambon, he'd been playing since he was 16. He wasn't in his break breakout season. He'd been playing regularly for a lot longer. And he didn't start the tournament either, by the way. He didn't play in the first game, I don't think. How about that eclipse? I don't think it's going to be all that. Oh shit, I have got the cooking pot. I think though those eclipses ain't they ain't all they're cracked up to be. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm bored of talking about it, but Owen didn't start in the beginning of the tournament. He played into the tournament, right? Everybody thought he should start, and he didn't. But then he did, when he got there, start scoring, right? I don't think he should start. It's okay you disagree, but do you want to talk about it all day? <laughs> like, <laughs> do you want to talk about it all day? Or can we not just agree that you disagree with me and I disagree with you? I thought the the goal that he scored against Argentina was in the last 16 or something, wasn't it? Yeah, 
It's been a while. I remember the goal very well. Like you're telling me it was the second game. I don't remember it that way. Like this is the thing, you're giving me facts. You're not, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Anyway. What did I miss? Boxer 762 on the car. Which car? Oh, they're, they're those. I did miss them though, but they're 380. I'm drinking Red Breast 12 and thinking about watches to buy. A wise move. I see what you did there. Have I tried O'Donnell Moonshine? I ain't tried no O'Donnell Moonshine, no. Daisy Manhattan map, Manhattan map. Tyler, we could maybe switch to New York later. I had a look at the start of the stream and there was 10 in it. It seemed a little bit skinny, so I uh, I came on to bitter. Happy Eclipse Day. Bonnie Tyler on loop play. Uh, Mark Chris, thank you very much for the support. Bonnie Tyler, eh? I can't even think of any famous song she sung, but I know I have a clue. I'm guessing it's something to do with the t oh, total eclipse of the heart. I do. I get it. I get it. <laughs> All I could get in my head was I need a hero. Like what? Don't get it. hell saint walker that's a that's a tricky question if you were stuck on a remote island and had to live there for one year with f what five movies and two series would you bring fucking hell five movies and two the series are a lot more vital than uh, the movies i guess i think I, I might take breaking bad and the sopranos I, I, there's lots of others, but I, I, I think I'd quite like to re-watch both of those more than I'd like to watch Game of Thrones, for example. I've seen that much more recently, so I think I'd pick possibly Breaking Bad and The Sopranos. Like, I've seen all of Better Call Saul since I last watched uh, Breaking Bad, for example. I just feel like I'd, I'd want to watch it more. Five copies of Hot Fuzz. <laughs> I don't know on the five films, because that, that's the tricky thing. Like, if you pick your favourite films, like, I, I, I kind of want to pick uh, No Country for Old Men. It's about my favourite film, but I've, I know it so well. Like, is it worth taking a film you've seen so much, you know? Savage, it, it felt like the final season was rushed. I, I, I didn't struggle Hi. with it like most because I binged it all, so I watched Game of Thrones having never seen any of it in about two months. So I didn't have to wait year after year for the next season or anything, you know. So uh, I wasn't as massively disappointed with it all because I didn't wait a year for it. But it was incredibly Not much. Do you do at work now other than watch TRMZ. Cheers. Yeah, Castaway. Uh, that that new one with the snow, uh, the one, the remake of Alive or whatever it is. Uh, the Swiss Family Robinson. 
Maybe, maybe taking a load of MacGyver and the A-Team would be a good idea, because then you could work out how to, like, uh, get yourself out of some serious fixes. I've only seen the first season, season of one, Lost Redline. Detective, okay, sign. If you're allowed to, like, it depends if you mean by series. If you're allowed to take all of it, you know, like, there's a lot of seasons of The Walking Dead, you know. It might have got bad, but there's, like, ten seasons of it, you know. Like, maybe it drags on a bit, but you, you know what I mean. Like, like, are you allowed to take every season, or are you only allowed to take one season? But I, I think I'd be picking uh, the two I mentioned. I'd, I'd probably go Breaking Bad and uh, Sopranos. How are you watching these films on a desert island? Uh, hydroelectric power. Sea power. Oh, I've been robbed on one of my fucking bolts now. It's gone through the fucking zombie. I had to hit it in the head though, because the vest was in better condition. Jambon, Big Bang Theory is not a bad shout. I don't think it, there are so many of them. I think is probably your thinking, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I I've seen most of. I think I've seen all of it once, but I don't think I'd be bothered about watching it again. All right, let's go this way. Simpsons is a very good shout. I, I don't. I haven't seen much lately, though. I, I'm not saying it's bad, but I just. I used to be such a big fan of The Simpsons, but it was about 20 years ago. There's a shitload, though. If you can take all of them, I think The Simpsons would be a Seven good shout. Months, baby, keep on running. Coronation Street or Immerdale? I can't stand soap operas. I can't fucking stand them. Does all the carry-on movies count as one box set? I think for the five movies, I I think I'd take Police Academy 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Woohoo. Like, uh, Mission on Miami Beach, or whatever it's called, where Tackleberry punches the shark. You'd be worth It'd be worth it to get to number five. Will the toxic zone be a goal for today? Nah, probably not. Yeah, maybe taking a series of, uh, like, uh, like, I don't know, whatever. One of the survival shows where they're stuck on a desert island. That would be a smart thing to take, wouldn't it? You know, like, a whole load of episodes of uh, Naked and Afraid or whatever it's called. Eganator, uh, there's not a goal every day, dude. There's no goal. I'm just trying to get geared and see what happens. I know that, Pascara. Not Pascarable. Uh, has a gear. I know that, dude. Uh, Pascarable, I watch pretty much all of the Marvel stuffs. Unless it seems... I haven't seen Madame Web, for example, but I watch most of it at some point. I subscribe to Disney+. Plus. I got Disney+, Plus so the kids could watch it, but now I'm paying for it. I, I tend to watch the Marvel films as and when, but I'm not a huge fan. I'll, I'll quite... I'll quite... Well, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to, but I'll definitely watch Deadpool 3 at the cinema. But most of them I couldn't give a shit. They're, they're not that great, are they? Why do the British say they're Brieish? Because they drank the all the tea. 
He drank all the tea. British. British, innit? British. I think that went ruined. If you could take one YouTube library to take, what would you take? I don't know, there's not much point taking watch related stuff, right? There's not going to be any watch pur purchasing going on. on uh, uh, there's not going to be much watch purchasing going on on, the, uh, on a desert island, I guess. I partly, I'm, t I'm torn between the Wat Watchbox channel, their own channel, <laughs> and Frankie on PC. I think I'll probably go with Frankie on PC. Right, let's have a drink of the Wata while we're here, there's a well. You can craft arrows for the crossbow, Captain Rune. You just cut sticks, sharpen the sticks. So you 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 take three sticks and then you can uh, sharpen them. You can actually do five at a time. So you can take five small sticks using a knife. You can sharpen them, and then if you kill a chicken, get feathers. You can add those to the to the five sticks to get uh, like more accurate crossbow bolts. Scott Cageman, nice folks, Danish, uh, Loki, uh, Swedish Meatball, Big Cal, Wilksy, Mongo, Valentine and Nino. Thank you very much for the resubs. Am I liking Bitterroot? I think the map is great. I think the looting is shite, if I'm honest. Uh, but it's a work in progress. It will improve. Uh, from new spawn to geared is not a particularly fun journey most of the time. Uh, but... I'm more. I think it's a really cool map, and I think that will get better. Nice guy. I've I've actually watching Peaky Blinders again at the moment. I haven't seen the last season. I'm currently on season five and most of the way through it. I didn't particularly enjoy season five the first time I watched it, so I have. Uh, I, I never got round to watching season six, but I will be doing that soon because me and the missus have been watching it. Stefan, uh, I don't really have a favourite map. I just switch around between lots and lots of maps. I love moving around and trying different maps, different days and whatnot, you know. I, I have, like, flavour of the month maps, but I guess my favourite of all time is probably Chernerus, but it doesn't mean I want to play it today. Scottish G, I, I don't have any info. Uh, I don't think the mouse will come to console, no. We talked about that not long ago, but I, I'd be very, very surprised if the mouse goes to console. Uh, typical hunt. Uh, about the 1st of May. I'm going to have to go downstairs for a piss in a second. We'll get this area looted and then I'm going to have to go, I think. I actually was thinking about doing Skater Sake today as well. I looked at three maps before I chose Bitterroot. I was going to do one of the three, but it was Skater Sake, New York, or, or, or this. Skater Sake didn't have any players in it. It was early in the day when I started the stream, of course, so it may well have some now. But uh, So Bitterroot was the one that was more viable. But yeah, Skater Sake was okay. It's on test right now. I wouldn't mind doing that too. There's so many maps right now and so little time, you know, like... New York definitely feels like more of a uh, switch to it and have a laugh near the end of a stream type map to me. 
But the problem with that is that bitter... Sorry, not bitter. It, that's what Battle Royale is for at the moment. Battle Royale is for the thing to switch and have a laugh with right near the end of the stream. So, I don't know. I still want to do more New York, but we'll see. I need that. See a pair of black gloves. Go to next building. See a pair of black gloves. that to be honest <laughs> you ran into hackers and you're Gary you can run into hackers on any map there's, there's there's not like they're specific to one or the other it's bad luck if you run into ha hackers on a community server but it can happen on any server I got killed by somebody that was banned for using ESP on uh, can't remember what map it was. Oh, it was Bitterroot. It was Bitterroot last last week. Somebody got banned for using ESP on Bitterroot last week. It can happen. It's not the map's fault. Ajva and Scott, thank you very much for the resubs. All right, come on, give me a give me a sniper rifle or something, will you? Vitriolicious, uh, vitriolic, vitriolicus. I don't know, but yes, that's true. There are more cheaters on community. Sorry, on uh, official servers, purely because it takes longer to ban them. That's all. You know, like community servers tend to be manually admin, so uh, somebody gets caught cheating, they kill. The guy that killed me, and it felt really fishy, you know, like they were always, they were, were on a first person server and every time he leaned, he leaned for a millisecond and he shot straight my way. And then I'd change to another window and then he'd lean for a millisecond and shoot my way again, always. He always knew exactly where I was, right? Uh, and it felt dodgy as fuck. He'd killed 60 players in the same session that he was on. <laughs> Uh, now that that might be possible for some, but it's 60 players in one session of Jay Z Survival is pretty uh, tricky. It's not stream sniping, Ginger Ninja. You can't do that that way. No, it had to be ESP. It was too quick. But that's by the by, you know. Like, the, but what the, my point I'm getting to is, he he killed 60 players in one session. He was cheating. He was banned. If that was official, he could do that for three weeks before he got banned, or possibly longer. I don't know. Should solve my food fears for a while.
Right, what else have we got here? Crap, lots of crap, more crap. Boots. I'm going to fix the boots. Might as well. Physics. I, I don't think I'm going to fish. I've just dropped the. Excuse me. I've just dropped the fishing rod. But I don't think I'm likely to need to fish, given I've just killed the deer, and I'm going to be where the better loot is now. I, I don't think it's a. Re I don't need to. What's the fat in the pot for? It, it uh, well, you can eat it for one, but it will uh, it will stop the others getting less use. If you watch when this cooks, right, see the bar on there. When it when they cook, the bar won't go down because the fat is in there. So when you cook with fat in the pot, it stops the you get full use out of the meat. It doesn't go down. Uh, so you get all of the meat rather than losing a portion when you cook it. But nonetheless, I can eat the fat anyway. Elite hunting, thank you for the fifty-nine months, dude. Saxmo, thank you for the eight. No, tiny K, that works. That, that works in a pot. It, it's actually better if there is no water. I'm not sure actually if it works the same with water or not. To be honest, to be well, I can eat it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But in fact, we can test that theory. Let's let's do that. So now there's no fat in there. When that cooks, I suspect the bar will go down. But yeah, I don't normally cook with water in it. I normally cook without water, so we'll just test it just to see. I, th I th yeah, you're right. It's because it's uh, the reason why I thought that was going to be the case was because the fat didn't go down any when I cooked the other bits. But just might as well cook it. So yeah, so yeah if you've got the, the fat, effectively works as like the uh, oil, if you like when you're cooking, but if you're cooking with water it doesn't do anything, so you still get all of the meat. I don't hardly ever boil meat, because there's never really much of a reason. It's much better to cook it, I think. Uh, Kerry, that's cool. I hope you and your other half have a fun time playing the game together. Hi, Kenzie. I uh, hope you're good. Thanks for coming in from Portugal, no less. I still haven't been for that piss I said I needed to go to go for. trying to drag her into the trees a little bit not to make it as obvious that there's like if someone is coming along here might as well not make it too obvious that someone's here you know Wolf, yeah, Scalar Sage suffers a little bit from early spawn stuff. Some of the work that's been done on Scalar Sage has been improving the early areas, like the, the spawn of the spawn towns has been increased in size by 50%, for example. But these things take time, you know? It, like It's only one person making the maps. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised take by how much has changed on, on Bitterroot since the last update. It's changed loads. Loads has been added. Uh, but trying to get a map to be completely fixed... It's going to take time, you know, like... Temporary can it get... The, the biggest problem with boiling the meat is that you get less energy. So, you do get a little bit more water, but 
the pot's full of water you can drink, right? So I tend to think that you're better off drinking the pot and then cooking the meat and getting the most energy from it. Uh, Dav, Davd, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. Or David, maybe. I don't know. Davd, Davda. Davda Clark, thank you. I wonder if it's Davda. Rice cannot be cooked, no. And so begins my regularly scheduled death when I get anywhere where the loot might be good every fucking life on this fucking map today. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and have that piss I needed. Uh, <laughs> just the way it goes. And it was quite open, but it's open on the way to it. I'm, it's incredibly unlucky that there was somebody looking my way, you know. If they were in the base, the fact that they saw me, that's really unlucky, you know. But I got shot from in front, I think. I fell backwards. So they were towards the military base, which is kind of unlucky, you know. Shit happens. Uh, it's way too early for Battle Royale, yeah. I don't think I'm doing more uh, more uh, bitter root for today, though. Like, four and a half hours of that is probably enough. I think I'll switch to something else. But I've got to go and... My water bottle is empty. My bladder is full. I've got to go and fix that. See, if they were in the second floor of the camo building, what the fuck were they looking my way for? That's so unlucky. If that 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 would make sense if they were there. Maybe they were looking for the walls, but they like I'd only just crested the hill. The fact that they were looking my way and not looting the camo is incredibly unlucky. Smallest bladder streamer. I've been on for four hours and thirty-seven minutes. I drank a cup of tea and a five hundred and ninety ml bottle of water. And you're begrudging me a piss. <laughs> right, I'll be back in a sec. Well, I won't be a sec. Make a tea, so I'll be a little bit long. I don't think it was just like the rest of the
five months. Time flies. Thanks to your content, my son and I who live 10 hours apart can finally game together. Love you, bye. Okay, yeah, I, I said I was making a tea, right? <sighs> right. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Let's have a look. There we go. I've changed the title. Oh my god. What was the name of the Tropical Island map? I think you probably mean Eden, but it's not there anymore. Well, that's a bit of a shitter. Oh, Lux. Lux is tropical as well. Yeah, Lux is also tropical ish. Oh, well, this is going to be tricky. So I'm on New York. I've changed the title. Uh, I've, I thought I'd give New York a go, but I feel a little bit unfortunate with the whole... Uh... I seem to be near a bridge. Oh, it tells me where I am. Look, I'm, at, I'm on Brooklyn. That's, in, that's different. So it tells me where I am. So that must be... I've actually been... I've been around here. I've been over the Brooklyn Bridge. And I forget what we did around here. But we did go over the Brooklyn Bridge. We got... We got... I can't remember how. I think we got the train over. Or the metro. Whatever it's called. The under... The tube. I don't know. <laughs> that. And I think we got the train over. And then we walked back over the bridge. I'm going to have to suicide just so that I'm not, uh, I want to be my regular, regular lady. Oh fuck, I can't get on the bridge. Oh, fuck me dead. 
I thought for sure we'd be we'd be having a way to get over there. <laughs> I have changed the title of the stream. This is this is uh, New York. Not that you can tell right now. More prime power. <laughs> I just I didn't get a lot of luck in Bitterroot. I I had one life where I played it badly to be fair, but uh it, it's really tricky Bitterroot like you seem to be arriving like even there the loot isn't that great where we were about to get to nor more often than not, but we were starting to get into the territory where the loot is good, but there's already somebody there geared waiting for you, you know, like I guess I could have gone round on the hill and overwatch, but I didn't have a gun. It's not like I had a gun with range to shoot like I, t I just don't, I don't know, I could have overwatched, but then what, you know? <laughs> I just can't go there, you know? I had to go there, I think. They look good, don't they? they look like they've got magical powers. Maybe it's the blue chem light and not the flowers. I don't know why I'm even bothering. I, I just want to get to the point where I can get on the bridge and then I can jump, jump off the fucker. Glad At some point soon, I'm going to be Hope able to do that. Here we go. Away from her. Thank you, dude. It's been all right. Yeah, I had quite a good good time. I had, I had pretty uh, pretty okay time of it, really. We didn't do a great deal, but it was all right. How old? How does old York compare to New York? Well, the York in the UK is quite a lot older. <laughs> it's quite a lot older. I I really like York actually. Uh, York in the UK is lovely. It's a good place to go if you visit the UK or if you've never been there from the UK. It's a bit different to New York though. I enjoyed New York, though. I wouldn't be averse to going back. It seems to be getting a bad rap lately for, for whatever reason, but... Yeah, New York was okay. Where am I now? Still spawned here. Oh, fuck me. I think that, I think it's... I was just about to say it's getting light, but it's not, is it? Brutal cannibal. Well, it does. That there, there is a York in uh, there's a York in the UK. That's the point. But that's the case for most of them. Like, there's so many places in America. Not not most, but there's a shitload of places in America that are just named after places in the UK for obvious reasons. You know, it's really common. So, like, there there are many there are many in the UK. Like, in the UK, there are there are towns where there's several towns with the same name across the whole country, but. There's loads in America that were named after the, the English equivalent, you know. New York was named after the then Duke of York. You understand the Duke of York takes his name from the city though, right? You do understand that, oh dear. The Duke of York is a title. You're the Duke of York, the city. So it's the same thing. Like, the Duke of York, it's not like the surname is York. It's the same fucking thing, dude. <laughs> like, like, the Prince of Wales isn't, his surname's not Wales. Getting closer to the well. Which side is Chinatown on? So Chinatown is where all the good loot was. We should try and head that way if I can. Is that someone loot? 
I can hear a zombie, but... I don't know if it's aggroed on me or if it's aggroed on someone else. Kerry, it depends on the map. On this particular New York map, you just tap in. Most most uh, servers don't have a map, but uh, this one does. Ellen, but what's the what's the reasoning for the name New in York? Right, I, I understand that maybe took inspiration from the Duke of York. Right, fair enough. But why did they put New in front of it? I know it was New Amsterdam in the past. But why would it need New York if it was specifically named after a person? What, what's the reason for the new then? Scotty, I ain't going anywhere near that. I'd rather talk about why Mayno shouldn't play for Scotland. Forgot about the zombie no noises. They fucking have endless. Round floor equals first floor open mouth smile. I understand that, Dung, but I'm just asking why the name was called New still. Like, like my my feeling was that it was always because there was already a York, not because they wanted to keep the bit from the last name. It doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Twenty six months of teaching you how to play the game. Keep running, young man. Dead, holy shit. Are you what the more hits or is it just me? This, this whole being dark blue thing is going to have to stop fairly soon as well, isn't it? So, I need to move away from this fa subject fairly quickly. But I, it still feels to me, not being an expert, that they kept the word new specifically because York existed already, okay? I understand that it was named after the Duke of York, right? But they could have just called it York, right? Or 
Duke York. I don't fucking know. I feel like they kept New York because there is also a town called York, right? That's all I'm saying, you know? Otherwise, they would have just called it York. Remember when I shot you here? I, Man Von Doom, I don't think I've shot anyone on this. When I played this before, I didn't spawn on this island. I spawned over here somewhere. So yeah, not not guilty, my lad. I ain't never shot anyone here. Not at all. Not once. <laughs> Jumping music. Slick DJs, Matt, well, there's there's, there's an island way. called Jersey, pew, dude, right? Pew, there's an island pew, called Jersey. Uh, like, one of the... Well, there's Jersey and Guernsey, right? Very close together. Keep on running. So I'm guessing it would be that, right? That building looks kind of cool, the way it's lit, doesn't it? That looks really good. I'm going to be dead soon. This is just shocking. I'm supposed to be in the real life New York, but missed flight due to illness, so I guess watching this geezer running around in the dark would have to do. Oh, that sucks. I hope you're on the mend, dude. I can't get warm. Like, just going inside the building isn't enough. I'm still dark blue. This is a fucking problem, right? Are we on the mask? Holy shit. I'm probably just going to have to start again. I can't get warm. If you don't spawn, if you spawn at night time on New York, you're kind of in trouble. I don't know if it's because this is a modded building. It might not be associating it with heat. Like the, the there a lot of these buildings are new buildings to to me anyway, right? I wonder if my he my heat's not going up because my uh, because the building's not like warming me as it were. You don't know if that makes sense or not, but it kind of does to me. Dead. I'm in. I'm in trouble. wrong way here. I am, are oh, you fucking idiot. York in the UK is a city you philistine TRMZ bleeding. I'm not sure who you're talking to, but we were just talking about York, Pete. I, I'm just talking about how much I liked York. <laughs> Cheers for the eight months. D Cheeks, thank you very much. Just the tip. Moonlinder. Defaholic, thank you. like the the way those light those, those sort of windows kind of look looks a bit like they're lit though but uh, let's go right I need to try and find some like this this look like kind of regular Daisy buildings I need to find some of these I'm gonna be dead soon I, I, I think that's a pretty much a given but we might as well have a look help that it took so long to kill those two Zeds really, but we are fucked. We're fucked to the point where I feel like I might as well just jump up off of this and then uh, have another go. <coughs> it 
even if I find food, it's not it's not likely to be enough. I need to find food and I also need to warm up. That's the second time I thought that was a hunting shop and it wasn't. That sound is a fucking... That's, that's awful! That's pretty scary, that noise. 28 months, yeah, buddy. I'm still going to die. I'm just dying a bit slower. Because I'm just not warm. It's crazy how cold this map is, actually. It, it's, it's not something you get so much when you're in a building normally, where you're still dark blue and losing health. Like, even in this, this is a regular DayZ building. I'm just not, I'm not going light blue. I can't beat the cold unless I find better clothes, but I can't find better clothes before I die at the moment. Tricky. I almost would have been better off saving those beans and maybe using them on, a, on the next life. Because I think I'm basically fucked right now. What's the downside from starting a fire? Well, I was starving for all that time, so now there probably isn't. I probably should make a fire. I was starving, so there was no point making a fire. Now I guess there is, if I can find some sticks. this is a wise choice to be honest but anyway this is going to work here. There's a little ledge. I was going to do it on the in the building, but I don't think I can make a fire here. I don't think it will light, but anyway, we'll soon find out. Flashing red. Be dead any second. Song. Thank you for the bits. That's really, really kind. Alison, thank you for the resub. Martel, Jalora, Pete, thank you very much too. The night hasn't actually been that long. I don't know how long we've been in the server yet, but it's not been that long. I, I get the feeling it's probably a bit like regular official DayZ. My guess would be it's like two and a half hours-ish daytime and half an hour night. That's a guess, though. So I'm now flashing red and my temperature's going up, but the food has stopped going up, so I'll be starving again soon. This is a, this is a waste of time, really, but I, I think I'm still going to have to do it. I might as well.
Uh, what's with the fire in the doorway? It's just a way to make be inside a house where it's slightly warmer, but make a fire outside, right? It's just an easy way to do it. PT, I'm not still dying, dude. My health's going up gradually, but no, not for long. Fuck. Not, until, not when that dude comes and shoots me in a second. God. Make friends. Uh, Bristow. It might be different today, but New York is not necessarily a map for friends, per se. Unless they've got no gun. Hey Thomas, how you doing on YouTube? Hope you're good. <clears throat> Heat's not going up Doom. I'm, I'm not waiting for it to go up. I'm waiting for the plus symbol, which will be along soon. There we go. So the heat stops going up and then you keep going for a little while longer and then you get the uh, the plus symbol. That's the way she goes. I do feel like that shot was not a million miles away from the police station. thinking this is a fucking supermarket and it's not. <sighs> Alright, let's go and check the, the uh, supermarket to the left. I don't think there's a great deal of houses for me to check here. This is actually a bit tricky. It's a tricky start starting spot. That that looks worrying. But it's it's tricky to get a start. Now the light's gone out, maybe just cuz I'm further away from it. But there isn't actually very much to loot on this island How and it's so like fucking cold. Beam. Uh. Hi, Ish, dude. You're right, man. Just for the 80 months. Holy shit. Uh. So we're not likely to get food in here. I don't even know if it's a wise move to check it, but... A massive feeling of that I'm just prolonging the inevitable. I'll probably get back to yellow health. Just at the point I start starving to death again. If I can loot any of these other buildings, I don't think we're going to do very well, but anyway. I don't know what the fuck I've done there. It's starting to get a little bit lighter.
Not a single thing. Definitely getting lighter, so at least we've got that going for us. When we die, I'll uh, I'll just starve to death rather than dying of dying of cold as well, which is good. The red flare is probably a dead player, to be fair, but I don't know. I don't really see a great deal of choice in me not in me going that way. Should be a bit warmer. I've, I've got to take him. gonna get food. I'm gonna go and uh, try and kill a few Zeds. I've got to try and get myself some more food. The only food I've got so far came from a zombie. I think that's my best bet is to uh, we'll check a few of these sheds but I'm gonna go towards where that zombie is. There'll probably be others. Hubby and I love your t-shirt. Jen, thank you. That's great. Cheers for tuning in. Thank you for buying the merch as well. I think I looted these in the dark. I have no idea where I've been and where I haven't. So I can hear somebody meleeing there. There'll probably be a news call the same as me, but for now I just want to try and uh, get some food, get a, get a start, you know, like like that. That's really good. We're in with a chance, I suppose. I have no idea if these buildings can spawn loot where we're at here, but I'm going to check two, maybe one. I think I was finding loot in these type buildings before. feel really tall in this building, like everything seems too short. Oh my god, the loot. The loot is shocking. Clearly there's not many loot spots in this particular building. Dude on the coast there, that might be our melee. There's two actually, there's two over there. They may be together. There's a third. Fuck me! crazy isn't it we were just we just had a night time and i didn't see a soul i heard some shots just standing here and looking this way i think i've seen four players there's one there there's one there there was two over that way that's madness maybe try somewhere else on the map that has more loot typical uh, dude what a great idea i didn't have any energy to uh, if i tried to go anywhere else i would have died right so i had to uh I had to do the basics, otherwise I was dead before I got over the bridge. struggling with this map. I'm struggling to get my bearings. There's a is that a helicopter crash site there. I think it is. To get on the bridge I need to go the other way but I don't know if I want to come back. 
Holy shit, you alright, dude? I've eaten my food. Just got hospitalized due to a Pikachu accident. They sent me in the ICU. It's infinite stamina, I didn't realize. Is it in Have I got infinite melee stamina there or what? That so sucks. All that fucking effort. My stamina wasn't going down while I was swinging. He didn't really get a great deal. If he's got better loot than I have. Maybe he can use my uh, my bones for fishing, I suppose. Post up. Frag, thank you very much for the support. Liam, Twin, Gen J, thank you as well. I think this is fairly close to where the uh, smoke was. I think we're just going to go over there. Yeah, there it is. There's no way that's not been looted. There's two. I'm going to try and run across and see how that goes, I think. Why did he try and go and cross you like that? Maybe he was looking at the map, I don't know. It's hard to say, isn't it, you know, but... This is going to be the same as it was in before. I'm going to have to run all the way along the bridge till I can get up to a point where I can go on the fucking thing. They looked like there was another helicopter crash site this way. Maybe we'll just go and have a look. This is kind of annoying, actually. The dark blue tower is on the bridge as well. The dark blue temperature thing is uh, really tricky. Like, there's nowhere to loot. There's nowhere to get clothes or anything on this particular island. So uh, getting a star is tricky. I guess you spawn with a knife. You can make a fire. Which I think is probably the meta. You're gonna, I'm going to have to fish. Yeah, it, it's obvious now, Cassius. Yeah, based on that, they're, they're both on bridges. They're just permanent spawns, aren't they? Yeah, I don't, I've not seen any cars in the bit of the map I'm on-ish. I don't know if you spawned here or not. Maybe you did. But I, around here, I didn't see a single car. Cut up clothes. Hmm. Probably don't need any rags, but I, I guess I can use them for fires, maybe. You on Twitch, right? Dex, I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube, yeah. Hi from Finland, how you doing dude? Thanks for coming in. Is this New York? Uh, yes. say can I not get worms but I won't get worms with that because it's fucking ruined it 
Sloobs, it makes hardly any difference, dude. They're, they're so low. They're so low temperature, it makes hardly any difference. I may well do that in a second, but it's not... It's not going to be the thing that saves me. I need to make a fire. I might as well go and fish and make a fire while I do it, you know. Post up. Thank you for the three months once again. Frag, uh, Gen J, Liam Twin, uh, some Serb. Thank you. Seems to be taking ages, doesn't it? Hi, Kirsty. How are you doing? Dex, thank you. I don't think this is corny. I think it looks cool. I think that looks... I wouldn't wear it IRL, but in the game I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to need to make a few, uh, get a few sticks, so I'm going to maybe get another pile after this. I'm going back to the sea, but I'm going to run past the bridge a little way, in the hope that I head somewhere where we won't be getting killed by dudes. Close to fucking that up. Wow, times fly. How's your day been? It was great until I started playing Daisy. <laughs> no, not too bad. I had a terrible run of it in uh, on Bitterroot, but. There is uh, plenty of time. Mr. Towley, thank you for the 14 months. Sagging Lizard, thank you very much too. Holy shit. What if I cause them to spawn? I just want to get to the ocean, but preferably somewhere. Oh, this will do. doing this mate come on now come on be friends let's be friends I'd be a dick I'll help you see no oh, what are you doing I'm helping you you twat oh fuck off running man like he gives a shit you bastard but you were just no, giving him this shit. whole, uh, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing? I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> but it was a ruse. It was a ruse, my friend. <laughs> it was a ruse. He's got fishing stuff on him. You could fish with his stuff. Holy fucking shit. What, what an absolute fucking pleasure to meet you, dude. I've watched your videos in so long. Do you Let's kill him. He's going he's, he's gonna to wake, wake up in a sec. <gasps> oh, is he not dead? No, he's only on con. He's, still, he's, de he's dead now. I've got to wash my hands. Oh, no, it's fucking... Fucking dead now, though, and he's a yeah, he's bastard. fucked. I'm having him. I'm having his shit. He seemed like a nice fella. Let's run away from him. <laughs> I 
I think you can spawn here based on the way this is, right? Dead bodies. I was I was planning on fishing on this coast, but I'm not sure it's a good idea. Right, these will uh, these will be enough to stop me uh, dying of hunger, and then I can stop and make a fire and warm up as well. Three, four, five. Now the title's changed, dude. I'm on New York now. I'm not sure there's going to be a safe spot for me to do this, but we'll give it a go this way. It's just, it's just where people spawn. I don't know, but it's so fucking cold, I've got to make a fire. Let's just go for here, see how it goes. Gambon, the thing you should be doing is worrying if, what if they decide to sell it. That would be bad for you, right? <laughs> America has 8,133 tonnes of gold in reserve, right? That's great until they sell it. You'll be fucked with your gold savings if they did, wouldn't you? Seems quite a lot. I'd quite like to have one tonne of gold. I'm not greedy. Cheese reserve, eh? Is that so you can pay the cheese tax? <laughs> Swanee, the whole Elon Musk could get everyone a million bit thing. Or billion in your case. So far, so good. I buy and sell gold on the commodities market. We don't have a commodities market where I live. <laughs> uh, GB, I can't worry about shit like that. We'll see. I hope not. Seemed like a fairly decent fella. I doubt it. I've seen Die Hard 3, Fort Knox is for tourists, rocks, ah, oh, I like it. <laughs> uh, Sagin and Towley, thanks again. Set up the Suffolk Stock Exchange. SSX for SSEX for short. Sounds good. SSX. Home Alone is Die Hard for Kids. Hmm. I never heard any Rass and Frass and Rass and Frass and in uh, Nakatomi Plaza.
Uh, pass, yeah, I didn't want to say that, but that's exactly true. That's exactly what happened. Uh, in the, from the crew lounge in LaGuardia Airport. Val can't build. Well, thanks for the bits, dude. Hope you're well. Safe travels. Me and the missus have started, I'm not recommending this by the way, but me and the missus have started watching, we've, we've not finished uh, Peaky Blinders, but at the weekend we started watching uh, Ripley on Netflix. Uh, it's black and white and it's set like it was made in the sort of 40s or 50s, let's say. It's not set in that time so much, but it was. It, it's more filmed like that style. It could be maybe like a Hitchcock film or something maybe, but... Uh, I can't, I've seen five episodes. I still can't decide if I like it or not. Did I finish Invincible? Yeah, I did. I thought that the, the later episodes were a bit dull. Like, the second to last episode of the last season was a bit dull, I thought. You know, It was like, should I'm in an hiring about relationships and stuff. It's a little... <sighs> now, a three-body problem is on the list, but my missus doesn't go a bundle on sci-fi, so I don't know if she'll uh, go for that or not. We picked Ripley because I was kind of interested enough and it was more something she'd watch, so. Ripley is great. I quite like it. It seems a little bit... Very, very mild spoiler. But he's meant to be like a criminal. He's meant to be smart. But some of the things he does are just abysmally bad. <laughs> like, he's really bad at, like, covering his tracks or doing what he's doing. He, like, for someone that's meant to be a... Oh, fuck. I didn't realise that was damaged, so I've just ruined that then. Oh, well. Like, he, he's really fucking dumb. I didn't realise it was damaged, but that's that's kind of annoying. Oh, well. Don't need it. Yeah, I've been watching Shogun. The, uh, the reason we're watching Ripley is because we can both watch it, you know? Like, the missus really wouldn't be too interested in watching Three Body Problem, I don't think. Ripley, Jambon. It's on Netflix. I can't remember the dude's name, but it's, it's the, the the lead character in it is the fella that plays uh, Moriarty in the Sherlock series. He's in quite a lot of stuff. He's pretty good. It's got the uh, it's Dakota Fanning is in it as well, and one or two other people I don't recognise. Uh, Dave, yeah, you can tell that season two is building up to season three, but that's really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying when what you're watching is literally just like a roadmap towards something you can't yet watch. Do you know what I mean? It it wasn't that entertaining if it was just a bridge <coughs> for what's yet to come. No, Martin Freeman's not, not in it. Martin Freeman is the dude what plays Dr. Watson. Dakota Fanning was in uh, Equalizer 3 as well, so she's maybe started to appear into a few things again now. She was in Equalizer 3 and she's also in this as well. I think she's been in a few other things. There was a big gap. She was in that film Push, but since she was in loads of stuff as a kid, there was quite, quite a big gap till she got to being in more stuff now, I think. Yeah, I thought Invincible was okay, but the like, the second half of the third, the, sorry, the second season, I thought it was a bit dull. It literally felt like they were just waiting for, for a later season, they were wasting your time. Maybe I was a bit harsh, but... Uh, yeah, I've seen the Sherlock one, Savage, they're, they're alright. I don't think they've aged brilliantly well, if I'm honest. Uh, that might be harsh, but I've actually started, I watched uh, the first episode a couple of, maybe a week ago. It might be because it's the first episode, but... It doesn't. It seemed very modern at the time, and it seemed kind of cool. But now I'm finding it gnawingly annoying. Maybe it's me that's different, but I feel like it's not. It's not actually that great. It was great at the time, but I don't think it will be great in 30 years. Let's say. Nox Tempest. Yeah, I've been watching Shogun. It's been, it's been good. I quite like it. Certainly prefer it to 
Invincible. Yeah, she was in Man on Fire. Man on Fire. Yeah. Dollar Brandon donated five dollars. I'm sorry if you talked about this already, but how do you feel about the result this weekend? Are you upset that you didn't get the three points, or are you relieved that you at least drew an ugly game? <sighs> I don't. <laughs> We talked about it loads today, so I'll, Thanks, in a nutshell, it feels like two more. points dropped. But having been two one down, it's better that they didn't drop three. You know, like it's like a consolation prize. But <coughs> they should have been two or three goals up at half time. And the fact that Liverpool weren't is bad. You know, they they're not killing games off. They really not. They should they should have killed that game <laughs> off before, and they didn't. You know, that that's been happening a lot for Liverpool lately, though. But yeah, we must have talked about Liverpool for about three hours today, so or Man United for three hours, whatever. <laughs> Shut up, Shropshire. Uh, Dodgy, thank you for the 26 months. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Ish assured me that all of the best loot was on the cars. He said, just check a couple of cars, you'll be fully geared. Yeah, I tried to shoot through one of the windows in a previous patch and it didn't work very well. Actually don't really want to be going this way. <coughs> I wanted to go to Chinatown, that's where all the good loot's meant to be. I believe. Liquid, I haven't played Deer R hardly at all. I just, I, I have tried, I had a one life not so long ago, died at uh, Mount Katadin, but I'm just not that interested in trying to do the Deer R quest at the moment. It's so gnawingly, like, tricky. I, I'm not at all motivated to play Deer R. Hi, Snow Happening. Uh, cheers for coming in. Thanks for the resub. Car battery. There are really good loot in the cars, but just not here. I found most of my decent loot in Chinatown on the cars. I'd like to find a way down, if I'm honest. I think I might have picked the wrong fucking bridge here. Hi Letho, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. <laughs> I wish I'd not come this way. Superhero landing. <laughs> uh, dodgy, York, thank you very York, much. Dollar, thank you again. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a way, way off. There's a way. <laughs> Lovely. Let's just check these cars, because this assured me we'd get loads of loot. Red chain. He said, check the cars. You'll get a Gatling gun. Right, just while, the, while I... Uh, while I think about that, I am going to quickly uh, nip downstairs and have a piss.
Uh, Hunter, snow happening. Thank you very much for the support. Cheers for coming in. You got lied to. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's... It might be down for everyone. I can't tell at the moment, but... Oh, I'll go for a piss. One. Everyone, one. Did I join just in time for the coddening? TRMZ code B. offline I think it's back now TRMZ love uh, Valkyrie thank you for the eight months topper thank you very much an unknown error has occurred. Oh, fuck me dead. Data verification error. Topper, Valkyrie, Josh, Hunter, Snow, thank you very much for coming in, guys. Oh, I think we've done it.
Early bird, we haven't had that command for several years. And there's not much need for a uh, map command when I've been putting it in the title since we got rid of the thing. People used to spam it intentionally, like <laughs> it's one of those silly things. So somebody would come in and say, what map is it? And someone would spam the map command. And then for the next 15 minutes, people would spam the map command. <laughs> so I just started putting it in the title. And uh, it still didn't help. <laughs> but at least it's not being spammed anymore. Come on. Full pop server. Well, I've just had to queue to get back in, Eric. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yes. We've had a bit of a rollback, it seems. Near someone eating below me. Thankfully, they're not on the my level. They're, they're below. Uh, Jambon, that was a long time ago, but I did have a live counter on that was showing the <coughs> sub count. Uh, it, it did kind of drift up. A few people unsubbed when it got really close, but it got there and stayed there, yeah. I did do that when I was while I was live, yeah. I don't know when that was now, a long, long time ago. I don't think I've got the uh I think we should just try and get to the uh, the good loot. Let's try and get to Chinatown. Cigarettes, I've run into loads of streamers over the years. I've ran into smoke and teamed up. I've ran into smoke and died. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've bumped into a fair few streamers over the, over the time I've been playing. Even bumped into Lax, even though we don't normally play at the same time. But I bumped into Lax randomly on Livonia once upon a time. One looks good, doesn't it? <coughs> I don't think the reflections are the reflections of the buildings, but that's by the by, it still looks good. Hello. way it doesn't Jim no that's right but you don't get buildings with reflections for that very reason <coughs> like they've added reflections to the PU scope fairly recently but they're not accurate like you could be in a building and still get reflections I don't know if I'm going the right way or not here. I'm going to go more this way. I'm not going the right fucking way, am I? How much more can I turn right before it starts going the correct direction? I think this way. I want to go to Chinatown. I, I may, may be wrong, but that was where the best loot was before. I'm still going the wrong fucking way. Oh, let's just go this way. It looks like there is a World Trade Center there. We've not been this way. We might as well go and have a look. <coughs> Falcon, uh, Falcon Pear, thank you very much for the uh, resubscribing.
know if I should be looting any of these buildings, but I'm just going to go towards where the big one is for now. There's a bear up ahead somewhere. That's not good, is it? I think I can get on that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, you can. Look, there's a bridge up there. I haven't even got a gun, but I want to go and do that. actually holes in the <coughs> you can fall down it I'm not looking forward to coming down here this could be me dying but so what <coughs> oh oh my god I don't think I'm meant to be doing this Where's the loot at? Where's the loot at? Let's just eat a mackerel fillet and wait and wait for it all to blow over. Fuck this. I, I, I wish I hadn't come this way. I'm not looking forward to trying to get down there. It's going to be fucking scary. It'd be great if there was some deep water somewhere that I could just jump into. See, it feels like we're high up, but we're not a fucking patch on uh, the trade centre. Could that be a real helicopter? I think that one might actually be a real helicopter, you know. Maybe we should try and find that. If I don't die getting out of here. <coughs> oh my god. How am I meant to do this? I think it's actually okay. It's not as bad as it looks. Can I run down this? Yeah, it's fine. Bears real close. It can be really, really hard to navigate on, on this map. It can be really tricky. But I'm pretty sure I need to, need to go to the coast and then turn left. And I think it's this way. We know somebody else is around because we heard the grenade, <laughs> right? We heard the grenade. I'm trying to keep an eye out for Humvees because that, that Humvees is uh, good loot. So hopefully this is a perm like a proper helicopter crash site where we might get some loot, but I've no idea if it is or not. It has uh, jam on you. I'm tapping M and it's giving me uh, giving me a map, which makes it a lot easier. I don't know if either I didn't know about it or I didn't use it last time. I don't remember, but I wasn't pressing M last time I played New York. Right, 
so I could see smoke from a heli over this way. It wasn't that much further, I don't think. It suddenly got dark in my room. It must be the apocalypse. Angry oh, chair. My Go kid careful. just hit the switch by mistake. Never mind. <laughs> no, uh, no uh, apocalypse just yet, eh? Angry chair. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Fuck me. That's not good news, is it? Someone's already been here. They had so many fish that they could afford to drop one for whatever they picked up. Angry chair. Thank you, Latoys. Thank you for the prime. Terror. Thank you very much, too. This helicopter is going to be looted completely, isn't it? My only hope is that nobody's seen it. That was kind of what it was. Please tell me it's not despawned. It was right here. I saw smoke right here. I think it just despawned. It was, it was just literally that way. I saw the last of the smoke. So that was actually a spawn, that fish. Mark me. I think the helicopter was just this way a touch. Might see loot on the ground, maybe, but... It was around here somewhere. I should have gone straight towards the last of the smoke, rather than stop him, but... <coughs> because there's, uh... <coughs> because the grass is so tall... I don't think I'm going to get to a render distance where I can see it. Like, I can't get high enough away it. Like, to, to stop the grass rendering, but so I can then see where the loot is. We've not had any luck this stream. It's been insane how unlucky it has been. And they, I could be, like, right next to a DMR or something, but I can't fucking find it. Oh, fucking hell, it's this, it's here. My bad. I thought it was a lot closer than that, so it didn't despawn at least. There's some military barracks here as well. So I obviously know that that's aggroed on someone. I don't know what to do now. The zombie definitely aggroed on someone. Oh my god! They, they probably already looted the barracks. They, I think they got they got aggro just as they were going towards the heli. <coughs> so I can't really go to this. I, I think the dude will already have loot from the barracks. sucks. <coughs> I, 
don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look at a couple of barracks. He might still be in that long barrack there, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. Holy shit! Hello. That connection. I think there might be some DDoSing going on, which sucks. I think I think some of the new maps have been getting some DDoSing lately. I get the feeling that that's what's going on now. It really sucks that people... I'm not saying that's definitely the case, but I, I think it probably is the case. It really sucks that there's people out there DDoSing servers. Like, it's crazy. Or DDoSing new maps. I just... I find it baffling. Uh, Patrick, Liverpool have offered Ammer in three years, have they? Interesting. Where's the source for that, Patrick? Yeah, I've just seen it on. There's there's talk of a three-year offer and uh, financial uh, financials are nearly agreed. That's, it'd be cool if if things can get uh, organised now before the season's even over. Uh, what's the? I see a few people saying what's the reasons for DDoSing? All kinds of stupid reasons, but some people do it because they hate Daisy. Uh, I'm not saying this definitely happens, but in gaming it can happen that <clears throat> like rival maps will D or rival servers will DDoS each other. Like if you've got a server that's on Namalsk and there's another server that's popular, you might DDoS the other Namalsk server so people play on yours. That's all fictitious by the way, I'm not saying that happens, but that kind of thing can happen. But it doesn't take much, it, it might be that the owner of a server or the, the map creator pisses off somebody and then they do it you know it can just be like an axe to grind or something like that you piss off the wrong wrong person you know it, it's just ridiculous but uh it can happen there are things you can do to try and mitigate ddos uh with server hosting and whatnot but it's, it, there's a cost to it you know like there are costs to try and protect from ddosing and it has downsides as well There was 308 bullets in that fucking barrel as well. <laughs> that dude logs in in that building, he's in for a fun time of it. <laughs> Poor fucker. <laughs> it's just the way it went. He may not be in there because of the way the, the desync went. Like, I got rolled back, right? He may well get rolled back. He may not. I don't know. Which ones I checked and which ones I didn't. <coughs> Blobby, I'm not a Man City supporter. No, I'm a Liverpool fan. Vendor vest. That's good. That's very, very good. Hello. Oh. Is that you I met before, dude? Uh, yeah, I was. I, uh, I ain't finding a great deal of loot. I don't know how you're doing, but holy shit, it's tricky. 
Be careful over the other side. I shut a load of zombies in over there, okay? It's it's not very safety. Okay, there was an MP5 in here. I got it before, yeah, but then the uh, server crashed. Server crashed. Right. And it rolled back. Hey, dude, it's, yeah. There's someone else talking outside, but no, I, I've not got one, dude. Hey. I think I ran into one of you guys right Holy before shit. server restart. Just saying, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. Hello. Yeah. All right, dude. Stay safe. You too. So many people. All right, we've done okay. We've got some 308. I think let's just go this way and get away. I don't think there's any stream sniping going on there. That's instantly coming back. I don't think there was any delay. I think it was just my voice coming back. That's an echo from speakers or headphones. It's not stream sniping. Yeah, I got a defender vest as well. That's good. I felt like he was unmanaring as to whether to shoot me, to be honest. Right. I want to go to Chinatown or somewhere. KO9, thank you for the three years. I, I don't know enough about Amarin. I know he's one of the up-and-coming coaches that's really well thought of. It doesn't mean he's going to be the uh, the answer to Liverpool's uh, like worries. I don't know, but it's quite an exciting appointment. You know, We'll have to wait and see, but I hope, I hope getting them in now is really good, I think, if, if it can be confirmed. It's, it's a weird thing where you've got a new manager confirmed and the old manager still working until the end of the season. That's quite rare. DMW, apparently, it's not confirmed, it's just kind of strong rumours, but apparently Liverpool have offered him Am Amarin from Sporting Lisbon three-year contract. Yeah. And financials are nearly agreed, but it's, it's not confirmed yet, so it's not set in stone. Yeah, it'd normally be more than one and a half seconds, like several seconds. I stream with no delay, so it would be at least one and a half seconds, but... But normally it's even slower than that as a rule. But yeah, <laughs> there's normally a bit of a delay. Two or three seconds minimum. I, I stream on low latency mode, so it can be relatively quick. <laughs> New York would it have lots of Zeds. <laughs> Keep up the great content. Smoking, thank you. It does have quite a lot of zombies, but obviously the game has limitations, right? There's only so much the game can do, like in terms of how many zombies it can support and then keep the servers running and whatnot, so I think probably being realistic about what Daisy can cope with. Like regular Cherneris has a thousand zombies, you know, like <coughs> the other point is it's only a small map, you know, like with very few proper buildings in it, so if you aggro a zombie, you've got nowhere to run. Then, like, you could—if there was a whole horde of them—it might seem fun, but you'd never get anywhere. Like being this overgrown as well, you can just. There's not much you can do. You're just running into them. <coughs> right, I'm going to keep going this way. Uh, maybe we might want to take a left in a minute, but let's get a bit further away from those shots. Uh, Kyle, uh, 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 Kyle's maybe. Uh, I kind of like Day One, like you do. If you're Day One's Eastern America, so you can get away with it. But if you if you're having trouble with server pop because of uh, time of day, then their servers like Zero or Karma Crew would be a good option. Maybe Spaggy if you want vanilla, depending on the the, the day. Kill it, it was alright. It was pretty good. We had we didn't do a great deal. One of them was a bit sickly, so we had fairly sort of chilled out time. <laughs> Both of my kids had a cough the whole fucking week. 
uh, Maggie, the younger one, got really, really like chesty with it. She has asthma and she just wasn't brilliantly well. Uh, so we, we had a fairly lazy few days. Went to the cinema and uh, just chilled out at home for a day and whatnot. But uh, <coughs> it, did, it, did, it worries me still. That I, I'm surprised I've not got sick yet. I've been waiting to. Walls up that way. There might be aggro on someone if I'm lucky. Stuck on top of a roof. <coughs> Both of them are stuck on roofs. <laughs> New York Police Department. Surely there's loot in the New York Police Department, right? Surely. There's rubber slugs. Fuck me dead. There's more rubber slugs. Fuck's sake. Is that it? I've got to keep going this way and it'll take me to Chinatown. Chinatown's where all the epic fat loots is. Or epic fat loots are even. Oh, I, th I thought I could... I was going through there to avoid Zeds, but there's more Zeds. Could do with a little bit of a l luck. Cannibal, thank you very much. Mr. Speed, thank you as well. That's good. You can kind of go up there as well and get on that. I think we want to keep going this way. This little layout here seems the same as the one we just ran past. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tricky at the moment. I need more warm clothes. I don't know what's happened. I've seen two pairs of gloves. I tried to pick them both up, but somehow I haven't got either pair. I don't know how I didn't get them, but I'm pretty sure I clicked them. Uh, Cannibal, thanks again. very flat. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly like New York, but I don't remember New York being very undulating when I went. It was fairly flat, but... Uh... <coughs> right, this is coming up to the start of the good bit. Nox Tempest, I think it's just because it's further away from where you start. It's only a small map, but you have to travel a bit further, you know. get on that road. All the broken down cars. We should be about where we need to be now. <coughs> this might not be quite right. I might have been better off back where I was before, but let's start this way. <coughs> I 
I think I'm actually believing the map, which isn't the map. Oh, there's one. So the best loot tends to be at these. Certainly when I played it the last time. The, the Humvees around Chinatown were where it was at, loot-wise. <laughs> I think I need to be more aware of these. Yes, yeah, these rows I need to get to. Let's just keep going. <coughs> Things running smoothly today, at least. There is that going for me. I'd, I was slightly late starting because when I got back to the PC I checked and there was an NVIDIA update but there was also an OBS update today so that they may have happened last <laughs> week but the new NVIDIA update and the new OBS, up, OBS update so far today everything has been smoother than it's been for a while so that's good news. Oh my god it's gassed. Is that a temporary or what? Why is it gassed? I think it'll be temporary. That's where all the good shit is, isn't it? <laughs> right, I've got to try and run around the edge. Map not found. Why? Oh, fuck. You only get M when you have the map in your inventory. Where did I drop it? That's dumb, isn't it? It's, it's a good move. I like that, but it's dumb on my part. I didn't know that. There we go. So you have to have the map to press M to see the map. That's quite rare, that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you can't loot those guns. For display purposes only, only just like going to a Rolex AD. Display purposes only. Just keep running. Just keep running. T R M Z L U V. Uh, can I get to the Humvees? Where's the goddamn Humvees? There's one there. This isn't feeling very safe. Looting cars feels horrible. Oh, fuck. <coughs> so there's a dead zombie on the ground. Decent. I think the mag is a bit damaged. Well, at least the gun's okay, and at least it had a full mag as well. Dude, the must. Oh, fuck, I thought that was that. This is cool. Yeah. 
Zero, that's a cool question. Santos Medium or Rolex Explorer for first luxury watch? Personally, I think if it's your first, I, I'd go for the Explorer myself. I really like Cartier. I think they're great, but I think it's more... If it's your first watch, and only maybe, then that's that's a much better option, I think. Minted lamb is the answer to the question someone's going to ask. Uh, Matt Dawes, thank you for the 30 months. So that is a lot of globes, isn't it? <laughs> no sharing of globes went on this day. Oh, no, I missed that. Did that spawn in where I picked the boots up? I don't think so. Different one. Actually, starting to get something together here. I didn't know. I was going to say I had some spare bullets. Days keeps I have the got some. Away, or something like that. Keaton, thank you very much for using your prime on my channel, dude. Thank you. Why do I have ASMR as a tag? Because not all ASMR is about women or anybody you like, whatever floats you boat. Licking, uh, ASMR doesn't just mean licking microphones and making funny noises. Bob Ross is ASMR. This is definitely ASMR, for sure. Come up your bum. Also, I, I really enjoy the fact that it annoys a few people as well for some unknown reason. I might lick the micro microphone in a minute. <sighs> Jules, I haven't killed Sour, dude. I've not killed anyone in ages. That's the one we were at before, where I saw the dead zombie. this is permanent gas or not, I just don't know. Oh. Fuck 
fucking hell. He must have gone through a, a portal. The zombie sound effects on this server are modded, so they're, they're not like this in the regular game. Fretless. Maybe it's living inside you now. I've never had tequila that has a worm in it, if I'm honest. Never lived, have I? I'm not a huge fan of tequila, to be, to be honest. Either. Eating that sucks, dude. You're the second person that said exactly that today. Second viewer that's doing the same thing. Hope everything goes as well as it can, dude. That sucks. I'm going to get away with this, but I'm seemingly running into the gas, and it's not the gas. Might just be on the edge of it. Last night I ate the tequila worm. Now I must decide if I go to work and die, or call in and watch TRMZ and then die. I prefer the latter, but whatever you do, don't eat that worm FML. Underscore TRMZ face bomb. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. The police station's changed since we last played, so that was a regular police station. Now it's a New York. Dead zombie. I wonder if the zombie maybe died to gas. Last week. Glad you're back. Uh, Josh, thanks for coming in. Really appreciate it. You don't lose melee with... You don't lose stamina with melee. I don't know if that's some kind of weird bug or what. So maybe it's intended, but it's not something I've experienced before. Yeah, drinking the powdered milk may not be the smartest move. Get now it's now I'm fucking thirsty. Oh, I can't slide down the ladder. I was hoping we might get uh, saline or something, but I can soon go to the well. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Almost I, I did, as I many did months as we have years. A hum lol trmz love. Yeah, I'm glad to be back streaming. It was nice to get unplugged a little. Ooh, it's kind of okay. 
it was, it was nice to get unplugged a little from Tinternet, but equally it's good to be back. Happy time with TRMZ. Right, am I actually going to get into gas this way? It certainly looks like I am. Is this gas? <coughs> gas is not fake news. <coughs> gas is definitely not fake news after all. <laughs> it felt like it might have been fake news, but then uh, then the uh, the sound changed and trouble occurred. Right, I hope I can get to the well here, and it's not in the gas. Dem Demos, Demos, if you're not wearing a gas mask, it's about 40 seconds or so. You don't get very long. Mike, I, I play with other streamers from time to time. I'm playing with Mr. OG on Wednesday. I have a team up with uh, Joito booked for next week, I think it is. Uh, I play with other streamers, but most of my uh, videos and most of my content on YouTube for the videos tends to come from uh, me playing on my own and then teaming up with people that I meet in the game or not, you know, but... I lone wolf about four streams out of every five. Stamina bars low because I'm carrying two guns and a defender vest and all sorts. got to wait for this gas to go now. I presume it will go. We did pretty well though. That building that... Uh, I mean, it might have been Recon, but somebody was saying that it was good for loot in that building on the last time I played it. And I never found anything, but this is this time we found... We found some good shit. Where did that mushroom go? the gas going or is it my imagination? I think it's my imagination. I'm going to loot the other buildings in the hospital just for now. I'm walking, There's not much, game. not much I can do until the uh, gas goes. 
I need to be able to check the other cars. I'm walking here. Uh, Mr. Handman, cheers for the support, dude. Hope you're well. YBBK, Southskin, thank you as well. Yeah, no loot. There's a well here. I didn't know that was there. It's on the fucking... It's on the map as well. What a fucking pleb. I don't know if the loot drops on these are quite accelerated or not, but... That was there before. Some uh, Laszlo, I think it was, told me that was there. I did see it. It's still really risky. Like, I could use it to go and check that one just down the way. But it's still kind of a huge risk to do that. Definitely worth it though, wasn't it? Fucking blaze. I'm gonna get out of the gas. I don't want to get sick. The blaze alone is more than enough. That is cool because I've got I've got bullets as well, quite a few. Did I get the chance to watch some snooker? Nope, none at all. I uh, I watched the Liverpool game. That's the only sport I watched. Didn't watch the Japanese Grand Prix. Didn't watch anything else. You, you definitely need NBC clothes, dude. The uh, the bleed rate's a bit slower, I think, if you're wearing a gas mask, and obviously it's not. You don't start coughing, so you can live longer in there. Wearing a, a gas mask for sure. Spoken game there, I think. No weapon cleaning kit is a bit of a ball late. Who won it, Chellis? Who won it? I hope Mark Williams won it, but probably didn't. Happy sub anniversary, hot stuff. Four years of trying to explain to the wife why I sub. She'll never understand. Daft cow tears of joy. <laughs> Dunster, thank you. Oh, the gas is gone. Cheers for the support. Yeah, that that's a tricky one. Cheers, YBBK as well. Thank you very much. Right, let's go this way. Let's try and check Humvees. So I think these zombies have probably died to the gas, not not to a player. Because it was all gas not long ago. Kind of need a weapon cleaning kit. There was a shot not a million miles away too. Got to be a bit careful. just shows how good the loot is when you're somewhere where you can actually go if that makes sense you know like this hasn't been looted for half an hour and the loot's built up really well oh my god fuck me dead this is tricky I'm struggling a bit here. With what to keep and what not to keep, basically.
And there's lots of people on the way as well. My experience on this map is that you tend to run out of bullets a lot quicker than you think once the shooting starts, so I'm, uh, I'm quite eager to keep three guns for now. Especially since the blaze is badly damaged and the SKS uh, is actually usable in... and I've got shitloads of bullets. Humvee there. I feel like that one was probably outside the gas zone, but let's go and check. There's one there. My God. When you were off, did you watch the tedious moments of life slowly tick away from you, leaving an enduring sense of disappointment and futility? Yes, I did. No, I did watch that. Just me again. Carrying the weight of humanity's deficiencies. I did watch that, oh, yeah. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for that enduring image. Whew. All right, I just need to get this M4 loaded. And then we're looking pretty decent. Ed T. Ball, thank you very much for the support. I knew it would be you without even checking, but thank you. shooters th th down that way. There's a crossbow. I don't think I can be bothered with that. <laughs> Hope the half term went well. Our kids still have another week TRMZRIP. Yeah, my, like my kids are off this week, but they're at their mum's this week, so uh, obviously I, I, have, I have the kids half of the holidays, nearly. And uh, so I've had them for the first full week. So I had them from Good Friday. They've gone back to their mums now. I'm not seeing them until the 26th of April now. Mainly because I had them for a full week and strictly speaking I should be getting them Friday and I'm, I'm not because I've just sort of had them go back. There are a lot of Zeds here. I kind of want to check the cars for a weapon cleaning kit, but it seems it seems kind of risky. Oh shit! This is dodgy. It's dodgy because they can somehow seemingly sometimes get in the room. Shit, I thought she was dead. Well, thanks for pausing. Very sporting of you. Get a knife on the hot bar. Scar mag. 
There's some decent fucking guns on this server, it turns out. Savannah, I think I've got to take that. I much prefer the Blaze, but Blaze is fucked, the Savannah is not, right? That's a tricky one for me. I, I don't like dropping a blaze for a savannah. It sucks, but I don't want the blaze. I've just fired it three times, killing Zeds, which was kind of stupid, but I don't want the blaze to be getting ruined, and then I've got fuck all. Most of the shots we're hearing are in the heart of the main town over there. been on the islands yet? I've not been on these, no. I obviously you spawn on Brooklyn. I've not been to the others. It looks like a hell of a swim. That looks like a big military island, that one. I see a dude just then. Oh, I saw a zombie with a bag. Is this literally only surviving against Zeds? Dude, can you not hear those shots? There are lots of players in the server, but they're not necessarily right where I am, you know? I'm, I'm trying to get loot at the moment. I am heading towards where those shots are, though, right now. some kind of like older SKS. I'm not, I'm not even going to pick that one up. A lot of the shots we're hearing are around here. This is where I had most of the PvP when I, when I was playing before. There's an awful lot of people usually camped up at the top of buildings. I don't think that zombie died to the gas. I don't think that zombie died. It's not a zombie. That's weird. That's part of the map. That's cool. I quite like that. I think the one's, one's chopped in half as well. This is going to get really fucky now. This is where all the shots happen.
Can I go through? Can I fuck? I think that tower's a little bit early, but I'm going to need to get in a tower and just hold fire for a bit soon. I think this is the one we were in before. Keep going. There could be people in here. This could be really, really bad. But anyway, let's do it. Uh, Miss Magoo, thank you very much for the for the resub bullet of beliefs. Thank you very much too. Dunster, Mr. Handman, YBBK, thank you. Hi Ollie, yeah, I'm good. Hope you're well. I think this is the one where I was shooting at people this way. Yeah, it is. Actually, might have been the one to the left of this one, but this one will do. The guy in there. Oh, I've just missed him. That sucks. got here like half a second earlier that would have been a, a nice nice warmer upper mm. gonna be hard to shoot him now they're looting the Quonset huts right in front of me there's gonna be very little chance of me shooting the dude somebody just went in there I think as well Maybe if he goes, if they go to those sheds, there's a tent there. Maybe there. I just can't. From this angle, there's not much I can do. I don't really want to move yet. Even if I had a grenade, I don't think it would work. Just came out, he's in this tent, might see him here. From there to the next tent, maybe. Out the other fucking door. a dead guy. Loot that. Yeah, loot that. Are you not going to loot him? Please loot him. He's just, he must just be behind there. I don't think he's moved, does he? He's just behind the box. Yeah, he is. Yeah, go and loot that. Is he not looting? Oh, he is. <laughs> I feel like the server may have gone down. Maybe not. <laughs> that could have been a hit. You saw where his gun was poking. wasn't a hit. That's the problem with the Savannah. Those shots felt like they were on the dude, but I couldn't see where they were landing. I'll be dead in a sec if I'm not careful. 
You can't low. You can't zoom any lower than. Sorry, you can't uh, range any lower than two hundred, dude. That's as low as it gets. I ain't worried about the. I think the shots are going okay. <laughs> you can't even wall bang that wall. Someone's going to shoot me from over there. <gasps> Got an SK with a PU scope. Savannah is so tricky. I think I'm just going to go down and loot, loot them. I had a shitload from here. Machine block. Thank you for the 21. Uh, Rachel, thank you very much too. Funky, I've not organised anything yet. I've, I've been... I had a message from one of the... Uh, well, from Scotty, one of the people at DayZ. Uh, a couple of days ago on Discord, and I didn't see that till this morning. Uh, I'm, de I'm definitely going. There was a slight chance that my missus might not be going, so we've just been been holding off, waiting for that. She's coming now, by the look of it, which is good. But her uh, grandmother is ill. Same kind of story as a couple of people in the chat, but her great her grandmother. I'm going to say great. Her grandmother's coming up 96. She's got Alzheimer's. Uh, she fell and really hurt herself a while ago, and she's been in hospital ever since. And there's there's a chance she might need to move hospitals, and if that's the case, then like we might have nowhere for the dog to go because they're in. She lives in Scotland, and if if anything needs to happen, then my other half's mum will have to go. Uh, but it looks like it's not going to coincide, so we'll be okay. with this. Can I go up there? No. Nope. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't have a microphone. Then die. <laughs> Sorry, but that, that's what you get. No mic, no life. Everybody knows it. Felt a little bit Ghostbusters-esque, that, to me. Are you a god? Then die. <laughs> that fella had a crossbow. There's a lot of lot of shots here.
Someone asks you if you've got a microphone, you say yes! <laughs> Machine block, thank you for the support, dude. Uh. Killed on the way in or killed on the way out? He was shaking no for not having a microphone uh, when I asked about the microphone. Do I have five guns? No, I only have four. Two assault rifles, one sniper rifle and one kind of all-round rifle. Only four. Hello? 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 I know there's a fucker in here. There's definitely a fucker in here. Hello? I'm eager to share. Let's share the loot. If someone fired a shotgun this way. There's some pluses and minuses to this building, to say the least. I think that the dynamic of the map has changed slightly, probably for the better, in that you can't spawn quite so near here, so if you die it's a bit more of a slog to get back, so people have had to travel and work a bit harder to get here. There was loads of people around here before. I think we're in the right spot for now. I don't think we need to go anywhere else. Shit. Seen someone. I've seen someone in there.
Let's hear that dodgy Brooklyn impression, Kappa. I haven't got any dodgy Brooklyn impression. They're all perfect. New York. <laughs> uh, I'm not here for bit. I'm not here for loot, Lakers. If you want loot, you don't come to this building, dude. Rest assured. There's definitely somebody there, and they were on the top floor. I saw them in that window. They went round to the right. They may have gone up. Saw him again, briefly. He really didn't peek for long. <gasps> That's horseshit. How the fuck? GG to them. I, I obviously saw him, but I didn't think he was going to be able to shoot me from there. Hopefully he can't finish me off. I, I was waiting a second because I honestly didn't think he was going to shoot at me. But yeah, fair play on them spotting me. Hello. It doesn't matter that the M4 is on semi-auto, that's fine. I can't change it right now. If I change it, he'll hear it. Although I suspect he probably heard my footsteps anyway. Uh, hey Shelly, thank you for the 86 months, dude. I'm working here. <laughs> well, uh, sandbagging mofo, Ebo, the one that shot me Uncon is not the one that's here already. They may be together. I'm kind of starving, so I'm just going to shoot my... I don't know who's up. They just shot themselves. I'm kind of starving, so I'm just going to shoot myself. I'm not going down. That could be a soundboard. I've had that. I believe I've had that once. I'm not going down. I've had people uh, play a soundboard. It certainly sounded legit. Obviously, you heard the body fall, right? I think using a soundboard in that way, I, I don't think they've done that. I think they genuinely killed themselves. But I think using a soundboard like that is kind of cheating, yeah. <coughs> it's not. It's certainly not sporting anyway, is it, to play a soundboard, a soundboard of a, a dead body to make it sound like you died. Sub-Zero, like I already said, it doesn't matter. See, that's the same gun. <coughs> It doesn't matter that the M4's on semi, it's fine. If somebody comes, I'm at the top of the ladder. What, what's the hardship? Oh! I'm gonna die in like two seconds, brother, so I'm coming up.
We're stuck here for a bit. I swallowed some water and it went down the wrong fucking hole. <clears throat> yeah, this one's a different player. I'm not hearing the starving sound. I think that the, the guy did kill himself. This is, uh, sniff this, no way to be up here unless you logged out up here. Now, just to be clear, I didn't say it was a soundboard. I'm saying I'm not going down in case as far as I remember. Because I've been fooled by that before. There's just nothing to benefit in it. Sooner it gets dark as shite at night time, yeah. <laughs> that was a st stomach rumble. I'm gonna get the papers. Get the papers. Gonna get the papers, get the papers. <laughs> All right, hit me two times. <laughs> ah, just for the resub, dude. There's no loot up here, so they may not bother coming up. Got the shotgun. Bang. I don't think they'll come up. I, I genuinely don't think they'll come up. He's the one that killed. He's the one that knocked me. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. An Org AX. Get out of here. Let's just camp. Let's let's become the campers. There's still another one up there. Pretty sure there's another one there. <coughs> I wish this selfish bastard had done a uh had a decent fucking mag. Weapon cleaning kit, maybe. But the guy that knocked me, this is him. So he knocked me with that Mosin. Happy Monday. 
The best thing about that, not that I thought the dude was stream sniping, by the way, but the best thing about that is that it does show that the fucker wasn't stream sniping. Otherwise, there's no way in hell that the dude would have come up here, right? struggling a bit now. Having too much shite. Just drop some of the wrong bullets then. Does he have gloves? He's got improvised gloves. I was just going to make some, but I can just use his. I just heard steps. Love the content for years. Now keep it up from a fellow British TW at. Trying to cut the fucker up. I haven't got the. Where's the knife gone? Dropped the knife some fucking reason. No, I did it, but I did. I'm just not getting warm enough. Which is a problem. I kind of want to go down, but it's going to be really stupid to do that. I... I want to go and see if the other dude's got a warmer jacket, just to see if I can uh, properly warm up. That would be good. I thought I heard steps below me for a second. I could make a fire, that would help. turn the fishing rod into sticks for sure. <laughs> Mumra of New York. Stack the ammo. Chill dude. Chill. we got lots to do. There's not actually that much ammo to stack. Two. Three. Could that be down there then? I think it probably was. Thought it was further away than that, but there's a dead body at the PD. Or there's dead stuff at the PD, dead zombies. I'm a bit too high for that. Let's get those in there. I can make a fire anyway. I, I'm just... Uh, I'm not sure I want to be fucking around with fires. Lord Pop, well, I'm not going anywhere right now, but I don't have an AKM, so I, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I, I might take the bullets, I might take the mag. 
But right now, I ain't in a rush to do any of those things, you know? Uh, no one knows the map name. It's in the title of the stream, Monty. This is New York. It's always in the title of the stream every day on this one, dude. I, on my on my stream, I always put the map name in the title. Uh, VW, uh, Calixtus, and Purple, uh, Monon Monolocalus, uh, Anonymous. Cheers for the support, all of you. Thank you. Gutting Shadow. Cheers for the prime. Make a face wrapping. I think I've used all the all the bandages. The other item of clothing we've got is ruined, so I think we're gonna struggle. Must be incredibly close to the plus symbol. This fucking loot is doing my oh god. Yippee. This loot is doing my fucking head in. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. I'm going to get the plus symbol, then I'm going to go ins inspect the suicider. Just got the plus symbol. Dude had dropped them off. I wonder if that was his buddy. Was that full was was that full planned? Yes it was jam bomb, yeah. Alright, the sixty-three slots, this one's sixty-three, so I'm gonna change to this bag because it's cooler.
None of this is going in there. That, that sucks. Let's just take that off a sec. It's still not going in there. that my bottle there? I think that is my bottle, isn't it? Let's make sure it's purified. Is the AUG better than the M4? Yes and no. At close range, no. At mid range, yes. It's more powerful per single shot, for sure. But better is kind of subjective. Like, it, it, with a, with a, like an ACOG scope at longer range, you'd, I'd rather have the AUG. But turning a corner and wanting to blat someone to pieces, I'd much rather have the, uh, I'd much rather have the M4. It's, it's got a higher rate of fire. I dropped my bottle a long time ago. Wow, well, I've got a new one now anyway. like to welcome little baby nine pounds six ounces trm bed uh misfit congratulations <laughs> i don't know I, I was about nine pounds six ounces as well i can not cause quite that but i wasn't far off i can't work out if there really is a baby or if there isn't there it's, it's kind of tricky it could be it could be either way oh i took the hoodie off I took the hoodie off and then never put it back on. What? Where's the hoodie gone? There. That's where. Me being stupid. What am I doing here? I can't go up more. Joe, I, I don't give out, or Joe R, uh, Joe Robbo, that's Joe Robbo, I don't give out the exact server. This map is New York, uh, but I, I don't really want to go into the in, in a minutiae of exactly what server I'm on, dude. It just kind of spoils the stream if I do. I should probably leave those. Oh, I got my map. Have I got? I haven't got a map myself. I don't think. Why is the fly still going through the chopped body? It's not. It's not the body I chopped. It's the one I just looted downstairs. Why have I done that again? I can't seem to help myself, can I? Just watched your lights out videos on YT. They were great. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Itchy Balls. What a name. Cheers for the support, Itchy. Really appreciate it. Thank you for tuning into the YouTubes as well. <coughs> there was nearly another YouTube video for the weekend. Uncupa wasn't far away with finishing the next one. So I'd be very disappointed if there isn't a video on Saturday. Coming up next weekend, because we were nearly, nearly done one. Fat down. Thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support. Uh, thank you very much. I don't really want to stay up here too much longer, to be honest.
there another one downstairs? Here he is. Hope you are all good. Keep on running. Keep on running. Keep on running. That's, that's weird. I don't understand. It could be a bug. Yeah, it must be. Is this Richard Hammond streaming? Yes. Yes, it is. I drive fast cars like I play DayZ. I'm, I'm very close to death nearly all the time. out where people are in the in the bigger towers. This is the spot for uh, defending. I would quite like to go to one of the islands. I've not got a great deal of food, but we can soon get some, I guess. It's a long way to go, isn't it? I guess that island's the nearest. I'd like to see the Statue of Liberty. That would be kind of cool. I don't fancy this swim in the slightest, though. It's under permagas, is it? Well, all of it, or just the Statue of Liberty? There are boats out there, okay. Somebody did a lot of zombie killings. It's hard to know how long ago though. They could it could have been a while ago. It, it's kind of tricky. I have to go to the store. It'd be good if you could make the swim while I'm shopping. Yeah, it seems legit. Now I think we should go. Uh, one good thing though, I, I might not stay like it, but just that new spawns hoodie has made a hell of a difference to my temperature, hasn't it? Tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah, my favourite word for sh for show. It's a common word that that New York that us New Yorkers use. <laughs> new Yorkers. What the fuck was that? New Yorkers. <laughs> I got a double New Yorker. Fuck me, dead. I, I should definitely not do any accents ever. <clears throat> it's so easy to forget, right? When you fall like that and land, it's so long before you can get your gun out. What's on the Ipswich result? Well, it's not good, is it? You know, like... 
There's flies down here. He's a fresh dead one, that one. Yeah, I, I want Ipswich to go up, so yeah, it's not, not the best result in the world, to be honest, but uh, they're still doing alright. Away away at Norwich is not going to be an easy game for Ipswich, is it? Let's be fair, you know, like they've, they've been playing really, really well lately. I've also been 38 for seven years, it's a wonderful age to be, quite right too. I think that dude was killed. By the one that I killed with the blue hat. He was the one that had come up and then blue hat had, had killed him. I think. Right, I'm going to go to the edge. I've no idea where boats might spawn, but I'm going to go and start just following the coast and look for... Uh, Look for boats while we make our way towards the island. I think Liverpool have got as good a chance as, as the others, Tyler. I know their goal difference is not quite as good as Arsenal's, but I think it's a fairly close run thing between all three. If somebody said, here's 10 grand, you must place it on someone to win the league. And that's it. That's what you've got to do with that money. Uh, I, I would probably bet on City. I don't bet, but if I was forced to, like, I'd probably pick City as the favourites. But uh, nonetheless, I think that everyone's got a fairly even chance. That looks a bit scary, doesn't it? Fucking hell. Liverpool are favourites, then Man City, then Arsenal. I'm surprised that after the weekend that that's still the case. Uh, Trident. I, I don't understand how they decide how many points to make it. Like, So Everton got fined two, two points today, or deducted two points. But Forrest the other week got four points. Everton before got ten and then it was reduced to six. It's not very clear why the points are different. I don't get that. Like, is it something to do... Like, if you break, breach financial fair play, you breach it. If it's by 10 million or if it's by 20 million, should it matter? I don't really understand. I don't fully get it. It feels like they're just, like, sticking their thumb in the air and going, oh, well, we think it's about four points this time. On where the, based on where the dart sticks when they throw the dart at the dartboard. Yeah, it might well be. Yeah, I've missed the eclipse. I ain't seen no eclipse. I think around about now in the UK, there's this eclipse that happens every night and then the sun comes out again in the morning. Thank you for your stream too. Got me back into days big time. Tragic Mike, the sooner it happens the better. Like if they are guilty, they need to be dealt with, but it's been it's not entirely the Premier League's fault, but like let's say City win the league again this year. I know City fans won't see it this way, but every it feels so hollow, you know, like they should be getting docked stuff. They should be being dealt with, but the Premier League can't do it like they're doing the other teams, right? And so they go and win another trophy and then like, it's just like it's not fair. <laughs> it really isn't.
It's the best end of season run-in for a hell of a long time, and I'm an Arsenal supporter. It is quite exciting, Planet Hell. It is quite exciting. I, I, uh, I think, unless, I, for me, it, with Liverpool, I think the only thing that can... Jota coming back and being on fire might help, but personally, I think Salah needs to start playing at his level best, and I just don't see it at the moment. Salah seems jaded. He seems... He seems kind of finished. I, I, I honestly think he... I think going to the African Cup of Nations, getting injured and coming back, I think it's really, like, fucked him over. He's just not the same. Uh, it's going to be way more than minus, minus 30 if they're guilty, DMW. I think they'll have to be re relegated by several divisions. Choo -choo. It depends what they've really done, but if if they're guilty of at least half of the charges, like let's say they get four points per charge and that's sixty, you know, <laughs> like six, say they get done for sixty charges, you know, like that's a lot of points. I think they've got to be relegated a few times. Uh, Lewis, I think Seller will go at the end of the season too, but uh, I, and I think that might be the good choice for everyone, but. Ipswich may, might sound cool, but it isn't that great when you're there. Neo, well, fair enough. Thank you. <laughs> A moon-shaped shadow puppet, you say? I presume around here, if there are boats, is where they're likely to spawn. It will end up Juve all over again. Get relegated to just above non-league and then just make it back by spending all the money and hide it better the second time. Yeah, probably. Probably the case. But uh, if, if they did end up relegated properly, uh, it would be interesting for a while, wouldn't it? They won't strip the Premier League titles, Warwick. No, they won't do. There's no precedent for that. Like Everton got those that Everton got initially ten points, reduced to six this season, but for offences that weren't in this season. If they took titles away from City, they would have to be like doing things like cancelling relegations from the teams that Everton played against. Everton maybe finished really low down the bottom and other teams got relegated because it, you just can't do it. Like City will keep the co City will keep the trophies. But they will uh I think they'll get serious uh, consequences if they are guilty. Uh Liverpool rent. Salah is saving energy for a Real Madrid stint. He's not going to Real Madrid. Just seen the total eclipse for the first time. So beautiful. Jack, very cool. I think it was cloudy here, but I haven't had a chance to look. How do I feel about the Vicky? It's kind of cool. It's decent. In the Battle Royale, I normally take the VSS over it, and I think that's the case. The 30 round mag is much better than the Vicky. I like the Vicky, it's quite good, but I'd rather use the BSS. There's a partial, equips, a partial eclipse around the UK, Quizzling. It's not a full eclipse, though. But yeah, our, our eclipse was meant to be about... 752 or something. I don't know. Somebody said earlier. I don't know when it was, but it doesn't matter. I ain't seeing it. I'm following this in the hope of finding a boat, but I don't think we're anywhere near where the boats spawn, to be honest. Popcorn, well, thanks for sharing. Look <laughs> <laughs> okay,
Saw the Eclipse 2, not impressed. Fucking hell, what? <laughs> not impressed, I want my money back. <laughs> I'm not impressed, it was dark. <laughs> Couldn't see shit. It was only about 3 to 4% coverage for most of the mainland UK. Was it tragic? Interesting. Use Gamma for the Eclipse, eh? Do I go this way? I don't know where to go. Yeah, I remember there being a full eclipse back then. I remember it being a big deal. I think I saw it, kind of. I didn't have any of the paraphernalia to look at it properly, but I remember it. I don't have a recollection of it. Cause I didn't have, like, the glo the goggles or the... Uh, I have a funny feeling where I live it was kind of cloudy on the day, but I remember the, the 1999 one, the proper one. Looking forward to Men in Black 3 coming out in June. There's already been a Men in Black 3. Bad Boys 3, maybe, you mean. I've seen the trailer. No, I'm not. I've seen the trailer a couple of times. It looks, it looks shit. Martin Lawrence doesn't look like... And some may say he didn't have any comedy time in any way. But it feels like he's lost whatever comedy time he didn't have. Just based on the trailer. Well, there's a new Bad Boys, isn't there? It's not three, isn't he right? I think it must be four or whatever it is. I don't know. I think what it really is, is Will Smith takes whatever job he can get right now to build up his, uh, build his name back up after uh, Slapgate. That's what it, what it, fucking hell. My fuck, that's annoying. That was so tricky. So the the rags, the knife had gone where the rags were. And then the rags wouldn't go back. They went where the gun was, so then I couldn't get the knife back out. Tricky being my favourite word and all, but it was tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. How long am I streaming for? Not quite 11 hours, not quite uh, 12 hours. 11 hour day Z. Now, thank you so much for the very generous super chat. That's incredibly kind. 110 euros, dude. Fucking hell. Thank you very, very, very much. It's getting quite dark here in Montreal. What happens if it doesn't come back the other side? What if the wind changes and it gets stuck like that? got a result on the day of the eclipse. You are the devil. You are the devil. Ooh. Uh, Welsh, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. It's crazy, isn't it, to think like, like, it's not that crazy, but it's not that long ago where if an eclipse happened, people would look up in the sky and think that the end was nigh, you know, like not understand what the fuck was going to go on, you know, like what the fuck is this devilry? 
like they were probably sacrificing people for God knows what to make the sun come back. It's really not that long ago. Now we know it's going to happen before it does. I like these fallen down ones, they are cool. Moist. <laughs> what, the sacrifice of people is very cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant, Pascarable, you troll. Fuck yeah. How far we've progressed is the cool bit. I sacrifice you good. <laughs> Hearings. There's nothing I can do. A total eclipse of the heart. Lots of people have been going on about that song today, haven't they? Bonnie Tyler. She's probably like top of the fucking... I was going to say billboards, but you know what I mean. She's probably top of fucking stream charts today. Top of the pops, yeah. Did you know the moon is never eclipsed by the sun? That would be kind of tricky, wouldn't it? The sun would have to get mighty close. Like, really mightily close. Like, like so close that perhaps it might burn your face off. You remember that bit in uh, Apollo 13 where uh, Ed Harris is drawing on a blackboard and there's a little line where they've got to get them back from the moon. Imagine if the sun was halfway along that line. <laughs> I think it would be a slight problem. Houston and everywhere else would have a problem for sure. I'm halfway through re-watching. I've seen it loads of times, I guess, but I, I started watching Apollo 13 when I was bored the other week. I've been watching little bits. I watched a little bit last night as well. How the fuck am I meant to get to this place? Do I swim? A little bit worried about temperature if I swim. It's a long way. I can see some of it over there. I'm going to swim it. I think I've got to get the plus symbol before I do. I understand there are boats, but where the fuck are the boats, you know? Like, where am I going to find one? I could, I could look around for ages and not find one. One of my favourite quotes from any movie is in Apollo 13. 
Someone is saying that it will be the worst disaster in the history of NASA, and his response is, I believe it will be our finest hour. I don't know what my favourite quotes are from a film. I really like Apollo 13. I remember it being a big, big deal back in the day. Uh... Johnson & Johnson would make a fortune selling factor 25 trillion sunscreen. Buy shares now. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. <laughs> Head T-ball. They're probably already prepping that as it is. They're probably already prepping that cash cow. I'm going to run out of knoifs. That's not good. I need to stop wasting my knife. Well, let's go and get some sticks. Can I have some sticks now? Yes. Aerosmith song. Uh, the Aerosmith song's not Apollo 13. That's the... Uh, that's the drilling, drilling for asteroids film. Armageddon out of here. Armageddon is definitely not better than Apollo 13. I agree with that. Apollo 13, Armageddon is kind of a fun film, but they're not even like similar. You know, I guess they're both in space, but one's completely bullshit made up fantasy and the other is actually something what happened <laughs> wasn't Armageddon about nu nu nuking a meteor but yeah they had to drill in it though that was the thing that makes that so sorry guys spoilers for the film Armageddon that came out about 25 fucking years ago but anyway uh, yeah, Armageddon. That it's the film where it's completely plausible of a plot line that it's easier to teach drillers to be astronauts than it is to treat, teach astronauts to be drillers. That's the case, right? Clearly, uh, drilling a hole in the ground is more complex than going to space. Everybody knows it. Uh, Hoff, thank you for the 14 months. Uh, Lady, thank you very much too. I prefer Deep Impact. They came out about the same year. I, I really quite like Deep Impact. It's probably not that great now, but I, I liked the... Uh, it it kind of covered a little bit of the elements of accepting the fact that you're just not going to make it, you know, like... There's a scene, again, spoilers, there's a scene with Tia Leone where she decides to stay... And then she's on the beach with her dad. But she's chosen that for some, like, brave reason. But it just it explores a little bit more Deep Impact. I kind of liked it. I downloaded the wrong copy of Deep Impact. I don't think it had a deep impact on me, Tail Rush, no, but I did definitely prefer it. Morgan Freeman as the president. It's I just found it more interesting. It more so than Armageddon is mainly about the drillers and prepping and like how cool they are and how Bruce Willis is a bit unhinged because Ben Affleck is ben in, banging his daughter and whatnot, you know. It it's a little bit like stereotypical, like typical action flick from the same people that made all the action films ever. Whereas Deep Impact is a little bit more about the prepping and how they would decide who gets to live and they've got mines underground and how they get there and the people that get to go in them and then they struggle to get to that. It's just a bit more... It, it's it's a bit, bit better. Yeah, it's sad about Bruce Willis, Jambon. Very, very sad. Jules, I think that's the point I was just making. <laughs> I 
Right, there we go. Plus symbol up. I'm not looking for a boat, I'm swimming. Tears of the Sun. I lent that to someone on Boo-Ray and they never gave it me back. Partly because I changed stores and then didn't see them again. I was it they worked I worked in Comet. And they worked in Comet. And I lent them Tears of the Sun and I never got it back. Thank you very much for the 14. Lady, Head T Ball, Regan, Kryptonic, JJ Fernandez, Scottish Turbo. Thank you for the support. Uh, did I work in Rumbelows before that? No, I was too young for Rumbelows. Comet didn't go bust that long ago. It wasn't that long the ago. NY map should make you sick if you swim uh, in the river. Maybe 12, 13 years ago, something like that. But it wasn't my last job. <laughs> uh, Regan, thank you very much for you make you sick if you swim in the river. Well, this is the sea. I think. It's the, it's the river, isn't it? It's the sea in this map, but it's the river I... This would be the Hudson, I guess, wouldn't it? Right, I need to, uh, I need to go for a piss. I'm going to swim. Swim. Getting tea. Watch out for Sully landing on my head. That film was a bit disappointing. The best bit was at the beginning and then it was a bit shit thereafter. Uh, Chris, thank you very much. Davda, thank you very much. I was on Auto Swim, yeah. I was. Uh, Bobo Prime, thank you for the 16. So I could have a piss and get a water. Though. No tea making.
I actually watch Flight on a plane. <laughs> Rather strangely, I, I, I watch Flight on a plane. There was a single shot. Oh, fuck. It's not very deep, is it, this river? It's a heli. I just feel like I could practically run it. If I had stilts, we'd be there by now. Uh, Stian, thank you very much uh, for the support, dude. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for the super chat. Did you know that Billy Joel wrote the lyrics to New York State of Mind whilst driving alongside this river? Now, I'm pretty sure it was Uptown Girl. Or that other one that goes, we didn't start the fire. That's that one. I like that one. That might be New York State of Mind for all I know, because I'm not familiar with New York State of Mind very much. I'm pretty sure he wrote, he wrote New York State of Mind for the Duke of York. There is a heli crash. Oh shit, Sherlock. I also have eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist it. Adventure of life. Fucking hell, you're literally four messages apart. Last I heard, Lady was a blow-up doll. <laughs> she, won't, she hasn't got ears, dude. <laughs> uh, hello, Adventures of Life and Lady. But yeah, like, like, just chill out, you know, like literally one message and then three messages later, the same message. Ears are overrated. This is fucking insane how loud the swimming is. There's no earplugs on this server. I tried pressing the... Uh... I know you're talking about the blow-up doll, by the way, but... Uh, nonetheless, ears are overrated. I'm going fucking deaf because of the swimming. I thought uh, McAllister's goal the other day for Liverpool was a cracker as well. Uh, not not in yesterday's game, but the game before. Thursday, was it? That was a cracking goal. Is there a city named York in England? Yes, Major Pain, yeah. It's a very old city as well, so it's quite a historic town. It's up north, but it's beautiful, actually. It's really lovely. What am I doing? Uh... I'm fishing. Please get to land, I can't swim. Hmm. Well, I hope you're good at respawning and fighting zombies, otherwise you're going to have more trouble soon. And I can swim, but I wouldn't fancy swimming across that. Just going to get in the shed.
I think York was named after New York. That sounds true. <laughs> Carnage, thanks for the 12 months. Cheers for the resub. This takes needlessly long now, doesn't it? Stupid. You think the Hudson's just full of bad swimmers? Is that a, is that a like, code name for the feces? Now, I'm not in any way suggesting that New York, New York is th filthy and the sewers are terrible. But uh, pretty much every river near a major city has got feces in it, right? So it's Please fine. Get to land. Certainly the Thames swim. has. Just ask the, uh, just ask the rowers from the other day. Lazy Pilgrim. I, I like New York. I would happily go again. I know it's getting some bad press right now based on the amount of people that are mithering about New York and the state of it, but I guess that's always the case. I'd quite happily go to New York again, but the sewers aren't great in New York. They're worse than York London. Let's put it that way. The chocolate bar, L -U -L. Like, if it's a fairly hot day and there's been a few people having shits not in, around the place, it, it's, it don't smell... It's a bit like... Uh, the only other place that ever felt similar was Magaluf. Sewers aren't very good there either. but I thought I'd uh, there's definitely a bear over here I've heard it several times oh, shit. how do I get up there then Trying to be clever. Shit, this is not clever, this is just stupid. That's one way of dealing with them. Hopefully they get stuck in there. Some kind of modded mag. This gives me hope. Oh, baby. I can't handle a VSS. Could use it for killing zomboids, though. Oh, that fucking sucks. I'm going to die. Like M65. Book it.
I, don't, I doubt we'll get much in here. That's kind of cool though. The uh, the change of clothes helps changing the gloves and the and the jacket and the trousers. That means now I'm dry again, which is good. Mostly dry. Sounded like that zombie aggroed. Yeah, I guess I could probably reload. Now I've cleared several corners without having a gun, a bullet in the chamber. I'm not used to that. It's, it's quite rare that that happens, that you, you find a mag with a full... When you find a gun with a full mag like that, it's usually dropped, so I've not even been checking the chamber. But on this, they seem to spawn with full mags, and I'm just not used to it. So somehow, like, my daisy uh, noggin is telling me that the gunner's got a bullet in it. So where was the single shot from? Can I jump that? I don't think so. what's the deal here. I don't know if it's just loot or if there's other shit. Like, I don't know. If, I, I thought there'd be more military here, to be honest. There probably is, but where it is, I don't know. And the bear is to my right. I heard the fucker. I bet down here is where all the Militrix is, right? There's going to be military down here, surely. So this is Governor's Island, eh? There's a well in that big building there. I could kind of do with that. Well, it's not. It's just on the edge of that, that red industrial, I think. Yeah, Mark, I'm not. I'm not going to go. Apparently, you need a gas suit to go. Gas suit, sorry, to go to uh, the Statue of Liberty Island. I'm not going to bother with that. Filler, filler. How many players on the server? It's full, dude, but I've swam to an island where there's less players. Well, it presume it feels like there's less players anyway. I could have took that bag. My bag is wet, but CEO, well, that, that was me that was saying that. That's where I got all my guns. <laughs> I got all of my guns from Chinatown. I've got decent loot. I've got an M4 and an AK-74 and a Savannah. I'm, I kind of came here because I've never been here. You know, I was hoping to see what would be here. Maybe some military loot or whatever. Oh, soggy bag.
you who. Uh, Angar, thanks for coming in. Cheers for the support. Killan, Killanis, Killanis. Cheers for the for the resub as well. Tongue punch, thank you very much too. Uh, easily amused. Uh, please go to land. I can't swim, dude. Thank you. I hope you're well. Was this the one? Was this the man? Ruined the buffet. Concrete jungle. Wet dream. Tomato. Oh, next one, I think. Uh, ATMBO, thank you very much for the support, dude. Oh, I'm confused. It was that one there, or that one there, I think. I was in this run, wasn't I? I think it's up here. So we are here. Let's just go down this way for now. Stay on the coast. Go down the edge. No idea what we're going to find. Probably a big bag of shit, but we'll see. Oh. I keep doing that. Shut a VSS right about now. My knife is going to ruin very, very soon. Use VSS for killing infected. Well, I left it behind because I needed to fill up at the well and then I've never come back. So I, d I just haven't got the space. Like, I'm carrying stupidly large amounts of loot as it is. I ain't got the space for another gun. I'm not far away from having enough bullets to feel like I can drop something. Like, the SKS I could probably drop. I can win a firefight easy enough without... Well, or die. <laughs> one or the other. But I probably don't need the SKS. That doesn't mean I'm going to drop it, though. This is me we're talking about, right? M uh, yeah, I know, I can shoot the M4. I don't have hundreds of bullets, though. Anybody that saw my last run on, on this map, wasting the bullets on zombies might feel like a shame. It's it's a bit different on this particular patch, though. It is, it's different. Like, It's a lot harder for people that you kill to run back to where you are, so you don't have to kill the same player, like, multiple times. Which, whilst that lightens the, uh, the action some, it probably makes a lot of sense, because it was crazily... Like, I killed the same player four or five times a few times, I believe. Adeline, I didn't even check this time, but I checked in a previous building. It couldn't be opened. Nice. Keep that one until it's ruined. But that's good. Savannah with a scope. Sorry, not Savannah. Uh, CR527 with a scope. It does seem... Uh, Relatively low on on loot. Smoke and gun. 
from that one of the ones I just went in. Crossbone. You'd think some stuff would spawn on those. They're a bit like the ones at the uh, airfield. On Chernerus. Yeah, it doesn't open. It would be great if it did, wouldn't it? Too much loot in this server? I'm not sure I agree, dude. It's, it was quite hard in the beginning to get a start. It was actually crazily hard. But it's a PvP map, you know, like, it, it's a PvP map for sure. Oh, there's an upstairs. I didn't check the upstairs before. Not having enough loot on a very small PvP map would be kind of dumb, I think. Can't get those flavour. They're not even properly drawn. Yeah, the guns on the wall, no no good. No Life Turkin, thank you for the prime. Uh, Sabre, thank you very much. Cannon fodder, cheers. Uh, Kieran uh, Winder, thank you too. there's any chance of any boat spawning here, but it would be nice to have a look. How long have I been playing DayZ in terms of years? Ten. And a bit. That's somebody shooting over on the other island, I think. I see you have all kinds of gun and guns and no stamina. Yep. Is there any other way? Uh, Ned, never played Taviana. I only very briefly played the mod, and I only really played the mod on Chernerus and Nemalsk, and that was it. basic. I don't think we're, we're going to find much loot in here by the, by the look of it. There's another door over there. Or is there? Clearly at some point that's going to be a thing, right? It must be. Can't climb it right now. Uh, Cunate, do I ever get sick of playing DayZ? Um, no. There's been times where the, the game has been really, really buggy and I've struggled a bit more, but... Very boring analogy, everyone else has heard it, but to me this is that, that question is like asking a radio DJ if they get fed up of playing music, you know, like... I, I'm not just playing DayZ. Streaming it makes it so much more fresh, it's so different. Like, playing DayZ is not the same as streaming DayZ to me, you know. Streaming is fun. I could probably have fun streaming without playing a game of any, of any sort, right? Unless I'm talking to Jambon about fucking Kobe Mano. Sorry, Jambon. <laughs> So I don't know if there's going to be any people here or not. I'm, I'm only really here looking for dudes right now. I don't think there's going to be any boats either. This is going to be frustrating because the swim back is going to irk me some. I might save the swim back for another day. If I, if I don't find any players here, I might give up and uh, do some battle royale or something. I'm going to spot dudes. Surely surely these are the kind of places to do it. 
I think I'm going to go for the, the blue one, that one. Village, yeah, it would be. I'm on the prowl for dudes would be a, uh, a decent t-shirt. The one problem is, a t-shirt that says I'm looking for dudes or I'm on the prowl for dudes, it would take a confident dude to wear that. Otherwise, people are going to start wondering, aren't they, you know, like... Saber, cheers for the gifted membership. Thank you. Wish we could play Liverpool every week. Death UK, you're right, because you really, you really, really did play truly amazingly well yesterday. <laughs> United really played out of their skin, I thought. Liverpool were shocking in, at finishing the chances, to be fair, but... This must be for decoration, I think, but I'll check it anyway. How can I not? It's definitely for decoration. I do. You're right, man. Yeah, I've been looking at the in-game map. You only get it if you've got a map, though. So if you drop your map, so... If you tap M, you get this. But if you don't have the map, you get no map found, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? I don't need the uh, canteen. I haven't been in one of these for ages. Booking ages, I ain't. There's military over there. That's where the gas landed, right? So I, there is military here, unless the gas is not is permanent. But I think that gas just landed. couple of military barracks there as well, look. Don't loot the military barracks for now. I don't think we need to do much else. Jack, I've not made it over to the Statue of Liberty one, no. Uh, apparently you need a, a full NBC suit for that as well, and I've not been carrying NBC shit, so I'm not going to be doing that today. Well, I hope this isn't premature. It probably is. But at the start of today, I had an, M an OBS update and an NVIDIA update. And since then, this is the smoothest my stream has been running for about six, eight weeks, something like that. I've had all sorts of problems lately. I don't think I want now. I'm just going to leave it. Because of OBS and, and NVIDIA updates. Maybe it won't last, but right now it feels good. So uh, long may that continue. That's good. Never update again. That's a decent idea. Thank you, Pinkster. I don't know what's going on, but uh, GG.
with the long grass, this this would be hell for for landmines. Yeah, I agree. Takes a bit of getting used to the the, the grass. I I feel a little bit weird, like I'm one of the borrowers or something. Honey, I shrunk the Daisy Avatar. military helmet. It's not very good loot, but it is military loot. It's good to know. Just noticed that my hat and my uh, my trousers are matching. I like that. I don't know why, but the... Oh, is that a restart? Yeah, it seems to be. The, the helmet, to me, looks a lot cooler than the trousers. Bet half the viewers wouldn't get the borrower's reference, reference. Of course they would. It's bang up to date, dude. <laughs> My girlfriend enjoys being sniffed. Yeah, of course she does. What a random comment. <sighs> I wish people would stop sniffing their pets. Here comes a can of worms. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a can of worms, but here's one. Now, I'm going to prefix this with, I'm not looking for any advice, so don't tell me to change my mind. <laughs> uh, Toby's having a six-month uh, a six month knackers away trial tomorrow, so he's having an implant that takes away his, uh, uh, his desires, let's say. He's having it tomorrow, the dog. <laughs> Cheers, tragic Mike. So we, no, we're not having him neutered, but you can do something that's like an implant. A little bit like you can get them to make you like a contraceptive. You can have an implant. It's a bit like that, but it does the same thing. It simulates the nadgers off without taking the nab nadgers off. Uh, and it, I think it's about 180 pounds, and it only lasts six months. But we're doing it this way first. He's two. He, this is actually really a poor bastard, right? His birthday is in six days' time, and for his second birthday, he's getting he's getting he's getting something that will stop him wanting to fuck anything that moves. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he, he's having that tomorrow, and uh, we're doing it this way purely so that we can see what it does to him without it being permanent. And then if it works and he he, he kind of takes to it well, then he'll probably have the natchez off at some point in the next six months. I've had one of those implants. It's called marriage. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I, I, there, there's, there is a like a brand name for it. I can't remember the name. My missus booked the appointment. But is there a reason you want to keep the balls on? Typical. Well, it's irreversible. So uh, there's no guarantee that if you neuter a dog, that will it will do anything to their behaviour. Or in some cases, it makes them more skittish. It can make. So there is a big advantage to doing it this way, in that it's not permanent, right? So sometimes when you get a dog uh, neutered, it can change their temperament for the better. In rare cases, it can change their temperament for the worse. In many cases, it does nothing, you know. <clears throat> Limpus Dickus 200, 200 mg. <laughs> Are they coming off if you don't notice a change? I doubt it, dude. Uh, it can take up to six weeks to have a full effect, so we're not going to see it, certainly this week anyway, but 
I, I doubt his nudges will come off if there's no difference. Right, the server's open, but I just got the uh, bug not being able to get in. Not planning on breeding him, Gizmo, no. In fact, he's uh, it's, it's a condition of the dog, but he's from a bloodline where it's a, breed, a breeder that breeds for crufts. So some people are going to hear this and start mithering. him. But if we want to breed our dog, we have to ask permission of the breeder before we do it. It's in the contract from buying the dog. Uh, not that we do want to breed him anyway. You know, the Welsh Springers are quite rare. But one of the reasons why you, with rare breeds, you get that kind of stipulation sometimes because there aren't many. He could end up fucking his sister or his half sister or something. There, there's not many, so you, if you're going to breed them, you have to be really knowing what you're doing, unless you're going to breed them with some other dog that's not a, a pure breed, obviously. Yeah, no, no, no Lannister stuff. Love your face. Is Daisy the only game you've played on stream? No, Otter. No, it's not. I play, I've done a few sponsored things here and there. Uh, I did Scum when it first came out. I was a PUBG partnered streamer. I've done four or five hundred hours of Tarkov. Same for PUBG. I keep getting this. This sucks. It won't. It will stop doing it the second there's a queue. That seems to be the meta. Uh, I've streamed some other games. Like last year, I streamed through The Last of Us uh, remake. Uh, Ryan, I don't really have a favourite. If I had to only play one forever, I'd probably pick Chernerus, but it's not my favourite today. Is it Paul or Dave? Yes. In in game, it's normally Dave. In real life, it's normally Paul or Fat Bastard. Uh, Brian, thank you very much for the gifted membership. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Zazu, thank you for the 20 months. 2TZ, Hulligan, thank you. Isn't that weird? Second, there's a queue. I no longer get the bug. Why is it inbred? Jules, no, it's not inbred. No, that's the... But uh, with the, with pedigree dogs, you get like a breeding or an inbreeding rating, and ours is very, very low. But the guy that breeds these dogs, uh, our dog is from a breeder called Ferndale. He's been breeding them for 30 or 40 years. Like, my, my missus had a Welsh Springer Spaniel when she was... Uh, well, it was it died about 20 years ago. And that Welsh Springer Spaniel is like Toby's great, 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 great uh, godmother or you know, not godmother, grandmother, sorry. There's quite a lot of the dogs from this bloodline. So you, you wouldn't just go and breed it with a random Welsh Springer. It would be too risky. Godmother, fuck it out. Uh, grandmother. So, uh, yeah, anyway, the, and that wasn't planned, by the way. We didn't know that at the time, but we uh, she went and looked back at she went and looked back. They still had the breeding record, and and it was it was directly related to Toby. So uh, he actually got he got the breeder got uh, a semen. Uh, it was artificial insemination for the for the mum of Toby, with a dog that was from America to to make sure that it was keeping the bloodlines better. You know. Uh, do I have the answers preloaded on a soundboard? No, I do not. I always answer originally. <laughs> That's what I just said, Substatica. I have to ask permission. And I, I, we, we've, uh, for the first time, actually, my missus watch, cr watches Crufts on the telly normally, but they had, they featured Welsh Springers on the, on the, uh, rare breeds, like the declining breed section. So they have like a section specifically about breeds that are not as popular. It might be a few reasons. They're a bit rarer. They're not as sought after. They're not as popular, whatever it might be, you know, but, uh, there's, there's something like 250 born a year. So you need to be careful what you breed them with, otherwise they might be really, really, you might be really fucking them up. It's always the last Sunday of the month, Max. So it's something like the, 
This is a guess, guess, but I think it might be about the 28th, something like that. 26th to 28th. I think it's the 28th. Sabre, I've been asked that a couple of times. Mo Salah's not playing well full stop at the moment, dude. Not just yesterday. He's not very sharp at the moment. He, he's just not, he's not quite his usual self. It's not the first time this has happened towards the end of a season. I've seen it before. I'm sure there's been seasons in the past where he's tailor, tailed off a little bit towards the end of a season. But this time I think there's lots and lots of reasons, you know, going to the African Cup of Nations, getting injured and everything that goes with that. I don't think his head is in Saudi at all. I don't think that's the case. I really don't. I think he's I think he's not come back from the injury yet. He got a bad injury and they, they brought him back a tiny bit early. Then he had to have another break. I think he's not been right since the injury. It happens with any player. Even somebody like him it can happen with. But they... They sometimes get back, but they're not, they're not match fit. You know, they they get fit running, but they're not fit match fit. And he, he just doesn't seem sharp like he was. I think it will come back. Whether it comes back before the end of the season or not, that's the tricky thing. Actually got any food? I haven't, have I? Oh, there was plenty of houses around here. I can probably, uh, I could probably go to those houses and find some food anyway. How about some tack back? Am I liking the New York map? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. I enjoyed it when I played it before. I'm enjoying it today. It was really tricky to get started, so I don't know if it's always the case. I think it is, but you start on Brooklyn, and it's a fucker. There's no loot, and it's tricky to get off Brooklyn Island, get onto the mainland. It's a real tricky start. I ended up dying. I died to a shot, but I was struggling like hell. Uh... But after that, I, met, I found a dead body, cut them up and fished, and then ran in. This stream is brought to you by the letter T and the word tricky. Sponsored by Banning Pascarable. Cheers to six months. Hope you're having a great day, TRMZ love. I think I've got a couple of fish in the pot, actually. I think I have. I think that's true. Got a couple of rotten fish in the pot. Which I believe I could eat. Even though they're rotten and they're fish. I don't see the point. I don't think we're going to get to loot all of this one. We're kind of right on the edge of the gas. Am I hearing zombies aggro? No, I don't think so. The gas normally lasts for half an hour, but we heard it land. It shouldn't be too much longer. So it looks like I'm in it at the moment, but this is like right, right, right on the edge. I'm playing with fire, basically.
this rain sucks ass. Crazy, there's been no loot for ages and now we've suddenly hit a little little pocket of something worth having. New York concrete jungle where dreams are made of so keep on running. I've had that song in my head a little bit today because of that that's the second time, but it uh, not many songs get stuck in my knocking, but that one, a couple of times now it has. I think the reason I'm hearing zombies aggro is purely because Happy they sound home. different. So I can't go to where that is. We might as well go this way, see if we can find some more food. I do love a surprise little pocket of something worth having, like finding a lone humbug in the pocket of a coat. A head tea ball. My, my uh, youngest had that exact moment. Uh, we went out for a walk and we, we, we last week we went out to walk the dog and we... Uh, we went in the car and she I, she has a raincoat that stays here that she only wears when she's here. She hadn't worn it for about six weeks, right? And she put it on to walk the dog, put her hands in her pockets and found a lollipop, like a chupa chup in her, in her pocket that she'd got. We'd, we'd gone to this little cafe where the kids get like a little chupa chup on the way out from the till. So she put her hand in, came out, she was like gleeful, like properly gleeful. I says to her, if you could have the choice between finding a fiver or finding that lolly right now, which would you prefer? She was like, lolly. Definitely the lolly. <laughs> she was right happy she was. put my boot on and got a scorpion sting once yeah I don't think that's quite the same I, I think that, <laughs> that's that's not quite the same joyous moment there is something beautiful about putting on a coat that you haven't worn since winter and then finding a tenner in the inside pocket or something though every now and then something like that happens and it's a thing of absolute magic right Right, the houses were this way, we'd better go to the regular houses. These are just not worth looting, are they? Fucking hell. Honestly didn't think that shot had hit in a million years.
So I was doing that for food. It didn't work out so well, did it? There are some animals, Kiwi. Yeah, we, we heard some deer and some wolves on the mainland. I've not heard any on this, though. I meant to take that last time and they never did. I've definitely already looted this house. There is a there was a bear on this island before that you're right, there was. There was a bear on this island. The way we're going now, but that was before the restart. Yeah, that, it would be pretty useful to kill one of those, wouldn't it? pretty grim. Was the lot? Well, it was before I came to this island, PC. There's loads of people on the mainland, kind of all shooting at each other. But I came here to see what's what. I've been fucking dead on this island. You know it's pretty dead when you when I'm running around uh, shooting zombies with an SKS. Now, to be fair, apparently when I was swimming over there was possibly a shot, but I ain't seen anyone, Loving not heard dream. anything. Keep on running. They seem to like spawning SK rounds on this, don't they? Hey, the back one, that's kind of cool. It's got slightly more serious now. Fuck. How cool did that sound? There, there doesn't seem to be a single can of food on a zombie anywhere, ever. I can't... Oh, yes. I, I was just going to say, I can't keep, afford to keep affording to lose health to these Zeds like this, but I haven't got the fucking stamina or the uh, patience to do anything other than shoot them at the moment. Fuck anything else. The SKS sounds amazing. Uh, Zanzan, thanks for the five months. Hope you're well.
Hi, Bazaar Kadood. Hope you're good. Uh, stay safe, man. That's where This is where I was before. That's my old backpack. I don't think they should silence the SKS. I think they should make the other guns louder. <laughs> I think they are going to be changing the sounds of other guns, I believe, but it is ridiculously loud when compared to the other guns right now, for sure. It sounds like beefier than a DMR, pretty much, when you fire it, which is crazy. TRMZG Heart. What's the objective? We're just exploring New York, dude. There's not always much more of an objective from that. We're on an island I had to swim to that I've never been to before. I uh, kind of wish I hadn't come. <laughs> it's a bit quiet and uh, now I'm, scr I'm sort of ratting around looking for food, basically. Finding food. That's good. That really helps. Darnell, you need a you need an NBC suit to go to the Statue of Liberty, so I cannot go. What's my favourite moment on Daisy? I don't know, PC Medic, I've no idea that there's a lot that, that were really high up, stuff like Crazy Chris and all sorts of stuff, but uh, it's really hard to know what your favourite moment is after 10 years, you know? <laughs> like, there's been quite a lot of cool moments in that time. Some might say, what's the difference? But it, like, I tried to fire just a touch before it had finished doing the reload animation. And so it wouldn't shoot. No fancy some chicken, no. I want to go back to where the gas was. I'm, I'm kind of done looting for now, I think. Camo building up ahead, that might be around where the gas was. It looks like it might have kind of gone, maybe. Where are the guys every 10 feet trying to sell you a mixtape? Oh my god. The ones that put it in your hand and then won't take no for an answer. Or try to. I, I, no, I Thankfully, I've, I've, uh, I've learnt the error of my ways from, from uh, the trip to Rome once before, so I, I haven't been collared by those. Or certainly not forced into buying anything anyway. The gas is still there, we're just further up. Ever seen any good buskers? That my favourite one was one that was dressed in a full Deadpool outfit on the tube. I can't remember what he was doing now, but he just looked good. He looked it properly. He'd spent a lot of money on that Deadpool costume, and it looked good. It looked like properly Deadpool. I, I can't remember if he was. I think he was keyboards, but it was like Deadpool playing the keyboards, and it really looked like Deadpool. Not just like some knockoff. It looked like Deadpool.
I could be wrong. This 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 may well be wrong, but uh, I I feel like I work. Well, I walked past Blur in Colchester, uh, busking before they released like albums and things. I could be wrong, but uh, they seemed good, and they were there was a right rough roughly. I'm pretty sure there were three or four of them, and it, I I don't know. In hind like looking back, I felt like it was them, but. Like, I'd seen them, and then they got famous a few years later, kind of thing. Am I planning any trip in the following months? The only one that is coming up soon is uh, Prague in May. Uh, a few of us Daisy dudes and dudettes are going to to Prague to to do some stuff with the devs, and, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. That's early May, like May the first, for about four or five days. This is possibly a uh, a harsh thing, but I don't think it's I don't think it's very easy to remember a good busker. You remember the bad ones. You remember the bad ones because like you'll you'll be like having a meal and there's a bad busker outside and it ruins your your meal. The, it's it's harsh, but it's probably true. Three D scan for a Daisy character model? No, there ain't enough three D. <laughs> there ain't enough three D, dude. Don't worry, that's not happening. I don't know who Ali Sherlock is, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. They may be amazing. It is getting dark. I'll put the gamma up, but it won't make a lot of difference. It's going to be dark as shit, unfortunately. Uh, interesting question. So the question was, I see a lot of Anglophiles in some circles in America. Is there a similar foreigner fascination in the UK? EJ Francophiles or Germanophiles? I want to say, yes, there probably is, but it would be very niche. But part of me just wants to go, like, the obvious route and say, no, we're miserable island bastards and we hate everybody equally. I don't hate anyone. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, I, I, I feel like there there is a little bit of an island mentality sometimes, for sure. There's quite a lot of loot on this. I don't. I don't know. I. I it's hard to say because you can only really say for yourself, you know. Like unless you know, unless you've got people that you know that are in some kind of like we heart America gang or something. For me personally, I, I don't dislike or like anyone based on where they're from. I, I judge them from how they are. And I think Daisy has certainly taught me that quite a lot over the years. You know, like, you, you can meet friendly people from anywhere, and you can meet absolute knobbers from anywhere. Because people are people, and some are good and some are bad, you know, and that's just the way it is.
up with some kind of desync, uh, quiet, like stealth attack. Guys, I think I'm going to get somewhere outside of here and call it a day for New York for today. Because what well, it is dark and it's going to be dark for half an hour and I can't be fucked. But it does mean that we've got a character on New York to carry on another day, possibly tomorrow. It's noobing up Battle Royale time, that's what it is. I, I'll be terrible at Battle Royale. Mind you, I did an entire stream of Battle Royale the other week, and uh, it's the last Tuesday, and I didn't win a single round, so it can't go any worse, can it really? Escape from New York, exactly. Alright, I'm just getting in the Discord. Very good timing. Take I've just, I've just worked it out, Redline. But yeah, Sorry, it looks like one of the. Uh, you sent YouTube to watch you smiley face, Mega Shack A T T A K. Uh, it looks like one of the solo servers has just opened. Hopefully, I get lucky and get in it. I might not. It might be late. Uh, Mega Shack Attack. Do, 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 do. Thank you very much for the 23 months. Bad trait, Zan Zan. Thank you very much too. Right, this is a tricky thing. If you're on, uh, if you're on YouTube, if someone's going to change the title on YouTube, could you please, if possible, change it to uh, Daisy Survival finishing up with Battle Royale or something like that? Purely so that tomorrow I don't wake up to three messages or four messages or a fucking fifty messages going, "Why does it say Battle Royale, but then you did six hours of New York?" Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> please. <go> <laughs> Can the title be something like Daisy Survival followed by a little bit of Battle Royale at the end or something like that? So I don't get the, the whingers while I'm asleep going, this isn't, why, why isn't it Battle Royale? <laughs> hey Paul, keep on running dude TRMZLUV. Apple, I don't understand. This is bull pull and you know it. What's bull? Please, uh, please help me to understand. Do you all remember H1Z1? I do. It was going to be a survival game based on the entirety of uh, the whole of America. I see, Papa. Not filling up very quick, is it? Sake. I might have changed my name in the game, but I've not. It would save it on here anyway. H1Z1 was ambitious. It, it, I, it was hilarious. I can't remember the name of the dude, but when H1Z1 was just coming out, there was this guy that really wasn't a game developer that was in charge. It was when it was under Sony, I think. And uh, he, uh, he, they had this stream and he was doing a lot of the talking. And there was devs in the background kind of like crying, you know, like, like because he, he was like on stream talking to the fans of the game going, yeah, we're going to make like a real world version the size of America. And you could play the game already. And it wasn't based on America. The map you played was already out and it was small. 
it wasn't real. <laughs> there was no America in it whatsoever. And he's there going, yeah, we're going to make a map the size of the United States of America and this, that. It, it was fucking hilarious. Like, the devs, the devs, like, in the background were like, 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 cut to commercial. <laughs> shut him up. Could someone shut him up? <laughs> Top three TV shows. Uh, Bargain Hunt. Uh... More, uh, re uh, uh, Mortimer and White House gone fishing. Uh, I don't know. I don't like Homes Under the Hammer. I don't like that one where the dude from North Wales, he's not from North Wales, the Baldy fella goes around ripping people off, selling, buying things for, for shit money. Storage Wars. I like the Storage Wars UK. Yeah, Storage... The, the UK version of Storage Wars. Mine! <laughs> fucking awful! <laughs> Mine! <laughs> that is a hell of a show. <laughs> 60 year old man shows. Pure darkness, I know, but Bargain Hunt invariably is the thing I can watch on the telly. So a lot of the time I start streaming between 1 and 2 o'clock, right? R roughly, sometimes. So what, what I tend to... I go out for a walk. I go out, I, In the morning I get up. I, I do a bit on the PC. I go out for a walk, maybe for two hours. I get home, have a shower, I have some lunch, and the telly's on, and the only thing that's on really around then is about Bargain Hunt, and they normally go and stream afterwards. So Bargain Hunt, I tend to be watching maybe two or three times a week, just because it's on. I quite like Bargain Hunt, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it's kind of all right. It's, it's not just for old people. A lot of students watch Bargain Hunt. Everyone knows that. How ready am I for Severance Season 2? Redline, it, what concerns me... So many. I am perfecting my sarcastic cynicism directed at the fetid detritus that is humanity, whilst Redline is developing his gambling exposure reduction program <laughs> using inane predictions and imaginary currency. Yeah, it's a service, best. you're right. It's a service, learning how to lose it, fake points so you don't lose your real money. Ed T. Ball, Phil, thank you very much. Uh, Drake, thank you. Redline, thank you for the gifted sub to Red Hunter Mega. Bad Trick, Zan, thank you. <clears throat> the Golden Gabel, I do. I, I, I actually would like to get a Golden Gabel, although I say gavel on purpose. Yeah, Golden Gabel. You've said it already, Wendy. You must know I've said that in, in the past. But yeah, I say Golden Gabel instead of gavel. Uh, I fully want to go on uh, uh, that show, Fuck Me Bargain Hunt, and call it a Golden gav Gabel the whole way through. What am I worried about? I'm not worried. Oh, yeah, sorry. What am I worried about with the... With anything now? Like, I was just talking about Bargain Hunt, and I, for a, for a split second, struggled to remember the name of the show. <laughs> My memory is fucked, right? If I don't if I don't binge it, by the time it gets to the point that Severance Season 2 comes out, I won't fucking remember it. You know, I, I, I just... It's probably not entirely true, but I don't remember shit very well, clearly. Like, I enjoyed Severance, it was great, and I remember how it ended, and I know what it was about now. But give it another six months. Give it another six months, I'm going to struggle. Yeah, and eat a gambling is pretty serious. I I was a uh, addicted gambler, so yeah, I can I can relate. You know, you're old when you need a notepad to, to keep up with a show. Well, I'm not bad with that, but the whole weekly thing, I like what I'm just not used to it anymore. We're we're of a generation now, or maybe I've been programmed that way where I need it now. I I can't remember watching Shogun. I have to really fucking rack my brain, and it's good that they often do the little catch-up as well, but watching shows weekly is not so easy anymore, you know? Not like, like... Because usually I'm, like, at the moment, my missus is watching Downton fucking Abbey, and I'm seeing the odd episode of that. We're both watching, uh... We're both watching Peaky Blinders. I'm watching Silo. Uh, we started watching that... Ripley the other week, a few days ago. And I've kind of started watching them, and then I stop, and then I come back, and I, I've seen about five or six episodes of Silo, and I've stopped for now. If I don't, if I wait too long, I'm gonna fucking forget it.
I don't. I don't agree, Redline. I want to binge it. I, binging is what it's all about. I love binging it. I. I, I want to binge. I don't want to watch Shogun once a week. I want to watch it all. And of course, I could just wait, but I'm not that. Im I'm too impatient. Has Paul ever smoked the devil's lettuce? No. I'm t I'm too much of a goody two shoes for anything like that. They're all going away from it. Eh. Maybe red line. The ones that are going away from it are the ones that are really thin. Like they're, they're going away from it because they've got nothing to offer. So Disney do weekly releases because they've got fuck all else. And the same with Apple. They've got fuck all else. They have to do weekly Masters of the Air because there's nothing fucking else to come. They've got to spread it out because they've got like one show this month. Like, that's why, to me, so far, Netflix has not gone that way as much, because they are struggling now. They've got a dearth of content as well, but the the, uh, the weekly thing, stretching it out, is making their stuff more appealing. Disney have done it since the start, haven't they, you know? The guy, the, the gentleman on Netflix was okay. I quite, I didn't mind it. I did, I did quite like it. I was a bit unsure at first. I struggled with the male lead character. I, uh... I think I was struggling with him because of the the in between as film he's in. I was seeing him as the like the the posh uh, the posh student, and I couldn't get my head around it somehow. But nonetheless, I I got there. Uh, the gentleman was okay, but it, that's about it. It's kind of alright. Ripley is not alien. No, it's not. It, you, it would be better if it was, I guess. No, it's not. It's uh, it's based on uh, it's based on uh, a story like the talented Mr. Ripley. It's it's not it's not about aliens. I know where we are at least. Soznovka. Appreciate it. Probably told me on the map, but I didn't see that. He he was only he was in the Inbetweeners movie. Uh, he was in the the second one where they've got like the. He was one of the. He was the real smarmy dude that was like a like posh dude that they all hated, but he was like very popular with the other people. But he was like real smarmy bastard. far outside of the play zone am I? I'm so not... Oh, we're just on the edge. I'm so not used to this. Of course, a bit of movement behind the fence then. <laughs> Fuck me, I did. It wasn't at me. I'm sure I saw movement and, I, and there we have the proof. I definitely saw movement. God, I shit a brick then. I would like a... I would like a... a mark, not a mask. I'd like a... Fuck me. A vest. A vest would be really helpful right about now. No vest makes me uh, worry a little. Oh my god, he'd seen me. I, I can't believe it. I think those earlier shots were actually at me, which is crazy. They seemed like there was nowhere near me. There was no bullet spray, so I didn't think they were at me. That sucks. I, I couldn't do anything. I saw him, but I was switching guns, so there's nothing I could do. I, was, I couldn't shoot. I couldn't shoot at all.
I actually didn't think he'd seen me. I, I genuinely thought he was shooting at somebody else. Like, clearly he wasn't. He was just shooting so bad that he wasn't shooting at me. He certainly didn't shoot bad when he was a bit nearer, though, did he? You know, he shot pretty well then. Zazu, I'm sure I've seen that name before. Maybe he's killed me before, maybe he hasn't, I don't know. Death, I think he was running down for me, to be honest, but maybe you're right. Might might be completely irrela 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 not related, but shit happens. It sucks, though, because that server's the one I kind of want to be on, you know? Now, now we've got to wait ages. Uh, oh no, hang on, maybe not. NTR, no, I died. I should probably do that, though. Right, I think we might be in one. Uh, I think uh, the server is currently locked. I just missed a fucking modded... I just missed a modded one by the look of it. It's saying solo modded. Oh no, it already closed. I'd missed it already. Hashtag nine is open. It's American. There won't be any fucker on there. It's not as many people playing Battle Royale today. Maybe the uh, maybe the attention has waned a little. Perhaps I don't know. It's not as uh, busy. It is a little bit later in the day, I suppose, but. Nine, nine, nine just opened Redline, but it's North America. No, it will, it will get next to no people in it, and then it will start with like nine or ten players. If it's, if I'm lucky, there's nobody in it now. It's been open ages. It's actually a minute. Lily, uh, I think mostly it's Europeans playing this more off, more than anything else. So there will be some Americans playing it, but if we're talking about the North American server, it never gets put full. It, it never gets full. It wasn't getting full last week. It's not because of the eclipse. It just it just doesn't get so full. There's there are so, there's quite a lot of people playing the game in America, but there's way more in Europe. It seems there's way more in Europe and in other part like people like going off towards even Asia. There seems to be way more than there are people playing it in America for some reason. This is not a solos. I honestly, I think it's a bit premature to be doing gambling at the moment. I, even even with points, I I think it's. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't even remember what I was doing. Thank you, Gareth. Cheers for coming in, dude. Appreciate it, man. Sorry, you got done by Nightbot, Super Fox, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. The undead won't catch you, will they? Probably. Man, that's annoying. This could take a while to start as well. Go there and talk to them. Say demoralizing stuff. Pierre, I, I, that's a really bad idea. They'll say something that'll get me shut. That'll get me shut down. They'll start playing music. Something weird will happen. It's not worth it, dude. I ain't going down there and listening to the music that gets me a uh, copyright strike or something. TK, and I had like one round, but it wasn't getting very popular when I the day I was trying to play. Nobody was going in the, that one.
I don't know if it's come up with a timing thing or anything yet, but... filled up pretty well. TKK, well thanks for coming in, dude. Have I found MVGs on the New York map? Not today, no. I don't remember if I had them on the last life or not. I don't think I did. Can't really remember. Is my name still the same? It's not. I don't know what my name is, but it's not it's not Ronnie the Spawn anymore, so that's good. He looks like he's wearing his PUBG jacket. bet very soon there'll be AI filters that will be able to, to uh, for streamers and vloggers just to filter out music. What I really want, Pierre, is, is AI uh, editing, but not like it is right now. Like Most AI editing is for shorts and it's relatively crap, I think. But I'd like AI to be able to take my 12-hour stream and turn it into a 20-minute highlights video. That would be amazing. If we can get a a AI uh, stream highlights, that would be very cool. Not saying I could do that every day, but on a good stream I could have AI make me a video. That would be cracking. Do I like reading Viz? Never really got into Viz, Monkey. No, I, my cousin used to read it, and I read a few, but it was never... I think when my cousin was reading it, he was a little bit older than me, and I was a bit younger, and it just wasn't for me. And then I moved down here, and I had no one older than me that would have it. And I, I, I guess I wasn't able to have it. I was maybe too young or missed the boat. I don't know. Cassius, yeah, I can't stand it. JX, I'm streaming on uh, JXC3. I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch, yeah. Come on, these rounds are slow, aren't they? Fucking hell. The game will automatically start in 90 seconds. Have I ever played the original Sniper Elite? Nope. No, I haven't. I uh, When I switched to PC gaming, it was just after DayZ Standalone came out. I switched to PC for DayZ. Before that, I'd mostly been playing Call of Duty and little bits of Battlefield before that, Resistance Fallen Man, but on console. And when I switched to DayZ, that was it. I've done mostly DayZ and the odd Battle Royale and, that's a, that, and Tarkov a little bit. But uh, most other games I've not really bothered with since. You know, Daisy's my favourite game of all time by a mile. Uh, and then when I started gaming for a living, which is coming up eight years in May, I uh, I kind of don't game so much in my spare time unless the kids are here or something and I might play on a Switch or whatever. But other than that, I don't really... Like, I, d I don't want a PC game in my spare time because it means sitting in here. <laughs> <laughs> and when I and when I'm done in here, I want to get out and go and do other shit, you know. But yeah, I uh, I know it, I know it was PS3, Sarah. But that, that's why I went on to qualify that it, I switched to this this platform specifically for Daisy. And before that, it was mostly it was mostly uh, COD for me. Starry Sobor. 
think I might do the tents just because there's probably going to be people down there. The tents won't have military loot, but they, they, I might be able to loot them. So this is a this is a trio server, which could cause me some problems. something I wasn't quite sure about, but now I know it's modded. I couldn't remember if I was in a modded one or a non-modded one. I got my hands back after I couldn't put them back in the right place on the uh, keyboard. Oh, I like that bag. That's cool. Only 60 slots, and it doesn't actually have a slot for a... Not worth it. It doesn't have a slot for a gun. That's pretty good. I've got to try and have a little look, see if I can find any evidence of players now. There, there should be other players here. I maybe don't want to be half up the hill, but... That's where I am, so... Is the Tundra loaded? Yeah, it is. That's good. There's usually a few players in Starry that end up rolling around this uh, supermarket fairly quickly. I'd like another box of 308, but we're actually pretty well kitted. I don't need that. Don't need the grocer either. You kind of have to get into the right mindset to play Battle Royale, and I definitely don't feel like I'm there at the moment. I don't think I'll be getting three kills, would be my guess. I think three kills are unlikely. Not that I'm lacking confidence or anything. <laughs> yeah, there's a Humvee back at the tents. I might, I might get in it. I did see someone. I thought I saw someone behind there. Behind Pink Roof going to the left. They're probably in the barn-shaped house at the moment. That house, sorry. That, not barn-shaped. Maybe not. I don't know where they've gone.
Possible they were running to catch up with a buddy, maybe. feel like that's what they were doing. They didn't go in this house either, I don't think. They just kind of ran past. Five hundred meters from safety. Yeah, they probably ran on, haven't they? That, that, that maybe they'll get in that truck. I didn't realize it was five hundred meters. To be honest, that's not good, is it? That's quite a long way. They're probably going to be getting in the truck, aren't they? They'll get in the Humvee, maybe. I hadn't really checked the distance whatsoever. I thought we were really close to the edge, but it was further than I thought. They probably haven't got in the truck because they'll have missed it. But that's why they've not looted anything. They've probably just gone on running. bit late if there is. Fucking kidding me. Oh, I fucked up that I'm really not at it today. You can tell I've been on all day. I, I pressed the wrong fucking button to aim down sight. Earlier I just uh chances of going near him are kind of gone now. So you only get third person whilst you're driving in this. I don't normally use it. But at the edge of town. Well, that feels good. Do I go down and loot them, or do I not? I think I probably shouldn't. 1,200 metres till the next zone. I'd like to get some more 308 bullets. I've only got four shots. The one that we saw running into town could still be uh, coming towards us.
I'd be very surprised if anybody else would be prepared to get into that Humvee, given there's a dead body in it. I guess if it's late and you've got no choice, then it's late and you've got no choice, I suppose. I think they'll go for that Humvee. I think they will. I'm going to wait. I'm struggling for time here, but I have got a car. this dude doing? How is he not looting them? Like, he must still be looting. How is he not just running through? Like, there's not much time left. If you haven't got a vehicle, you're in a lot of deep shit right now. There he is. Look. He's going to go for it, surely. Oh, I could I could have gone for that shot. That that was relatively easy while he was looking in the in the inventory. What? I don't believe it. Somebody else got in the car. I don't believe it. They may struggle, but they may still make it. The dude didn't play me like a fiddle, it was somebody else. So somebody else got in the car. An unknown third party got in the car. Yeah, they must have pulled the other body out. I definitely got the kill on the first one. No way I didn't, you know. Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> Fuck. I wasn't looking at what I was doing. I wasn't looking at the fucking screen. Oh, we're fucked now. <laughs> I wasn't looking at all. Oh, well. That's not good. That's really not good. This is a long way. I've got to go straight towards it and pray. I can still make this, but it's going to be tricky. <laughs> Just stop looking at where I was going. It was so... Oh, my God. You can't park that there, mate. Oh, I can't drive the fucker. That much I do know. I hope the guy I shot doesn't see me. He was limping. He was injured. Right, he was injured, but... If they see me and start engaging, we could have some problems because there's nothing I can do right now. Like, we, we haven't got time to shoot them. Oh, God, this is a long way. I'm going to be, like, red health by the time I get there, I think. Maybe, maybe worse. I haven't got a morphine or anything either, and I've lost some health. so stupid. Oh, that's a long way for them, but they're more injured. They, the guy I fired at may well may well get uh, uh, get done, you know. They, they may not make it, because they've uh, got... They, they were injured by me, and they've got further to run than I am. Dude with the Humvee, he's unlikely to be waiting for me, because he'll, he'll have followed the road, right? He won't have gone stacking into a tree like an idiot. We're actually okay. We've got plenty of time.
so frustrating though. I, I, I really needed to loot the Humvee. Oh. It's a good job I didn't go down there, though. If I'd gone down there, I probably would have died, right? So I got a kill. It was decent. It'll probably be the longest kill in this round. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, look at that! 2,000 fucking meters, holy shit. I think the guy I fired at with the 308, I, the one I hit, I feel like he may well uh, not make it. We can do it, but tricky. That's not actually true. We can't do it, but we can get about two or three hundred meters out. I think we'll be two hundred meters away by the time the zone shuts. Like somebody else said earlier, it's about fifteen seconds for a hundred meters. It's four hundred meters per minute, and we've got four minutes left, and we're less. We've still got eighteen hundred to go, roughly, at the time. So we're going to be circled again, but we'll make it. The Vigrid servers for BR are never full or close to full. Well, they were when I played last week, Marky. I haven't played so much this week, but they are when I play them. Like, I don't know how many. There's 39 in it right now, and quite a few have died. So this one was close to full, for sure. They've been really full. It feels like it's a little bit less popular now than it was a week ago. But uh, it might be that that will change some. I don't know. Why is it you don't run into more trees? Uh, Substatica time. Right now I don't have time to... I don't have time to plot a really careful route because I'm going to get circled. If I, if I take my time and go all tactical, I'll end up like arriving in the zone really injured by the circle. I can't make it into the next zone until I'll be injured by the zone before I get there, right? So I'm just running in a straight line. Anyone this far out, like me, is doing the same thing right now as well. Otherwise they're fucked, right? We've all got to run for the edge of the circle. I've got two and a half minutes. In two and a half minutes I can run a thousand metres and I need to run twelve hundred metres, right? Oh, I see what you mean, Substatica. Just stupid. Just stupid. I do sometimes run into trees, but you're travelling a little bit slower in on foot, right? It's slightly more time to uh, <laughs> slightly more time to see what you're doing. I have not got much here, you know. Like, I really haven't got a great deal. I've only got two mags for this modded assault rifle. If I get a kill, I need to try and loot something. Otherwise, I'm a bit shit. Really, I'm a bit shafted. I'm not looking forward to that. So we've got people shooting in front of me. They're going to have to get over the hill, same as me. These people are shooting my side. That's a DMR. Well, Holy some shit. streamer says, not sure who it is. It's time to start running smiley face. D-man, dude, hope you're good. Thanks for the support. Camden, thank you for the gifted subs. That's very kind. Sorry it took me a while to get them. Uh, J8 Cup, uh, cheers for the support too. Bowsy, they can't bring this to console because it's not made by the devs. It's modded in and there's no modding on console right now. So, unfortunately, it's just not possible. There's no modding on console like this. So, uh, it, it might be that in a future title down the line, there's proper modding support. But there isn't for Daisy. They've said they can't do it. So, G-Man, thanks very, very much, dude. Holy shit, that sounds beefy. 
I'm just going to have to run up the hill. This this is going to suck balls. Bowsy, well, it's not like they weren't honest about it. When the game came out, and ever since, the devs have always said they can't do modding for console. Very few, very few uh, games have proper modding for console. There's a few, but not many. There aren't very many from smaller kind of development companies like DayZ. They're normally from great big ones like Bethesda or whatever, you know. I'm enjoying the run. literally running at that. Did that gun go? Where did the where did the assault rifle go? Do we have any three oh eight? He hasn't got three oh eight, that sucks. Scared the piss out of me. Seen him. I'm going to say I'm pretty sure I hit him again. This dude's the one with the DMR. Fucking thousand and eighty meters. He was really kind of glitchy there for a sec. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. It, it shouldn't really have made a lot of difference, but he was a little bit in and out, to say the least, right? It wasn't, it wasn't particularly fun while it was going on. He had another DMR mag, did he? That's okay. Chances of me needing a second one now are quite small, but I know I would have took it if I'd seen it, but you only get so much time, right? I, I got some good shit. We need to get going. Still got a thousand meters to go. There's other players near me, actually. I, I need to be a bit smarter about this. Let's just... We've got plenty of mags. We've got a DMR, which is great for sort of certain shots. But mostly I'm going to be using this other iron sighted thing. This is dodgy. I can make this, though. We've got enough time, but... There's quite a lot of open areas coming up. 
I think his uh, assault rifle was probably better than mine as well. That dude had killed a few people, hadn't he? That, that same gun that he was shooting at me. He was bleeding from before as well. He'd, he'd been shot by the one he'd just killed. Now, one thing I know from uh, playing this the other day, maybe I'm wrong, but the modded, the modded servers, the modded ones, the DMR is weak as piss. So it feels like I've got one of the best guns. I really haven't. Drewstra, thank you for the 28 months, dude. Thank you. McFly, I think he was still shooting at me, dude. I don't think he wasn't shooting. But he was kind of glitching about the place, you know. What do I think Daisy will be like in 20 years? I think they might just about have got a handle on the hand state bug. They'll be working on zombie pathway. He'd stop when you hit him. JJ, I hit him. I hit him twice at least. I, I did hit him. He didn't stop shooting. So that's. The, I'm talking about the DMR purely in in this battle royale, but it really isn't very good from what I. What, I, I don't know. It seemed crazily weak. There was just some shots on this hill. I could be running straight at somebody. Now that sounds good, doesn't it? Holy shit. How cool does that sound? a long way away. I'm re really in the open here as well. couldn't recreate it that would have been epic I think that must be the other so that was a trio that I just put down to two that had to be a headshot unless they were a bit injured but I'm guessing that was a headshot well I'm glad I got the three kills to be honest that's kind of cool I don't think we're going to see the last of those two. I think we may have to deal with them some more, which is going to be a pain in the bum. I'm really open here. I don't like it. Yeah, there's one on the road. 
I have no more bottle suppressor, so if I shoot now, I need to hit. I think they're going to come around this way. They have to come. Yeah, there's one on the road there, look. Aiming. Oh, could you just aim out of the tree there, the tree. The tree's fucking dumb for me, it has. This dude has got friends as well. I, I think I might be being a bit aggressive here, but I do need to go this way anyway. There's a drop. That drop would have... Uh, he's Surely he's going to go for it, surely. That drop would have a plate carrier at it. Probably a, a top tier gun. That's what he was aiming at. He's not going for the drop, I don't think. There's dead players at it. I best not go for it either. There's still smoke there, which means there is some loot at that drop, but I don't know if this is too risky or not. That's probably a gun from the drop. Desert tech, that sounds good. I don't even know what bullets it takes. Let's just leave it. Happy one year anniversary, TRMZ love. He had more bullets for that, but 408, it's a one shot killer. We know there's people in this hill. I'm so open from that side, it's horrible. Go, 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 Freddy the bush prawn. <clears throat> Fifteen left. Most of them are lone wolves, actually. I'm not going to be able to use this sniper. Is it semi-auto? It's semi-auto. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to use it. If I have to hit fire with it, so be it. I want to fire it. It'll be... In, in fact, that's not smart. It'll be such high recoil. It'll be one try. a nice, nice breeze along the edge of a hill where there's been shots like crazy. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to die when I get to the edge of these trees, I'm sure of it. Oh, 
Oh, this is horrible. Please check behind you. Not much point. I might get shot from behind, but I have to go ahead. Checking behind is probably for when I'm on the edge. There isn't a lot of time right now. I'll check behind in a minute. I was on the edge of the circle behind. Obviously, that's a bit less relevant now. Okay, now I'm glad that one here. I'd have been annoyed with myself. Probably don't need to do this. Fuck. This is all bad. God, there's a fucker in the tree with me. <sighs> I was prone in a guy. There was a guy in the tree with me. That sucks. It was tricky, though. I, I was trying to not go in a house and pick somewhere random. Whew. Well, at least we got four kills. That was fun. That shot on the guy running across the field was really fun. That was good. Unfortunately, I just missed so well. I missed solo vanilla by six minutes. Uh, I don't know what else we got that looks close. Solo modded, not really. Solo vanilla, not at all. Thank you for the 18 months. Mem, uh, Memnark, thank you for the Prime. J Boy, Stian, thank you very much, all of you guys. Uh, thank you, Stian, for the gifted subs. You're very kind, dude. Thank you. Cruzzy and Drewstra, thank you very much, too. There's not much coming up. I know the, one, the nearest one is likely to be the trio I just left. There's only six people left in it, so... Cladnip, that one's broken, dude. That one is properly broken. There's a uh, vanilla trio that's just come up. Maybe I'll try that one. That might be okay. I got four kills, Bristow. I got the kills. Uh, Spike, thanks again. This might be the last round, guys. I'd, I'd like to do solo, but it's kind of tricky. Uh, hi Berkey, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Not sure if this one will be as popular or not, I don't know. I don't know how long how long of a kill that was. I think it was more than 320 meters. It certainly isn't a record. Uh, let me have a look. So that was trio modded. Uh, where is it? Trio trio modded. Was it that one? And it was a kill relatively early on. Let me have a look.
I'm just looking to see if I can find the range of that kill. It should be in the thing. Where are we? Runny the spawn. I don't fucking see the, na the name of it. Maybe I'm not looking high enough up. I think it was about, I, th I would guess it was just over 400 metres because I was ranged to 400 and it was going a tiny bit low. Oh, there it is, yeah. Zlithrel got killed by Ronnie the Spawn, 406.08 metres. That was the range, so it was just over 400. And then there was another one with the DMR. How far was the DMR one? That'd be interesting to know. It wasn't that far. Yeah, 320 metres was the DMR. That's cool, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, so there was a Tundra shot with the guy that was in the car. Uh, that was 408, 406. Did I range 400 in the scope? No, I didn't range at all, Brick. I don't normally with the ACOG. I just I just aimed, dude. The ACOG's got little mill dots on it. If you look at the ACOG as well, the, the little lines aren't very far apart. The difference between 300 metres and 200 metres on the scope is next to none, you know. <clears throat> the game cannot start before 79 seconds. It's going to start soon enough, then. That was a lot of fun though, that was cool. Not quite in yet. Sorry, guys. I'm just uh, sending a couple of messages. Uh, one about the trip thing that's coming up in uh, to to uh, Czech Republic. Right, and the next just need to do another one as well while I'm at it. Right, that's that. Now let me get back in the Vigrid bit and then server status. No, yeah, the server status will do. 41 players in it. It's going to start, so it's going to start soon. Will there be a video about the trip? Uh, not from me, I doubt. There'll be videos about the trip, I'm sure. Obviously, I'll be talking about it a lot on the streams and whatnot when I get back. There may possibly be something where I get the chance to interview one or two of the devs, maybe. But it's just not my thing, that, you know. I, I, want, I really want to go. I really want to enjoy it. And I'll be talking about it like crazy on the streams afterwards. But 
my YouTube videos are mostly me enjoying the game. You know, I don't really do much else. So I, I wouldn't, if, if I can do an interview with the devs and I can ask questions that I think people are interested in hearing the answers, I'll make the video. However, if other people are going and they're doing interviews, then I tend to personally think, leave the interviews to the people that do interviews and I, I'll, I'll let people know who's done them. Do you know what I mean? I, I just, it's just not my thing. Number one question you want to ask. Uh, can you force people to sub to me on YouTube before they're allowed to play the game? <laughs> Jumbo, well that's the thing. I may well be able to do something like that. It might be on Twitter. If, if that's an opportunity then it would be Twitter you'd need to keep an eye out for, really. Gorker, eh? Actually got full, look. for The Vigrid servers don't get full. This one's got 60 in it. Oh, fuck. That dude stood there with no no gun and, and sees me down the road like, oh shit, I was going that way. Just heard somebody else. <laughs> Fuck's sake, that was a different dude. That sucks so hard. One house. One house and a bison versus an AK with no vest. That was not winnable. <laughs> Maybe if I'd hit him in the head with the very first shot, I suppose. But other than that, there was no winning that. Well, that sucks. Uh... What one was that? That was Trio... Trio Vanilla. Ulo. It was a KAS-74, yeah, but nonetheless. Uh, it, it was tricky, that shit happens. Server status, is there one that's open? The one I was just in is open, so I can probably join that. No, it's not. I thought, is it? I think it is. Yeah, the one I was just in where we got the four kills, that one's back open. I'll join that. One and two have both got nine players in it, red line, by the look of it. They're still going, aren't they? Yeah, I know one and two are solo, but they're not they're not free. <laughs> I'm doing. I can't really do past midnight, and it's 11 p.m. right now. So I, I guess if if I wait, it, it won't take long. There's only nine players. We can see. I'll see what they're like. If they're down to like four or five as this round is starting, I'll maybe wait. A bit late, but the ads remembered me. Wish you and the chat all the very best. I just didn't know what you were telling me, Redline. It just said one and two. I know one and two are the solo servers, but I was thinking they were free, and then when I went and checked, they weren't free, so I, I was a bit confused. <laughs> I know one and two are the, the two solo servers. Uh, let's see. Still nine players in each. many trios in this there's multiple trios I'd, I'd really be great if they added another solo server maybe they can see who's playing what and they just don't get so many people playing it perhaps i don't know 
I just headshotted a guy with a tundra three meters away and he got an uncon. How is this possible? Fucking hell, dude. On what type of server? Helmets do matter, but a headshot, or even on a helmet at very close range, should be a kill. I'll just stay in this if it's switching to a duo red line. I'm kind of easy with either. If I, if I, if, if I leave this, it'll be for solo, I reckon. Because there's just no telling how long it will take for it to start. This one's going to start fairly soon. Yeah, both of the solo servers are down to eight. Thank you though, Redline. Appreciate the updates. Ima, cheers for the 20 months. Van Fitz, thank you very much. Connor, thank you as well. I haven't had very many very many money no object whiskies. I really haven't had very many, so like it's hard to say what your money no object pick is when you when you don't know like I've only ever tried money no object whiskey. The only one that would cons would be that for me would be Redbreast 27. And that is uh that is lovely. I, and that would be my pick, but I've not tried any of the crazy expensive ones other than that. So money no ob object Redbreast 27 uh Mid-range that you would, uh, sorry, yeah. The mid-range that you'd, the mid-range that you'd get for Christmas or birthdays, for me, that would be Boona Haven 18, which is about 110, 120 pounds, so it's, it's like a Christmas or birthdays type thing, I think, you know, so Boona Haven 18. And then a regular one that you can, a bit more normal, I'd probably go Redbreast 12. Redbreast 12 is amazing. It's creeping up though. They're all creeping up. Redbreast 12 is like 50 pounds now in a lot of places. It used to be like well below 40. I don't think lag. I don't know what Lagavulin fits into, but at full price, it's like 80 pounds now. It's too much money for what it is. I don't mind Lagavulin, and if you like smoky whiskey, it's very, very good. But. Uh, it's not, it's, well, it's six, still 16 years old, but I don't know, it used to be 50 and then one day it went up to 80. Like, that is a hell of a jump. Can Paul win this round? That's a stretch in a fucking trios, isn't it? Fucking hell. Just pick no. Just pick no. <laughs> Both solos. One's down to three, actually. Solo vanilla's down to three. I'm going to uh, I'm going to the solo one. This isn't even got a countdown for when it's starting, so we might as well do one of the solo ones. Do I wait for vanilla? Can't you just do Campbell win this? Why, mind you, it's not. Yeah, I guess it changes the odds. You're right. Yeah, it wouldn't be fair to leave the same prediction up because they was betting on trio before. Now I'm going in solo. I think that's fair. Yeah, I agree. Solo, you'd think different. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. You'd just get slightly better odds on me not winning. <laughs> right, okay, I think it's. I think it went down. I'm going to try and join it. It might not have gone down yet. I might be ahead of myself. 
I prefer vanilla in this. I do. I, I, I prefer vanilla. All right, I'm trying to join now. It's offline, so we should be getting in. This is the last round, whether I die in five seconds or whether I go to the end. Just had to deal with a massive spider. Where were you lot? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah, me. Me and coach. Seismic attitude. When you've done a few 11 hour streams, you come and talk to me, okay? <laughs> Garrett, thank you for the three months. Can I exchange real money for channel points? You're gonna to have to start having buy-ins for the for the people that have lost their lost their No, that's terrible, isn't it? I don't want that, obviously, but. It would be fucking funny. Right, so we're in a solo server. Merry anniversary. You filthy animal. Kida, thank you. <laughs> Cheers for the resub. God. It shouldn't be this difficult. You sure got a pretty mouth for it. You haven't got a good mic. Your mic's dog shit. You got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> Start, so it's going to start in 169 seconds. Let's go. Look at that. 12 deaths and 9 kills. Fuck me dead. That's gone well, isn't it? Negative KD. I need to get 3 kills in this round just to bring... Well, 4 kills and if, if I die. Four kills and one death to get it back to level. That's shocking. <clears throat> Ever heard of root beer whiskey? I have not. It sounds awful, Arthur. <laughs> it sounds awful. <laughs> I have I saw Deliverance, Deliverance a couple of years back. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Deliverance myself. It's all right, but I, I've only watched it once, and I watched it so late. I just I didn't. I think I saw it too late. It's a good film, but I, I think it was probably better if you'd seen it a while before. The whole uh, the whole uh, Russian roulette stuff that with Christopher Walken just. I remember thinking it didn't make a whole lot of sense. They just didn't do it well enough. They didn't make him look desperate enough, or like they, he didn't seem shell shocked enough, or whatever. It, it was it, maybe it was too subtle, and I missed it. But I just I just didn't buy it. That's Deer Hunter. You're right. It's not Deliverance. Yeah, it is. I'm, I've I've gone from Deer Hunter to Deliverance. I have, haven't I? <laughs> Deliverance is the one in the woods, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah, I just confused the two. Easily done, because there's a bit of hunting involved, I suppose. I haven't seen Deliverance for ages, actually. Yeah, I'm delivering the deer. Yeah, no, you're right. I've completely mixed the two films up. 
but yeah, deliverance. I've not, uh, I've not seen that forever. Why does this guy keep waving at me? I don't like that. Cassius. I don't like that, Cassius. I don't want to be waved at. I was about to ask you if you'd seen Deer Hunter, then you went on to describe it. <laughs> Will I be delivering the win for you this game? No. Do I like westerns? I do quite like westerns. Yeah, I quite like modern westerns. There's a few westerns coming out this year. Uh, there's one with uh, old matey from uh, The Thing. With The Thing. Aragon. Him. There's a western with him coming out, I believe. And there's also one with Kevin Costner coming out. Both of which I kind of want to see. But yeah, I quite like westerns. I, I, modern westerns kind of more so now. Yeah, Vigo Mortensen's his name, yeah. Rob, uh, the itinerary is a little bit vague right now. Uh, I'm, my missus is coming, so... Hello, Peter, and hello. Me and my other half are going to spend a bit of time in Prague, but there's definitely going to be some, some time with the devs and the other people going, for sure. How about Beyonce's new album? I've only heard the one that keeps getting played, the single. I, 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 I'm not a big fan of uh, country and western Beyonce. Have I seen The Hateful Eight? Of course I have. First time I watched it, weren't so keen. Second time I watched it, I fucking loved it. I think my favourite western of all time is Unforgiven, Lanka. Like I said, I like modern westerns. I, I think Unforgiven is amazing. Wild, Wild West with Will Smith. <laughs> uh, at 310 to Yuma, the remake or the original would not be my favourite. What other nonsense is there? There's that one with Daniel Craig with the aliens. Cowboys and aliens. Uh, Bill Pon. Uh, that, that would definitely qualify as cowboy nonsense. many people in this is there that's a paddling uh, deliverance walk and bait yeah no I mixed it up with deer until we've established this by modern westerns what I mean by modern westerns really is Clint Eastwood as an old man rather than Clint Eastwood as a younger man <laughs> uh, I, I mean the more made like like more 90s and beyond rather than being made when they were making the spaghetti westerns like a fistful of dollars and a few dollars more and then before that all the John Wayne ones and whatnot you know by modern I mean more don't do it like don't do uh, it. like the, 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 well the more recent ones apparently they're going to remake uh, White Earp again or is that Echo or a film of that type I hope they don't but there's there's, there's talk of they're doing another you? film nice to meet you. with Doc Holliday and White Earp good and brother whatnot. nice meeting you too How these guys have guns and we don't have guns? This is not fair, okay? I spawned in fair. first, so I lose all these bleep. barracks, man. TRMZ and running. I almost won a red zone. If we were now on the mouse, can you say that to me? Suck my oh dick. My. Suck my dick. Oh my god. Chano shitting fuck. We have not got many good buildings to loot here.
Uh, Zenza, thank you for the two months. That's very, very kind. Cheers for the resub. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out. First house, shotgun shells, crossbow bolts. Not just shotgun shells, but the bad kind. Let's just fart around with those. That'll definitely help me. Somebody just got a kill with the deagle up there. Do you see that? I wish it was me. Zone. There's a Humvee as well. I need somebody. I did. <laughs> Fuck me. <coughs> to be fair, they weren't the easiest of shots to take. sucks. <laughs> this is like fucking SMGs at that kind of range with my kind of shooting is not a good combo. I need to make him juke some more. Just want to get a kill. This sucks. I'm just running to nowhere right now. He's still juking a bit. I've definitely gained. Oh, which way did he go? I don't know. I've got to go this way now. I've lost him in the tree. I think he probably di dipped right. That sucks. Oh my god. There's a summer camp up this way. Maybe he came towards the summer camp. Depends how well he knows the map. That was shocking. I, I don't feel particularly bad. They weren't easy shots with, with what I've got at that range. But nonetheless, I'd, I'd quite like it if I'd have connected with one of the fuckers. If he knows the map well, he'll be coming up here. If he doesn't, fuck knows where he's going. Summer camp sheds are not normally very good for loot, really, but that's that's what we've got for now. I've kind of fucked that up massively. I did spawn in a spot where the loot wasn't great, but it's even worse when you fire after your mag at some dude you can't hit. I hope nobody spawned here. Good, I've got more deagle rounds. Fucking hell.
I, I really, I really could do with some kind of loot right now. Baby AK and this, this been alive this long is not good. Fucking hell. This really sucks. <laughs> this really fucking sucks. Hell of a circle, isn't it? It's clearly finishing in Cherno. Maybe, uh, maybe everything's going to be all right. I missed a grenade, did I? Never mind. Carbine with a with a scope. We we're uh, we're on we're on to a winner now. Fucking seventeen hundred meters. He dead. I'm gonna have to just go with what I've got. I've got no choice, have I? I ain't gonna be winning this round. Sorry to say. <laughs> Somebody's been here. Somebody spawned here. I know it's red. I can still make it, though. I'm not worried that it's red. In a straight line, I'll make it from here. What worries me more is the shooting and the players. Being the underdog can be quite rewarding. Pierre, in, in uh, Battle Royale, I feel the underdog every round, dude. It's fine. Guy ran just ran right on right of you on the road. Oh fuck. Why has this got an ASMR tag? Uh because some people genuinely watch the streams like that, they do. I find it interesting that people's people seem to think that ASMR literally is like some girl sucking off a microphone or something. Or oh boy. But there's quite a lot of different things that MASMR and some, some old dude droning on playing DayZ definitely is. <laughs> Maybe there's some, some of the shots might not be, but... Some of the swearing while I'm missing the shots, especially. I've gone such a bad way chasing after that dude with no gear. Surely this will have been looted. car in front, but I don't think I can get it.
I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Coney fans, thank you for the five months. Dave Rejects, thank you very much as well. Cheers for the support, dude. Uh, cheers, cheers for coming in, both of you. This is going to be quite open, this this uh, drop. There ain't going to be any loot of this drop. It's going to not be worth it. I'm still fucking going towards it. If there's a plate carrier there or something, it'll be worth taking, but it will actually be a bit tricky. worried that I'm going the wrong side here. I think that's okay. I think I need to loot a few buildings. I think I, I don't think I've got a great deal of choice. I need to loot a bit. Try and find an assault rifle or something. Try and vault this fucking wall would be good. far are we going to have to go? It can't be that far, right? It, re oh, it really can't be that far. Have I got 308? Please tell me I've got 308. I don't think I have. Oh, I have got 9308. Okay. I don't think I've got DMR mags, I think they're all VSS mags and similar. That's good though, that's much better. Not very far to the edge of the zone, so we can actually do a little bit of looting. I, I really need an assault rifle. I've got a foul mag, you were right. I, I, a foul mag, not a DMR mag, but I did have a foul mag. The box of 308 on the floor there. There's a DMR mag. It was but a premonition.
comes out of a building without a single gun in my hand. That that seems smart. Drivable car. There's not really enough people in this. Like, you get points for kills, and I ain't... All right, I'm, I'm creeping into the top ten without doing anything, but I, I need to shoot. I, I needed... Yeah, there's just not enough people in it. And then the one person I did see, I fired at horrendously. of an assault rifle? Seems not. Uh, Vike, uh, Drago is that? Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much for the Prime. Cheers for the support, dude. TRMZ cool, TRMZ G heart, TRMZ love. <clears throat> Opens another. Opens another fucking door without a gun in that Get a gun in my hand. You know it makes sense. Tundra. I'm going to take the Tundra, just that bit more power. But also, if I do find a bottle suppressor, that's useful. The bottle suppressor is really useful. Kind of prefer the baby or to the uh, baby AK. That's technical terms we're talking there, but. Oh, fuck off. Fair play to, the, to his other shots. They were good. That sucks. There we go. That'll be that. He saw me very quick. Fair play to him. I came through the wall and I was fucked. Ah, oh, sucks. I was already focused on running up to the zone, you know. I wasn't looking there for a dude. Fake money wins. GG to those winners. Battle Royale went well today. Uh, <laughs> there, there was one round that was pretty good with four kills. Other than that, it was a bag of shit. Uh, it was only the one gun, Substatica. The, the tree was actually kind of good cover, but it probably didn't help. Uh, Smokey, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Rockavar, thank you for the prime. Kuro, thank you very much. Uh, I'm back on again tomorrow, guys. Uh, more like normal time tomorrow, so I'll be on about 2pm, maybe a touch before. Not sure what I'll do. Uh, Mike, I, I certainly think I'll carry on with New York at some point. Uh, I might start with some Battle Royale and then switch to New York later with that character that we logged off geared from earlier today. New York was good today. Uh, 
Anyway, that's enough of that, guys. I will be back again tomorrow. Stay so safe, thanks for coming people. in. Uh, cheers for the support. There's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for choosing to watch me. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. Take it easy. Have a good one. Love you. Bye. Uh, DJ Bimbags, by the way. Thank you. Bofflond as well. Thank you. Smokey Prune. Thank you. Now I'll love you. Bye. <laughs> See you guys.